Shout out to everybody in the building. Hold on. I ain't even set up over here. I ain't got my mic nothing set up. I'm trying to finish my breakfast. I'm trying to finish my breakfast. I wanted to hear you come on because I couldn't be on all day. But y'all know we got to talk about it. Let me tell you something. I don't know. I don't know how to tell y'all. I don't. And uh, I don't like when I when I don't feel appreciated. I don't like it. With a shadow of a doubt. I'm all y'all got right now. I'm just gonna keep it. Right. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm all you got right now, man. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all you got right now, man. Unfortunately, it's fucked up. I know it is. I'm, I'm the last. I'm your last hope. Protect me, nigga. Support me. Cause y'all ain't have big six on the board. That's my code name. That's my military name right there. Big Six. Y'all ain't got cuz on the board, man. Um, pray, pray for these niggas. Pray for them. <laughs> hey, say, man, I need some snipers up high, man. I need some snipers up high. We're going to engage them on feet. Snipers, I need y'all up high, man. Eyes and ears, man. I'm finna walk to them. Um, Man, y'all jump on that like button, share the video out. Man, I'm telling y'all. I don't know, man. I like to fight. I want to fight. Fire fight, hand in hand. I need some action. I need some action. Oh, uh, I'm the last. Listen, we got to get out of here. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the last line of defense. Without me, they would have been ran this. They would have rolled this shit over with, and it wouldn't have been nigga. They would have kicked over granny tombstones and everything. Not why I'm here though. Say, I don't know what it's gonna take. I already told niggas I ain't got but a couple more years in me. I'm going back to Dubai next year. Am I staying? I don't know. I might stay. Five years is a long time to give your life to something. Five years is a long time to give your life to something. I know everybody else been here longer. Everybody else ain't me. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to just leave, you know, and shit undone things not, you know. So, shout out to everybody else. I promise, double salute to everybody else. But they ain't top cap. The difference maker. Nah, they ain't top cap. And, you know, top cap gonna get looked over. Too young, too loud. You don't give a fuck. The nigga crazy. You wild. Top cap protect America, though. Ain't nothing coming through these shores. Nothing touching nine on nowhere, not nowhere around here. You ain't never seen nobody look like they had a chance against me. I always had advantage. I mean, yeah, I, I, it was always advantage, even if it was five or six of them in front of me. Like I already tell, I always tell them, I'm gonna spit in your face, I'm gonna slap you, and I'm gonna tell you go get your big homie, and I'm gonna knock him out. I'm gonna do him the same way. Um, I don't like it, nigga. I'm an Indian. You gotta fight me. I'm sorry, nigga. Those are the rules. <laughs> Those are the rules, man. I, I, um, I don't know how everybody else get more love than me, bro. And ain't nobody got, man. Look at their back knuckles. These niggas ain't did no punching. How everybody got more, more love than Top Cat, and they ain't got more bodies than me. What are we doing? What we doing, man? It's time to put some respect on this man's name, bro. It's just, come on now. How you want it? 
Who want it? Nobody. Oh, I thought so. <laughs> oh, I thought so. <laughs> Who want it? Nobody. Going around there fuck with that nigga? Nah, bro. A lot of people get too much love, man. Way more love than I get, bro. And I'm trying to see for what? What are they doing? What have they done? What are they doing? How can we use them? How, how are they benefiting us? I just don't see it. Fuck is we getting out of this? Nothing. Nothing. Moving backwards and not forward. Say, man, give me some snipers up high, man. I'm finna engage them on feet. I'm finna walk to them. Shout out to everybody in the building, man. Shout out to everybody in the building, man. Why these nigga running from Top Cat? Why nigga ducking the fade from Top Cat? Yeah, I'm foot to ass. That's why. I'm foot to ass, boy. Don't let me catch you. Don't let me catch you. All right. Um, let me see some. Cause I got something else too that I didn't pull up. All right, shout out to everybody that's in the building, man. Hopefully, y'all jump on the like button. Hopefully, y'all jump on the like button. Hopefully, y'all. Share the video, all right? Yeah, I seen a couple of fat women last. Uh, talking about Top Cat, which he was. Uh, Top Cat said he was a serpent or something like that. Uh, y'all fat, bad body built, big top, little bottom body built ass. You need to be a serpent so you can get slim and slender. The big top with the little bottom is crazy. Yeah, I saw some I saw some women with a fat top with a fat body at the top and little legs. Oh no. <laughs> Big top little bottom is crazy. All right. Keep my name out your mouth with them um old lad granny wigs on with your grandma wig on. Stop it with them fake ass leather boots you be wearing and fake ass leather belt. Uh stop it. No dress and add too much makeup. Uh looking like a boy. Uh, looking like a nigga named Donald. Yeah, you look like my homeboy Donald. Stop it for our, you listen. Y'all don't want to play with me. I'm just gonna tell you one time. All right. That's your last time I'm gonna tell you. I'm popping up and I'm gonna let you know what's going on. And I'm gonna make you cry. Be real. Get your stop sign body built ass on somewhere. That's that's your first and only warning. On BCU and on guard. I'm firing shit up. I'm tripping. That nigga say BMW body built. <laughs> Old school BMW body. Let me make it. I ain't the one. Definitely ain't the two. Got one in the chamber. Don't make me aim it at two. Yeah. Yeah, that motherfucker built like a uh, uh, a signal. Uh, like, yeah, stop sign body built. Hey man, let's get into some um some 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 groovy man. Uh, we got ninety two in the building. Lights looking crazy. Why the lights not matching? I'm not sure. Let me tell you something, bro. Y'all ain't see no big old Indians run out there and kiss no fade last night. Y'all ain't see no big old Aboriginals run out there and kiss no fade last night. I was looking for the elbows though. I'm like, why y'all y'all don't want none of this action? Oh man, I'm first on the scene, man. I'm like, I gotta get mine. What is going on? Uh, Pan Africans and Indians fighting, and man, say I'm finna, I'm finna take off on something. I ain't see the Aboriginals, man. I'm looking for y'all. When it's going down, it's going down. Goddamn, nigga, I'm nigga. I gotta go stand out here. Shout out to Uncle Rob, but Uncle Rob said he came over there to take a ass whooping, and I'm like, nah, nigga, we don't take ass whoopers. 
Uncle Rye, what is going on? What you mean this nigga that went Buddha? Man, that nigga turned into Gundy. Nah, we ain't nigga. This ain't no motherfucking civil rights shit in, nigga. Any nigga coming here putting their hands on us, nigga, we gonna sit here. Oh, uh, nah, got me fucked up, nigga. <laughs> nigga, well, fuck it. I right, what's up, Jabari? Chunk him up. What you talking about, nigga? What's up? What's up? Jabari started running this shit. Nah, man, I'm telling you, Uncle, we ain't coming over here. These niggas ain't putting out their hands on you, nigga, while I'm here. So I come in and everybody uncomfortable, right? Okay. And you better be. Yes, I'm finna, I'm about to assassinate a nigga in this motherfucker. And yeah, I kill a nigga with my bad hands. It don't even matter. I'm finna assassinate a nigga. They didn't search me for weapons, but they know I'm a weapon, period. Yeah, I'm finna choke a nigga out. Uncle Rob said he came over there to let a nigga, man, this ain't no goddamn city in. Ain't nobody putting their hands on you, nigga, while I'm standing right here. Got me fucked up, nigga. We in it. We don't take no ass whooping out from these weak ass niggas anyway. Never, nigga. Need niggas some hoes. Yeah, these niggas some hoes. And if y'all ain't no nigga, I'm finna show you. All I do is whoop. I didn't whoop tomorrow. Send them all off the internet. You don't even hear about them. We ain't doing that, man. Jabari got all that confidence with getting everybody else. Y'all see how he played on Pharaoh. Or oh, just go back. Look how he do the Hebrews, everybody. But when it come to Top Cat, whoo He don't even want to. Man, that nigga chunk him up. Hell nah. Nigga, I'm an old man. I hear fight rassy to tussle it with you young niggas. <sighs> but Ryan come over there. He want to act like he know how to fight. Your boy out there act like he, he know how to fight. He a champion. Knowing damn well I slap him on that bald head and tell him sit his scary ass down. And Sinetta, bro, come on, bro. You got to be more fair with me, bro. Si, out of all that BS that went on, Si, you know, I ain't, I ain't never get down with none of that. Never participated in none of that. Never came out here and said nothing bad about you, bro. Jabari was acting like it was his show last night. Jabari said, you got 30 seconds. <laughs> you got 30 seconds, nigga. Because they know I work clean. Last time he gave me 60 seconds and that was too long. And he said, I'll never make that mistake again. Yeah. <laughs> you got 30 seconds. Boy, I started to talk and that nigga said, time. <laughs> Oh, bro, and I'm just like, what's up, Rod? Rod, hey, give me 30 seconds. This is your show, too. Damn, nigga, give me another 30. Somebody take up. Come on, man. I come over here to protect the American paradigm, bro. Y'all niggas sitting on y'all hands, bro. Y'all don't let these niggas handle me like that. I need some more support up here for y'all to tell Sahi. So I do the right thing. So I was like, man, I got to let Top K go, man. No! No, I will leave right now. It is getting late. Yeah, that nigga came up with all kinds of shit. It is really, really, really getting late. It is getting late. I know your ass finna go to sleep. You don't even worry about it. Say, say you, high yellow nigga. Don't even worry about it. I'm gonna put you to sleep. Don't <laughs> say, fam, don't even worry about how late it is and talking about you gotta get up in the morning. Trust me, nigga, you going to sleep. Don't even worry about it. You just stand right there, nigga. Don't, don't just stand right there. You going to sleep. Don't worry about it. You won't even, trust me, you won't even feel it. I'm putting you out. I'm going to put you to bed, nigga, with an overhand. So for everybody who didn't see it that night, man, we're going to go through that, man. So I tried, man. That 30 seconds wasn't good enough, though. So I, come on, man. God damn. Supposed to be a lawyer. See, Sa, you can't even make no money off them niggas over there. Sa, all you had to do was just keep it real with me, nigga. I, nigga, I, nigga, I got, nigga, you would have got that bag you were looking for. Sa, I must see TV. And then when I left, Sa, I said, you know, Top Cat, he, he get a, bro, that's not true. I mean, my work out there, fam. I done had conversations with the Hebrews. The debate I did against Gorilla Hebrew. 
Even when I fought Jabari the first time, when me and him talked, I was very, very respectful. Um, I mean, Phil Valentine, uh, Taj and them, man, bro, you can go watch my work, Reese and shit. N- man, you don't hear these elders on there saying top cat is this and that. They went, you go tell them that side, they wouldn't believe you. They, they said, nah, I met your brother. And it's, 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 not, it's none of that. It's only when Jabari's in the room with me. Jabari needs secret service. He is not trying to, man, why is he here? I'm nervous. I done pissed on myself. Goddamn nigga, I done pissed my doctors. Why is he here? Um, Yeah, turn up one time, man. Um. He said Karimio ended Jabari. Shout out to Karimio, but you got to get in the ring to end the nigga, bro. You can't be shooting no mortals. And sh- you got to get in the ring. Matter of fact, Karimio came over here and did that bill too on this channel. You know what I'm saying? But nah, you got to engage the nigga to end the nigga. Nigga, this shit ain't that easy. Nigga, this warfare. Here you talking about? If you on a video game or something, nigga, you must be a gamer. Nigga, we talking about real life. You got to get out there, nigga. And bust that thing. You gotta get out there and bust that thing, nigga. This shit ain't that easy. Y'all niggas is making it too easy. You want to fly a drone over, nigga? Nah, nigga, I want to get on feet and engage them, um, uh, and come back, nigga. Yeah, you want to send a drone? You on your Obama shit? Yeah, 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 nigga. You think you a President Obama? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, man. This gotta get you gotta yeah, man. Say man. We gotta engage in, in some in some combat. Fire fight hand in hand, nigga. However it's gonna go. We ain't shooting no drones though, nigga. Get some fast movers over there, motherfucker, nigga. Then we'll move in. We'll secure the, per, the perimeter, but Yo, we ain't shooting no mortals talking about we want one. Nah, we, nah, nigga, we want to look the enemy in the eye. It's the only way it count, homie. That's the only way it count. But yeah, shout out to my nigga Karim, yo. He came over here on this channel and did a bill. Y'all go check that out with me, me and Karim, yo, on here. <laughs> talking about your boy. Stump a mud hole in the air. Where the ladies at? You know, talk, all this war talk. What are the ladies? Um, share the video out to your TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. It's up there and it's stuck there. We're going to go do that. The greatest American Indian fight of all time. Deep. Big cheese. Peach, where you think you going, lady? 
peach. Where you think you going, lady? I want to Lighten up the mood a little bit. Dim the lights in here. Sunshine Indigo Sativa. Fired up the gas. What do you mean? Oh, sunshine. All you need now is a picnic blanket. Yeah, we need a picnic blanket and go sit on the mound. Uh 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 with a picnic basket. Some oil so we can massage each other. Yeah. Sunshine in it, and we need a lighter for that sativa. Low lady in the building, done. Any and P say she gone, but what's up, Peach? Mama Bell. Uh, Corey in the building, Lucini, Jamie, David Scott the third, that boy named out his daddy, daddy. Sweet love in the building. Sweet love, Anita Baker. Um, uh, we got the homie T Huff in the building. Uh, B313, Cigar, Roderick in the building, Louisiana. Who else we got in here? Chicken South Mile in the building. Chief Niji in the building. We all let y'all ain't sent girly girl in the building. Key Carl, Nature uh, Gazer, AJ, I need to hold a dollar. He said that nigga Sarnetta started scream. He said that nigga started scream. Sarnetta, Sarnetta. I'm trying to say. say. <laughs> he let the say, boy, when it's going down, nigga. Nigga don't care how he look. Nigga, I wouldn't care if I look like a whole ass nigga right now, nigga. Sarnetta, get that nigga. You know a nigga pit bull off the chain? Nigga, a dog get off the chain? Man, you ain't got no time to think and all that, nigga. All you thinking about is somebody get him. Cause I know he coming for me. Somebody get this nigga, man. And did y'all see white boy Chris get embarrassed? Chris, I'm tired of you stealing my sources. At this time, at this moment, it's unfair. Do y'all know this little white pink bitch tried to take my source? You niggas are dumb. I'm just gonna say it flat out. You're dumb. Oh, Jabari and Chris shot they shot on the Gullah Geechee. And I just said back, I said, Sarnetta, just let me get my action out to them. He goes, Jabari, <laughs> and I'm going to come next. And I'm like, yeah, y'all go ahead on and take care of y'all business. Because <laughs> I'm next. Y'all got, go ahead, go ahead, knock yourself out, man. Go ahead, take care of your business, man. Go drop that, uh, 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 yeah, drop y'all Gullah Geechee shit, man. And then I backed over to me, and here come Chris. Uh, I wanted to apologize. Um, um, I, I wanted to apologize because uh, um, Top Cat was right. I misspoken. No, bitch, you ain't got no information. You sat there, looked at my screen, homie. Go, I'm watching you. Don't worry about I'm going to show the people. Nigga, all I do is teach you. When I whooped your ass on the Africa town. You came in there and used my source and said, this is coming out of this book. And really, that was the name of the chapter. That wasn't even the name of the book. You, and then there was a screenshot of my source. You can literally see BigChiefUniversity.com, legendary top cat, on the damn picture that you screenshot. And you out here talking to these people like this, your source. Bro, I am you niggas' teacher. Man, I don't know how every all these niggas got. Get, I mean, my mother go flock to hear these niggas talk. And these niggas don't know nothing. I, I, listen, I don't give a fuck about no nigga liking me or none of that. These niggas can't fight. I'm sorry, nigga. I, I do not, nigga. I'm, 
Stay home, boy. I, I made my bones out, knock your shit out. Period. Period. I did nothing else, nigga. I slept shit. That's it. That's what I do, nigga. And how niggas got name, I'm telling you, beat up everybody to where niggas can walk around this whole freely and ain't gotta have not one fight. No fire fights or nothing. And I'm constantly cleaning up the mess. If not, please somebody where y'all see anybody else engage and come back and warn. That's repping this Indian Aboriginal American paradigm. Please give me a tape of a uh, 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 guy. Give me a, uh, a, a, a mile marker number, man. Let me know uh, who got out there and won, nigga. Nobody, homie. Nobody. Man, where is my, push the respect of my name, bro. And niggas are still crowd up and gather up and pile around these people. For what? For what? The nigga that's really even making it possible for you niggas to be here today, yo, he gets no love. I don't understand it, bro. I really don't. But I ain't got that long. And my auntie told me to go get him. So that's all I hear. You know, my mission, we got to get in and get it done, period. Get in and get it done, we can get out. We go back to Dubai. She made an incense and must uh covered up by oud oil, expensive oud oil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Praying five times a day. And go on back to my little life, you know. Um, but when I leave, I'm gonna tell everybody them niggas when I was out there, them niggas were weak. I ain't gonna lie. Them niggas had that pussy. Telling you. I slap Pan Africans. Got me fucked up. I slap them and I go in their pockets. Facts. Facts. Nigga, drop out. Nigga, you already know what time it is, man. Man, fuck all that, man. I ain't nigga. Nigga, give me a, 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 a video in the marker. Nigga, I been here the least and I had the most fades. That's crazy. I been here the least and I had the most fades, man. Show me where a nigga want to fight at. I'm waiting. Every time something go down around this hole, Go get Top Cat. Say, Chief, look out. They tripping out there. Oh, y'all know who? Y'all know me now. Uh, yeah, we know you. Come come out here and whoop these niggas. They tripping. That's it. Y'all just been using me to fight. That's it. I don't, when it's time to show some love, when it's time to come see me, when it's time to come holler at the kid, nothing. What, what happened to all of these niggas who out here making these little splinter channels and making them and trying to start them? Why we don't see them fighting? So everybody just gonna wait to Top Cat come through the door first, clear the house, secure the perimeter, and then everybody gonna come out. And now y'all cool. Now y'all know some shit. Now y'all man, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I can say it, nigga. I'm doing the scratching. Niggas are niggas are soft. Niggas are weak. And if I wasn't here, nigga, this nigga, it would be no, it would be none of this. If I wasn't here, it would be. I'm convinced because niggas don't niggas can't fight. I'm convinced. And I love to fight. Oh, I love it. I love it, god damn it. Who I wish it was a nigga out there in the crowd right now who wanted to do something. Yeah, I wish it was one of you nigga won't come up here right now, boy. I feel like knocking a nigga shit off his head, off his body. That's what we doing, nigga. All these niggas getting by, uh, you know, just being fly. Too easy. These niggas don't, these niggas come on this hoe and ain't got no problem with nobody. Never, 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 never. <sighs> Let me like my paleo Santos. They get some good vibes in his eyes. And we're gonna get into it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 
Chief Ingram say Grand Rising, y'all get the book. What book, uh, Chief Ingram? I hope that I hope you're talking about this book right here. And the information that I dropped on them last night came out of this book. Information I dropped on them last night came out of this book. But I'm being slept on right now, though, right? A fucking alien and all of this shit here is more important than, than your grandma, right? Unless you're going to tell me grandma was an alien. And I'm going to tell you then why you let her struggle, nigga. Fuck you let her struggle for then. I don't want to hear it. Shit been too easy, nigga. Shit been too easy right here, nigga. We idiots, nigga. We fight. That's what we do. Period. If you don't like the fight, nigga, you might not be no motherfucking Indian, nigga. We kick ass when it's time for a nigga to get kicked in their ass. That's what we do. And we Jaguars, so we had no fear, nigga. Gladiator school around this motherfucker. Monty said, I missed y'all in a real way. Well, we miss you too, sis. Big Cirque in the uh, Super Chat. He said, they don't want to be you. Nah, nah, nah. We about to find that. Uh, I want to take y'all back here. We not going to go straight back to last night because I want to show y'all a pattern. Was was what happened last night been happening? I want to show y'all a pattern. I don't know if y'all remember this one right here. Now shout out to Sanella. Sanella, he ain't he ain't let the nigga go too far on this one. He let me give him a shot south. And I think he called Sanella after this. He said, Look, <laughs> Sanella, you can make way more money with me than Jabari. I'm telling you, man. You can make way more money with me than Jabari, bro. The teachers before him. And they set him down and said, listen. Found on the entire life of Marcus Mosiah Garvey. Not tonight. He's here for one reason. And the one reason is that he said, indubitably, Sarnetta, indubitably. I said that definitely, Sarnetta. He said that he said that Marcus oh, Garvey was an agent. Yeah. What is an agent? Why do I have to ask what an agent? You don't. He go to title right here: strange bedfellows, eugenics, white supremacists, and Marcus Garvey. You you ain't got you ain't got to do none of that. He tried that tactic last night. I forgot he was talking to somebody and he did that. And I'm like, bro, don't let him do that. That's Jabari. Do not let Jabari do that. Go to the body, jab when he jab. That's why I kept coming out of my butt. I'm like, they gonna have to kick me out. I, I see what he's doing, and, and the people that's on the stage, too, I'm like, bro, don't let him do that to you. That's Jabari. Y'all don't watch tape. Y'all don't watch film. You niggas just get out there. I'm telling you, and this number one reason, bro, is because niggas don't want to lecture no more. If you don't lecture, you're not a teacher. If you don't lecture, then you're not compiling information. You don't have your own. Nah, bro, you listen. Don't let Jabari do that to you, bro. 
You don't. I want you to be very clear that there were several <laughs> black leaders Listen. who had some really awkward relationships with white folks who said that black people should leave the United States. And they said, we don't have money to do it. Give us the money and we'll leave. That's Got him, right? Jabbar don't like going back here and himself saying that his black leaders. Why y'all ain't been told us that? Why are we finding out now? Why you won't come out and be on it now? There were some people that took a couple of dollars. Why you want to be on it now, fam? <laughs> Hold them to the fire, chief. Say, boy, that pressure, that pressure, motherfucker. High guard on him, step it to him, know he can't hurt me. And make him tell the truth. Drop out. Garvey ain't no Asian, but in the same breath, you're going to turn around and tell me that it was niggas who took the money, who did have strange relationships with white folks, and told them that, hey, give me the money, and then we'll go. Come on. Come on, man. Tell it on yourself. Talk to them, Chief. So this is how they come back and said it, right? Because first, remember, they were revolutionists. Fight the power, the white man, the devil. We yeah, they got revolts in there. And they, we freed ourselves. We well, broke the know, chains. A lot of our leaders did. We broke the chains. And you know, you go down there to Mexico and they try to kick that Mayan history. One of the things they're going to tell you, the Mayans fought. We, we broke the chains. And then you say, hey, man, what happened in 1848 when they started sending the Mayans over to Cuba in the slave ship? Uh, we don't want to talk about that. Anthropology Museum of Mexico don't write that. Check. But they got the victim story. What happened with the Native Americans? Oh, we're being uh, um, racially discriminated in this world. Same time, why you niggas running around talking about y'all being racist? It's, it's all the same package up story. Don't worry, making a Native American three coming. I'm, 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 I'm scalping shit. Work with them, and since they ain't have no resources, they had to go get funded by the by the by the. The Black Star Lines were purchased. Jabari, by you lost the already. Can you show us a source, Jabari? Oh, you have been asking me for sources. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, nah, nah, wait, wait a minute before I go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Nah, I never let us fight. Bro, Sai, let me whoop this nigga, man. Sai, bro, I know that's your partner. Let me whoop him, man. He think he hard. Let me whoop him. Showing sources is because you're the one making the argument. No, it don't work like that. <laughs> Professor. Nah, no, 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 Professor, no, no. brother. So you mean to tell me? So you just admitted that this whole little back and forth, you, you have not presented the source. <laughs> My point exactly. When Jabari first got back from Africa, he told Sardinella, "I would, I listened in on the show, and I heard Top Cat say I show the same sources. I've been showing the same sources for years." He said, "Well, I have him know that some of those were actually new." Dosi, what Dosi at? Dosey, Dosey, <laughs> Dosey, that's how you do, man. Go to the body on them. Yeah, man. Faint, faint. Act like you're going to go up top and then shoot that bitch down in the solar. It's put it right in the solar plex. Oh, Jabari ain't like that one, boy. Dosey, hey, don't do that. Hey, let's not go there. Don't you do that. I'm there. He forgot all, he forgot what he was building on. Now, that, that was a low blow. Yeah, he got to, he ain't won't get off of that. Don't just say, nigga, same old sources. He don't like that. That's what it is. Who they get to him right there. Why? Because it's true. And all these people sitting in here, they don't see it. But when you see it and you point it out, now he feel exposed. That, hey, don't, don't see? <laughs> don't see <now. laughs> Let's not, please, let's not go there tonight, okay? Let's keep it clean. So yeah, he 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 know that I'm on to him, and he don't show sources. He don't have no sources. Oh, uh, that's why I don't respect his game. Hey, get the right lights over two hundred. And right now he's trying to get out of it. You don't want to fight. Why him? am I showing sources? You are the one making the argument, and you haven't made it. I'm supposed to show sources when you're someone making the argument. Your argument is Marcus Garvey is an agent. You're asking why I'm not showing sources. To show that Marcus Garvey is an agent, this the, the argument is on you, brother, and you have not even attempted to make your case. <laughs> this is Jabari game, right? My nigga. 
Nigga, I'm legendary top kid. <laughs> why? <laughs> because you're ridiculous. That's why. <laughs> and every because single time, because Robin Garvey worked with the clan. Every single time <laughs> I talk to you, every single time I talk to you, this is what you. Look, y'all. We asked See, you this what? wasn't about last night. This is every time. Every time he talks to me, he want to get out of the conversation. Every time I fought him, uh, I remember the first time he was over there talking. I think he did like a Thanksgiving build or something. And then he had my homeboy Dane Calloway name in, in his mouth. Well, I'm standing there, bro. I'm a real nigga, man. You ain't finna talk about my homeboy. He ain't here. And I'm right here. So guess what? You got him, man. We finna catch this fade. I'm not finna go back and say, dang, man, your boy was over there talking about you, man. Nah, I'm gonna come back and uh, I'm gonna say, uh, I ain't even gonna say that. They gonna say, man, you know, your boy Top Cat got into it for what? Nigga said something about you. Top Cat took off on him. Yeah, what? Yeah, he said something fly about you, dang, man. And Top Cat beef on him. Bam, broke his jaw. Yeah, the hospital. Yeah, he on the way to the, to the hospital now. Yeah, Top Cat took off on him. You a simple question and you have still not answered it. They don't the next thing he's going to do is tell us what color Marcus Garvey's bloomers were. And because they weren't black, red, black, and green, there's a problem with him. <laughs> I want you to answer the darn question. You said Marcus Garvey was an agent. Another why they had me on mute this whole time. I, I didn't know that. Look, look, so I had me on mute, Sa, si, bro. Sa, si, man. Sa. Si. Sa. Si. Come on now, I'm sorry. There are two cases on you now, man. Uh, Marcus Garvey was an agent. We proved he worked with the Ku Klux Klan. Uh, John Paul, Severe Cox, the eugenics movement, uh, who was into scientific racism. Okay, no, no way around it. How you a black revolutionary leader, but you hanging out with the Klan? You ain't fighting them. Ain't no blood on your hand. No, you out there hanging out, signing deals with them. And he also died in Europe. Okay, he went to Europe. Hey, hold up, hold up. Hey, top cat. Top cat. Um, is hey, before Elijah I go, Muhammad... just let me show something before I hold go. Up, top cat. Is Elijah Muhammad or agent? Oh, uh, no, nah, I, I like Elijah Muhammad. Now, what, what's now up? playing chess with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I never chess 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 with him. What I always tell you, put a jab out there or faint and, and make them keep them honest. Show me your intentions on why you asked me that. And so, yeah, I'm a, I am like Elijah. <laughs> they said Elijah was having babies with babies. <laughs> so there's a lot of things I could have went there. But now I'm not. We getting down on Pan-Africans tonight. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, Elijah's my buddy. We're going to play that, that, that finesse game. So once I know where he's going, in, bring him to me. Then I'm gonna show him what's really going on. Get a crossfire going, y'all. We gonna walk. Well, you do know he met with the clan, eugenics, and the clan. You know he, he yeah, he, he did, he did, he did. Uh, all of them, uh, and they also Ali Muhammad say if Eric Khan's daddy is a white Jew, so uh, yeah, maybe the, some of that the, had something to do with question, it. Question though, the question is, what was their conversation? With How they mess up with black people? No, okay, the conversation is. Obviously, it wasn't nothing about us because our condition didn't change. No, it was oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Our condition no, ain't changed. No, they on, made stop, a plug. Stop, they... It was something about us, brother. It was about separation. They both agreed that we want what we would sep that we would like to separate. That right. That's the, what the that white man wanted. Talking about right. I know the white man wanted it. Muhammad wanted. It. That's what Marcus Garvey wanted. Right. They, they wanted, wanted us to lead his land and and for so, the Indians so to lead his land. Was, a uh, black leader from the black um, sector and a white man from the white sector, they met up and they had the discussion and how to get these niggas out of here. We need to separate. Uh. That's what they was meeting on. They, yeah. Y'all hear the boy ad living. Come on, bro. Me and Shy having a conversation. Your boy, why you <laughs> why you moaning and grunting and groaning in the background, bro? What you so upset about? Just let it happen, bro. You're going to bleed out anyway. Just let it happen. I already stuck you. You're going to bleed out. Just chill. You're good. You got a couple more minutes. <laughs> yeah, but they want us to lead the country, and they want to take grandma and granddaddy land. Nah, we the Indians. We uh, indigenous or aboriginal to America. They want us off the land. That's why it's the Back to Africa move. I want to show this before I go. I told you I wouldn't be long. Y'all, uh, y'all, without them even knowing, they prove my point 
how do your uh, your agenda aligns with the quote unquote supposedly supremacist agendas how and 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 if the the supremacist agenda is a form of co uh, colonialism then why aren't you a colonizer if you are participating so y'all help me make the argument because their whole motive was to get the aboriginals to leave america that's what all of these movements were about that's why they were aligning that's what they talking about separate separate we need our own place where in africa that's yeah y'all walk right into the to the to the left hand that is our point that's what we're saying you are agent because you are working with these people how is your uh uh um, mission statement your mission statement the same as the colonizer mission statement which is to get niggas off this land and jabbar has already confirmed that they that yes they took the funding from these colonialists check and then we also see that they have the same mission statement so that's why you're being funded because your mission statement aligns with the colonizers mission statement and y'all are together on the mission together to take over the indigenous people in the american indian population here take us off our aboriginal lands brother we're on top of all of this uh no diggity no doubt no diddy no doubt oh uh, y'all see what did he do uh, Uncle Luke did a live. Uncle Luke say, uh, man, y'all know what happened in them parties. When they make you a, a billionaire, yeah, they'll give you the M's, they'll give you the, the bills. Yeah. But as soon as you turn around, what did he say? He's suing some rock and all of this here. And then what happened? They hit him. <laughs> oh, man, they do the, this. That's politics. And one thing Dr. Ben told him, stay out of politics because you will be compromised and i told the indians that and you still had indians out here who won't get any politics and they they trying to go get uh chose by the i don't know what type of seat position they want stay out in politics they gonna compromise you or they gonna unalive you when they're done with you xmlk can we get some some flames from that? Like, come on, Jabari, let him ask. I'll beat you up if you At this point, he won't. He don't want it. He's talking about one time. He said, yes. "This is my look." It's about yeah. separation. They both agreed that we want, but we would separate. That we would like to separate with these people. How is you? Yeah, y'all look, look at you. That they, they have the same mission statement. So now, why Jabari? Y'all seen what he did last night? He did it. Your this mission night statement too. aligns with the colonizers' mission statement, and y'all are together on a mission together to take over the indigenous people in the American Indian population here, take us off our Aboriginal lands, brother. We're on top of all of this. Can we get some some flames from Jaguar, some Purple Horse in the chat? We see it all, and can we get over three hundred likes? Please. Let's get the likes up, man. Show some love in the cash out. Can we get Let's get the likes up, man. Likes. Let me feel love in the cash out today. Share the video out. Uh, uh, let me I'm let me show I'm this. Have have wait, 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 wait. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. This is my show. Yeah. Y'all seen last night. I mean, that night, what I asked him, I said 60 seconds. Bro, I'm not trying to take over the show or nothing, but I would like the respect to get mine off. I want rookie of the year. On HOK, so I never I could play a video where you told me, "Hey man, I'm so glad this brother on my team, Top Cat, be spitting. I'm glad he on my team, man." Oh, uh, so I never, man, you ain't you ain't never make me feel like I was on the team, bro. And I'm 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 Kobe Bryant, man. I'm Kobe Bean Bryant. They can't hold me, bro. I'm saying I don't want to see anything else he's showing. Because it isn't Jabari, on the that's not fair, brother. It's, it's on topic to what? No, it's on topic. I'm bringing you on tomorrow. Topic. Okay, up. look, look, hold on. Unc, you told me that last night. I bring you in tomorrow. You ain't bring me in the next day. Come on, sir. You finessing me, man. Why you doing this to me, man? Let me go and get your boy. 
I know that's your top hitter. Let me get him out of here. Hold on. Let me say this to no, Brother Jabari no, before no, I leave. No, no. Brother no, Jabari. Brother, no, no. Look at him, y'all. Look, look at your boy. Look at your boy. Not big, bad Jabari Osage. Duncan Fade. Shout out to Turtle Island in the in the uh cat in the super chat. He say, "Hey, if Jabari talking, I'm laughing nine out of ten times." And I and I'm not saying anything. I'm not being disrespectful. The only thing they I, accused me of being disrespectful last night. They say Top Cat, man, I let him talk, but he be disrespectful. He emotional. That's not true, bro. Look how much respect I'm showing him, and I see he's steady trying to wrap me up and tie me up when I'm trying to get my shots out. Like I, I know what I'm doing in that in that case, when a person's doing that or he's running around the ring, I'm not finna uh uh give too much energy. No, I'm gonna finesse you because I'm gonna make you come to me. I'm gonna close that gap and then we gonna we gonna get in this blender. I'm asking to do is share my screen. And I feel like this is a place where, you know, I, one of their mottos is source up or shut up, correct? One of their mottos there is shut up, source up or shut up. Well, I'm trying to source up and I'm trying to figure out where is all the backlash coming from because I simply want to source up. Hey, y'all, we missing like 50 likes, family. We missing like 50 likes. Listen, give my likes up, bro. Come on, man. Y'all, man, stop. Stop playing with me, bro. Stop disrespecting me, man. Come on, bro. I am holding it down. Bro, I'm holding it down for Indians and Aboriginals, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Your favorite Indian, favorite Aboriginal, bro, is not... And I'm, and there's no competition. Everybody got a job to do. Everybody can't do the same job. My job is an enforcer. My job is the military unit, nigga. Check. We ain't got nothing if we ain't got no military. You hear me? Nah, bro. They they should be packing me through the goddamn city, nigga, like Caesar. I'm sorry, bro. I didn't put in too much work. It don't stop. And I'm keeping the big bad boys away from y'all. A lot of these scholars ain't got a dang out of fight. They can just come out here and kick it and play it out with the people, and the people can think they got all the information in the world, but when it's time to fight, they don't know how to fight. Don't worry about it. I I'm do the fighting. BCU, I got some Jaguars with me. We we listen. This is what we do. We build colonies. We kick those shit. Build colonies. We conquer and and we conquer all our enemies too. We need some more support. Be put be, put some respect on BC. We are the military unit. We come in to kick ass. That's it. Let us do our job. And y'all can do y'all job. Everybody got a different part to play. It's a lot going on. But when it comes down to this military genius, you want the Jaguars on the field, and we never lost a man. Let's walk. Brother Jabari, I want to ask you about your upcoming debate. So I, I said, all right, I'm going to finesse on him. Because he don't want me to pull that weapon out. He is no, brother, you are not pulling any other sources tonight. Because every time you shut your screen, brother, you have killed everything that I was saying. I am, brother. No, you are not doing it anymore. I had took enough of a beating. <laughs> You're not finna keep putting your hands on me tonight. <laughs> Shanetta ain't doing a good enough job of moderating. He letting you get away with low blows. And that, now I gotta give it to Sai. Sai, that night, you, you, that's how you gotta let them play. Right now, it's the uh, Sweet 16, bro. This championship on, you gotta let them play. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no falling and Jabari won't looking for his fall. He flopping and all that. So another that night we was the Knicks in the garden. And uh yeah, man, he he I was getting, you know, he was letting us play. I won't say he let me get away with that. He was letting us play. It's a physical game. He was letting nigga play through the bell, punch through the bell, man. Don't tie up. You ain't even just see him wrap up, punch out. And Sha did a good job that night, and Jabari got mad at him. Let's walk. Need me? Oh, uh, no, nah, man. I can't see out of my left eye. Oh, uh, no, sir. You're not putting out any more weapons tonight. Not tonight. I just want to show Jabari. You. Oh, the big bad Mayweather. This Mayweather, y'all. Y'all know come Mayweather. 
Mayweather, really? Mayweather don't want no fade. Now, I want to ask you about your upcoming debate. You and I, I'm not here to talk about my debate right now. You and I <clears throat> have conversations that give me a migraine. Because I you know, I'll be putting nights on your head. Be talking about one time. That boy told me, you and I have conversations that give me migraines. I know. Come on, bro. Is it? Hey, listen, y'all. Is your boy scared of type cat or what? Drop it in the chat. This is this. If if I was imagine if I was Jabor, if I had Jabor position in this, and I was doing Jabor like that, and I didn't want to engage, I didn't want him to show his screen or nothing. Why he don't want me to show my screen? Jabari best weapon is a counter puncher. He will take your source and use it against you. He's never been able to done that, do that with me, and so. He can't get his offense off. He had no defense, and I hit hard. And so this is what he revert to. I just I don't want to fight. No, because I be putting knots on your head. Shout out to Golf Coach Gapper. Because Golf Coach just told me put some knots on his head. Say, look at Golf Coach. I got you. That boy said he got to go pop some aspirin when he get off. He need an ice pack. Being gay, yeah, he been gay down, laid up. Every time you talk to me, boy, I put knots on you. Got, it, got his feet in his that head propped. <laughs> topic, and you never talk about the topic. <laughs> Can I share my screen? This is ridiculous. You asked me to source up, and you didn't think I would source up. You didn't source up. I'm smarter than you. Oh you didn't know that the night that the cup <laughs> uh, comes in 1919. I'm gonna another story laughing. <laughs> I'm the greatest pan African teacher. I am the greatest pan African teacher. Man, homie calling rank. Homie told you uh, a pan African professor who sat with Ben and Dr. Ben and all of them, and you let an Indian tell you he's the greatest pan African man. Them fighting words, Jabari. You supposed to got out there, win, lose, or draw. Nigga, to snatch your, 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 uh, your patches. I'll feel you, man. Snatch the stripes off of you. Say, I took that, nigga. I'm the new Pan African teacher around this whole nigga. And we can fight for it. If Jabari don't want to engage in combat. Top cap. We're talking. He's scared of me. No, no, no. Don't go. He's scared of me, He's scared of me. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. He's scared of me. Don't go. Don't go. He's scared of me. Don't go. Don't go. He's scared of me. Look, he's just shaking his head. He's scared of me. All he can do is shake his head. All he can do is shake his head. Put <laughs> on your head. He's talking about one time. And you never talk about. <laughs> Can I share my screen? This is ridiculous. Oh, so I, don't, I ain't showing. I ain't. I ain't on topic. I ain't sourcing up. Well, let me share my screen. How you gonna tell me I'm not sourcing up? And I'm asking two sources. Yeah, versatile. And you me because it's the versatility. See, because if you knew I was wrong, you'll let me source up. Because Jabari's game is to take your source and use it against you. Tonight, every time I switched up, he has not been able to use his counterpunching ability to take the source and use it for his uh, 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 benefit. He has been unsuccessful in it. Defense too strong. He has not been able to get out any offense tonight. I've beat him to punches. I've controlled the uh, uh, lead hand. I've controlled the lead foot tonight. I've stepped to him. I put pressure on him. At this point, he won't. He don't want any more parts of me. You asked me to source up, and you didn't think I was source up. And that's what happened, brother. As soon as I got to talking, you were sources, sources at the beginning, sources, sources. Now we come down to the end. Now you saying no more sources from you? <laughs> no, nah, we started off everything. He ain't let me finish my sentence. Source, source, source. And now, bro, for the last 10 minutes, it's been, no, I will I will leave the show if y'all let him source up. He's not <laughs> embarrassing me no more today. I will leave if y'all let him source up. So we go from source, source, to no, no more sources. Oh, okay. I got you. Get it source up! I'm smarter than you. Oh you might God. know that the, okay. that the cup, uh, cup was in 1919. Okay. I am the greatest Pan-African teacher. I am the greatest Pan-African teacher. All right.
Top cap. We're talking. First he's scared of me. No, no, no. Don't go. Don't go. He's scared of me. Don't go, brother. Hey, it's first hey, source. No, before I leave, can I ask you about your upcoming debate? Just for promotional reasons. Time out. Promotion. Promotional reasons. Oh, Jabari, can I ask you about your debate? No. And I'm being sincere about it. No, on, Jabari. No, yeah. Okay, you. okay. He saw, even last night, so I threw that in. Jabari, come on, let him ask. And, you know, Jabari be leaning on Sidenetta like, we ain't going to be friends. Who team you on? So Sidenetta got to ride for the home team. Sidenetta knows Jabari don't want no parts of me. Sidenetta called me. It's live. We was live. Sidenetta called said, hey, you beating Jabari in the polls. Get over here and screenshot it so Jabari won't say it's a lie. So I never called, and it was live, and it was on air. And he said, get over here and screenshot it. You beat Jabari in the polls. That's a fact. So I never know Jabari. He'll put him in front of everybody else. Jabari be whooping niggas. Jabari, he can fight other people. Styles make fights. But when he get to me, he, he don't, you know, he seen me in action already. And even used the information that I used on him in the debate. He took that information and started using it for himself, tried to use it on me tonight. And I showed the clip where I taught him that. Bars. Just like I taught Chris last night, and Chris going to come back and tell me, I apologize, I misspoken. Stop it. Okay, so I, I, I even tried to finesse him, so I was like, come on, Jabari, let him ask. I beat you up and your feelings hurt. You know I beat you on the couch with top cap that's and not true brother it's first time out promotion. promotional reasons uh jabari can i ask you about your debate no and i'm being sincere about it no. No, jabari, no, yeah. okay you okay so I, I beat you up your feelings hurt you know i beat you on the pose over here huh no, debate why you know i beat you on the pose the reason why I said no, is because I've had several conversations with Top Cat. You can't say that. It's bro, you can count on one hand how many times we talk, bro. For real, Jabari, bro. What? He used been... that excuse last night. Jabari, we have not had uh that that many conversations. You do not want to talk to me. When Ali Muhammad was on there, Chief Ali, uh, what happened? You ain't you want to talk to everybody else except me. And, when I, and the only thing, I came there because y'all not finna jump, Chief Ali. Period. So, that's why I was standing there. Because all them other Pan-Africans that was there think y'all finna get a punch or a kick in. I'm standing right here. So, guess what? When I'm standing right there, guess what? Ain't nobody move. I bet ain't nobody move. Yeah, y'all gonna let Ali get his one. And, uh, Jabari, you better not get a good lick in because I'm gonna dive. I'm gonna be for you. And I and these pan that these these soldiers y'all get got with y'all, they ain't worth nothing. I'm Jason Bourne on them. Yeah, I'm gonna go in Jason Bourne mode. Talk, man, you don't you don't you don't play with me. <laughs> we had about maybe four conversations, bro. This is probably our fifth conversation. One hand full, and each time you came up on the losing end, brother. You avoid me like you avoid me tonight. But you got it. You should have left when Sai tried to end the show. Cause I end up calling and say, "Hey, come over here, Jabari. Over here, come stir some shit up." Nah, facts. I called me over there, bro. So, so, bro, you gotta let me get mine off too, bro. You know what I'm saying, man? Let's let the chips fall where they may, bro. Let's let the, our rights be right and our wrongs be wrong, bro. Like I said the other day, it's okay to say that we've been lied to. Yeah, and I went over there. Jabari got a black eye. And now they asking me to leave. Yeah, they on some Floyd Mayweather and Earl Spence camp. And now I'm Earl and they asking me to leave the camp because Floyd got a black eye. Nah, y'all brought me in here, man. The fight, man. And uh, we just born. Never about the topic. Brother, I switched up. It's you can tell no, these people not. whatever you want. I no, switched you up. Not. You no, did not. not. And I, I'm ready to switch up right now, then. Jabari, tell Sai never let me show us up. Tell Sai never let me show my screen. No. I kill everything you talk about. No, no. I you had, you Jabari, I got your number, Jabari. Listen, you you know, hey, you just, I got your number. Sai Hey, can I ask him a question, Jabari? Hold no, on, you cannot. 
No, I don't want you to ask him a question. Okay. I'm about to go. He <laughs> won't be I'm about to go. So don't tell you, Jabari, man. Listen, okay. listen, listen, listen. Hold on a second. You're muted. He had no right. primaries, Jabari. Listen, listen. All right, listen. all right. Peace, hey, peace, Top Cat, man. If peace, we brother. were talking about a topic and we ask you a question and you talk for five minutes and never answer the question, why should I spend any more time listening to you? You said you made an extraordinary claim. You said Marcus Thank Garvey you. was an agent. Huh. And he never yeah. even attempted to show that. I'm gone and he's still talking about it. So it's been on the screen all day. <laughs> <laughs> he's steady trying to convince them that I didn't bring a suit. Jabari is mad. He is upset. I fucked him up. He is mad. He's going to be mad the rest of the stream. I'm gone. He is not going to stop talking about me. You, don't, you See, listen, the word source means <laughs> what is the source of your argument? <laughs> a source doesn't mean show me a piece of paper that has words on it. What's the source of your argument? If the argument is about Marcus Garvey being an agent, the source should prove that Marcus, Marcus Garvey is an agent. White supremacist and Marcus Garvey. That was a in title. the Virginia Race Integrity Act. That was the title of the, of the <laughs> brother. The source proved it. The source proved it. You're done. <laughs> you showed us five or six things and had nothing to do with it. You just said I ain't show nothing. Make up your mind. Did I show you? Did I hit you with five or six sources back to backs? Jamar, this is a waste of time. I was just about to close. And when Top Cat comes on and does that, <laughs> Listen. every single time I talk to him, he talks about not anything related to the topic. He gets defeated roundly, and then he cheers like he won. And he, he didn't even talk about the topic. And he cheers like he won. You know I won. <laughs> Jabari. The question is, I'm a Jabari. Jabari. time. <laughs> Come, man, y'all, come, man, somebody give him some tissue. Somebody give him some tissue, man. He got his heart hurt. He told me, I was about to close out, man. He do this every time, man. <laughs> you should have pulled off, my man. That's you sitting there talking about nothing. You were done in 28 minutes. You said, okay, that's half an hour. That's enough. That was enough. And you were supposed to close out, bro. Got something to say. Yeah, you should have pulled out, bro, before I pulled out. Got out there, man. Cause I, and I now he me. mad. He got beat up. He upset. Every time I see him, he, he trying to bully me. <laughs> Ain't nobody in the world finna say Jabari did just get. I beat him. I beat him up last night. Yeah, I beat him and I kicked him while he was on the ground. Yes, I did. Why are you saying that Marcus Harvey is an agent? I told you. And saying that he had a conversation with the eugenist or the Klan or other white supremacists is not proof that he's an agent Boy, because we know it. what he was doing. Right. We, I got it, him, we, we, we yeah. got you. We I got mean, you. <laughs> <laughs> I done try to tell you, bro, this ain't looking good, Jabari. You might want to chill out, Jabari. It's, it's okay. He's gone. He's, he's gone. We got you, brother. We feel you. Calm down. So I never say this don't look too good, Jamar. You like that? Ridiculous. Let Amin Ra McCarthy get something. Yeah, Go ahead, Amin Amin Ra. Ra. Peace, brother. I haven't seen you in a while. It's good to see you. I'm sorry I'm annoyed. It's got nothing to do with you, good brother. Yeah, it ain't got nothing to do with you. I just I just took an ass whooping tonight. I'm not, I'm not, you know, it ain't got nothing to do with you. Nigga, they put his hands on me tonight. Yeah, I'm a little frustrated. I ain't had nothing for him. I start throwing, it's, 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 the nigga was hitting too hard. He was hitting me too hard, so. Ooh, and my shit fucked up, my eyes swole. Mm-hmm, it's a heal, don't worry about it. Take some of them Dr. Sabre herbs. Oh, uh, nigga, them, I can't even feel my whole left jaw. Son of a bitch, little nigga got a, got, motherfucker got a pack of punch on him. And he kicked me. Sinetta, you got to you gotta engage. Once he get to putting his feet on me, Sinetta, you got to engage. Come on now. Don't let him get, nigga, I'm a real fuck. I think I, <laughs> nigga, the fracture the real, they kick me in my motherfucking real cage. Not a debate. 
I repeat, let me say this again. This is not a debate, but this is a conversation. <laughs> Listen, y'all, whenever they say it's not a debate, trust me, tie your shoes up, strap down. We finna go in the combat. It's a debate. Trust me. The Jabari going to chalk that up as a win. Y'all got to know Jabari. Jabari pick on soft targets. And if even if you didn't come to engage in the debate manner, Jabari is going to uh, – He's gonna jump on you. The nigga got a key shoe, and uh, yeah, he gonna pull his key shoe out. Uh, yeah, that nigga gonna pull his key shoe out, and he gonna he gonna get you. He gonna he gonna get you if he can. And a discussion. Now, of course, we don't. Hey, um, based on what you said, I I you know that we could disagree and still be cordial, right? And so I don't agree with what you just said, and let me explain why. Um. I certainly can tell you that virtually no one in our audience, no one in the schools that we attended, virtually none of the people, um, the black folks that we're whose voices, who are hearing our voices, learned much about enslavement. So when you say that this is a narrative that they fed us in school, the reality is we didn't hear much about it in school. There was very little. In fact, we're probably at a point in time where there's going to be even less information about what occurred now. I believe it's 33 states right now that have some sort of law that says that we are not supposed to um, learn about enslavement um, because it supposedly might make some people in that room, some children particularly in that room, feel uncomfortable on the basis of race. So it, this is not something that we've learned a lot about. Um, and so that that is that that is a real thing. And and I, as someone who has studied history for all of my adult life, in fact, earlier than my adult life, and teaches history and visits visit sites and does study tours, I'm really going to say to you that I hear people often say that we have not found enslavement ships, and that's just not true. Right, hey, past um, it, and right, hey, past it, <laughs> right, hey, fight of a fat ass, but nigga, past it. I think that even the premise of the question is wrong. We shouldn't expect that there should be hundreds, even dozens, of enslavement ships just sitting around, right? I mean, look, I'm a 52 year old man. My birthday was on Monday. I'm a 52 year old man. I have owned. I've owned four cars before the one I have right now. I don't have those cars. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't have, I don't own those cars. They don't just sit somewhere. They literally get taken somewhere. Either they are repurposed for someone else to use, or they get broken down in their constituents' parts and used for something else. That's kind of what our society does. The best way to follow the story of the enslavement ships that we have found, however, is to look for those um, that have uh, that have sunken. And there are sunken ships. In fact, there's an entire book. I don't know if you know about it. Um, it's called Enslaved, The Sunken History of the Transatlantic Enslavement. Bro, I would get down all the way down on that book. I, I will go stupid on that book. Them black divers, do y'all know, you, do, do know who they come from? What organizations they came out of? Who funded them? Nah, bro, you can't do that with me. I'm Jason Bowen. I'm Jason Bowen, bro. Shout out to Chaz. Smooth ass Chaz. Shout out to Smooth Chaz with a smooth ass. And shout out to Creekside Yellow in the building, man. Shout out to Lil Creek, man. I uh I seen the uh picture of him the other day. Shout out to Lil Creek, man. He look just like your ass. Trait. Really good book. It's on audiobook. It's a really good book. And most of what um, occurs in here is focusing on a group of black divers. Bro, I, I think they're called Diving with the Purpose. And they. Bro, I will chop that up, bro. This is what I'm saying. Uh, what Dosey do with? Dosey, see this type of stuff I got in the back because I haven't got no action on it. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't going to give it to them. Last night, the Gullah Geechee information I dropped on them, 
uh me sword and dosi did a lecture i took it down because the pan africans uh was trying to use it to play it and chop it up and really learn so yeah we we we, we came through uh rope down got the mission done got in and out ain't nobody see us you know what i'm saying <laughs> got in and i got the mission done nigga, ain't nobody see us we gone we under new identities and everything now nigga. done that and don't make us uh helicopter over and, and rope down and come get in and get our man and get out again yeah the neighborhood ain't even know we was there they are the ones because who else would go looking for them do we expect that the european is going to look and find the world implements of our world, enslavement world. are we waiting for them to do that is black divers that go and find them and so that is a really important um aspect to this story um in terms of how people were situated in those ships i'm gonna say to you um that we have diagrams sure but we also have the um the discussions the descriptions of africans who were forced into the hull hulls of those ships describing what their experience was like hey let's get up so 300 it's not people. that there's just a diagram that someone showed us in school. By the way, they rarely showed us anything that has to do with enslavement in school. Um, I, I, it's just, I, I don't think that your analysis on this is necessarily um, correct. And I'm certainly one of the folks that um, has done a lot of study on this. In fact, um, Sonnetter, we have a trip. We have a trip to the National Museum of African American history and culture. It is on April 6th. Time is short now. Time is short now. And I'm going to tell oh, you. Brother Rod, what, where you from, Brother Rod? The diagram, the slave ship. And in the text, it told us Lee, that what's up, there, Lee? these ships was running continuously. Say, Liz. I don't know if you know them old school. It's an old school song. It say, uh, can't keep running in and out of my life. Keep running. Can't keep running in and out of my life. Yeah, you all is in and out of my life. Shit. Get it together, Liz. For 300 years with thousands of people on them over this, uh, period of time up to millions yeah, died in the middle passage is what they tell, told us in history school in school that image that they give us is the same image that i've seen in other school books from relatives who was taking history classes in other parts of michigan chicago and i looked in their books they had the same uh, historical paradigm in their books that I had in mind. You saying that they didn't teach it where you were, which and some schools teach a different core curriculum and a different textbook than other school districts. So you may be in one of the districts where you came up, they was they wasn't teaching it. But in the districts that I went in and in Pontiac, Michigan, Grand Rapids, Michigan, um, they did teach that narrative, that slave doctrine, and they attribute that as to being the cause of all of us kinky hair, brown skin people being on this coast. Hey, y'all, do me a favor, y'all. Share this video out, bro. This is important. And this is what I'm saying. See, it's going to come a day you're going to find that. You're gonna find that if BCU don't fight, nigga, then then this whole paradigm has a problem. I'm just gonna be honest. If we not on the battlefield, then this this uh 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 paradigm is going to have trouble. I'm telling you. So why BCU don't get the support, I don't know, which is crazy. Which is crazy when it is clear we are the military force. It is clear. Now there's other military forces out there. You got soldiers from all other sides that's gonna bang too. But when it comes down to us, yeah, we 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 top level, we elite. We elite. 
We come in, we don't need that many. We come in, we get the job. We got motherfuckers gonna get in and get the job done. And we gonna get up out of there. No black hawk down shit over here, nigga. We in and out, nigga. Our pod is everything, nigga. A1, nigga. Top, top shelf. Best shit you can get, nigga. Best training. And we work well together, nigga. We have conquered and we have goddamn slayed so many of the enemy. And nigga, uh, now nah, it ain't nobody that can stand in front of. So, uh, man, all you American paradigms out there, denominations, the uh, man, uh, your BCU brothers and sisters need some support. We worth the shit. We worth the thumbs up. We worth the. Hey, y'all go check them out over there. Nah, square business, bro. The game, nigga. So the game ain't just gonna give us nothing. Come on, bro. Nah, we can't do that. Uh, they gotta go through us before they can get to y'all. So y'all ain't been having too many wars and all of that, cause they gotta go through us to get to y'all. And by time, and ain't no going through us. You hear me? Ain't no going through us. Man, we need come on, man. Ain't got damn sure or something. I don't come I don't come from the paradigm that my people came from somewhere else. I'm clear I don't have personally have any issue with the people in Africa. But the scholars that I talk to from Kenya, from Somalia, from Ethiopia, um, from Nigeria, they none of them agreed with the slave narrative that we've been given over here when I asked them about it. Well, let me let me say to you that I'm I'm not just talking about what I read in school. I'm an educator, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not just talking about what I read in school. I'm talking about understanding. I would have stepped to Jabari because Jabari used his credentials and all of that. And I, you know, those are intimidating tactics. That's like a nigga with tattoos in his face. You know, selling it. Well, nigga, um, uh, I have you know that I come from the school of hard knocks. I had an OG named G once tell me that it don't get no worse than these streets. And I kept that with me. I was a sophomore. I was in 10th grade. He told me it don't get no worse than these streets. No matter what you go through, no matter what conditions you in, no matter where you at, nigga, it don't get no worse than this. And I always kept that with me. So uh, the credentials and all that don't mean nothing. So I would have said, so, 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 so. Being though you said that, and that's a fact, uh, wouldn't you be compromised? Because if you're teaching for the institution, they have curriculums already prepared. You're not teaching this shit you're teaching on Sinetta to, uh, well, I'll take that back. <laughs> them PowerPoints he be putting up, nigga, them hoes straight up out of colonization. <laughs> them, that's the school curriculum. So by default, wouldn't you be a accessory to the crime of indoctrination? Ending, yeah, I want to step to him. We're gonna scratch. Man, I want man, I want some action. Many of the municipalities are teaching around the country throughout the years. Right. Um, That's for, one of the one but, of the tools of divide and conquer is the educational but I, paradigms. I'm but but I, I, I want to say that um when you also say that you've spoken to scholars on the continent, I'm negotiating right now to teach at the University of Cape Coast. I will be a scholar on the continent as well. Jabari so be my, moving I, though. I, I get to him. Jabari got hustle. Jabari gonna move and groove. He gonna use that pan African shit to the best his ability. And he didn't got them. He got a house built out there in Ghana. He a chief of a village, and he be moving though. You know that nigga ain't no Umar Johnson. <laughs> yeah, nah, he he moving though. You know. I get it to him. He's a hustler. To you that I I travel on the continent on the he African. Push that pan. Hey, he pushed that. He live and breathe that pan African shit. I give it to him. That's why I, I love to crush him on the battlefield because I know he a real pan African. Yeah, and I lose like, so, so so much satisfaction when he see them feathers and he get to running the other way. In continent regularly, I speak to. Let's um, get over three hundred um, in the there. chat. Um, I don't know if if their expertise is not 
um, the enslavement trade. I don't know why you might expect them to describe that, but I'd love to know who you spoke to, first of all, as well. But let me say to you that um, this is one of the things that I have studied. And mm -hmm. I would put my knowledge and information on the transatlantic enslavement trade up against virtually all of the scholars on the African continent. Um, uh, so you won't put it up against mine. That you won't put it up against mine because I'm going to say this here. I am the greatest teacher. If you need to know about the transatlantic slave trade, you have to talk to legendary top cat. Go get my book, I'm Not Black, I'm Indian, homie. We got dope up in there. We got uh, 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 lectures on lectures on that topic. Listen to me, man. Not fucking around. Nigga, you want to know about the transatlantic slave trade? Or uh, go get my book. That's just the, the reality. And, and of course, there are definitely scholars that have studied this extensively, and um, there are great books that have been written on it as well. Like, I read I'm, plenty like of books I'm not black, that I'm describe the slaves, I'm the slave about, trade, the, the uh, from the continent, brother. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about from the continent, I'm not just talking about um, uh, enslavement here. Um, you're gonna find, yeah, Katie's scared of me. I'm, I'm just looking for one right here. Here goes, for example, look at this. These two books, these are just two books I grabbed off the shelf. I could show you others. That's right. This brother. is this is That's look at right, this forts dude. and castles of Ghana. This describes mm -hmm. the statement trade in Ghana, right? How about this one? Here we go. A guide to Cape Coast Castle. Now, I disagree with them calling them castles. That's what the Europeans called them. But these were the dungeons. These are the dungeons that Africans were um were marched to. That's what uh, they told us. It's not just what they told us, brother. You can be. I'm gonna step to him. We're not just gonna call him there. We finna name him. So you brought up Cape Coastal. Cape Coastal ran through the Royal African Company, homie. See, I'm gonna go there with you. I know where they went. I know the people who they were sending there, who they was bringing through there. I know what they got in the trade. I know that they had to close down. I know that they had the wrong maps to that. That's why I asked him the question I asked him, and I hit him so hard with that first question, he didn't even know the answer. Nigga took me back to the uh, Socrates or something. <laughs> I socked him so hard, that nigga talking about that nigga brought up Socrates. Yeah, stop it. Oh, uh, Watch how I come get him. Off the top, he said, you coming in with that book? Not today. Go and do the archaeological evidence yourself. Man, I've stop. been to the sites. Mm-hmm. I've been but, to the site. I've spoken to the archaeologist. Um, <laughs> this is not about I, 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 when you say that's that's What's what they name? have told us. Yeah, I, I'm not sure who the they is you're speaking to. Everybody um, that told us that them was the dungeons to ship people over here, they told us that. Who's brother, controlling? You know, who's controlling the warehouses? Brother, the people that are in control warehouse. of the enslavement dungeons on what in West Africa are Africans. There are no Europeans in control of those spaces. Whoa, Tybot, Tybot. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Let me go get some work. Let's clear that up. Man, side to side, another, but side, bro. Side, come on, bro. He told me you got your own show today. Now, if I go over there today, side, and I kill the whole Gullah Geechee talk. See, I'm chilling though, bro. I ain't even in that. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't even gonna go, man. He should have let me kill him right there on the spot. And then Chris came back. He felt so embarrassed that he came back talking about Top Cat was right. I misspoke it. <laughs> Say, man. Hold on, y'all. I'm finna go get something for y'all. I'm finna show y'all that what the boy is saying is not true. Oh, uh, what yeah, bro? I need you. Well, yeah, Brody. Hold on, I'm gonna have to go in my joint and go get it. Boom, 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 boom. What's the name? Hey, y'all, let's get the likes up while we doing it. I'm about to go pull up a bad one for y'all. I'm about to get an exclusive about the back for y'all. Hold on, hold on, two seconds. That's not it. Come on, fam, fam, we did it live. 
It was a live bill. Hold on. Give me two seconds. Let me grab it. Yeah, because, see, I'm finna show y'all something. The people that were inside those dungeons, I'm going to show y'all who they were. Right? This is exclusive. Can't get it nowhere else but here on BCU. Only place you can get it. Only place you can get this kind of work. Over here on BCU. Exclusive. All the hard stuff. Nobody can get the answers. We got the answers. Nah, but give me two seconds. Oh. Nah, it ain't that one. It's a long one. I think it was like six hours. Um, hold on, y'all. I'm almost there. Almost there. How to kiss it, colonize And then he brought up this other guy, and I ain't get to get on that. It was two points that I wanted to touch on last night, and they wouldn't let me get the mic because I wanted to go in. It was two points. Okay. Okay. We're getting close. All right, now they're looking familiar. Man, what was that? Oh, we went to the certain mile before that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, now this right here, this is the one I killed the slave trade on. Oh, we walked the slave trade on here. We walked the slave trade on here. Hold on, bro. You got to be at the... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I know I went tripping. So he brought up Cape Coaster. Y'all remember that? All right, we're going to come in right here. We got 300 in the chat, man. Let's get the likes up. Now, watch how we do this here. Now, they talking about Cape Coaster. Now, let's go. Finally, after these years of war in the 1800s, this front end of country was, it deposit somebody's mat. Ain't math in fact. Number slave delivered in the West Indies, nor will that number ever be established. Because they don't want to tell you that they failed. That transatlantic slave trade story was a failure. According, however, the figures comply to the records of the Royal African Company. The company did deliver the British West Indies alone 90,000 slaves between 1673 and 1711. Barbados, 42. Jamaica, 34. Nevis, 9. Antigua, uh, 2. St. Christopher, 624. Mon Montserrat, uh, 1300. As the act of 1698 was due to expire 1711, the director of the company they end up changing it over to regain a monopoly in 1708 and 12. The prospect of reviving the company, including the privilege, raised the storm of protests all over England. A lot of people wanted this slave trade to go on. They was believing in it. And you had a group of people got together and say, well, bro, you're going to have to show me oh, something. Because we ain't making no money. We oh, lose. We're have to abandon this mission. Yeah, because there ain't no profit over there. The resources they was telling They them talk about. all them numbers of these slaves and the slave trade and all of these records. And when we come here between 1670 and 1715, these are the numbers of what they are surrounding this story around. More Indians were exported into slavery through Charlestown than Africans were imported. So again, we reject your de deposit. Somebody's mad. Ain't mathing, family. <laughs> so once the rat closed down bankrupt, well, you get the African Company Act 1750. Now, what's the wreck? The wreck is the Royal African Company, ran by two black kings, uh, King Charles II and uh, James Duke of York. Now, um, they're going to have Port Royal in Charleston, Port Royal in Jamaica, and they're also going to have Cape Coastal, what Jabari just brought up. So I want to let y'all know that we're in context. This is why he don't want to talk to me. All right, because this ain't this ain't that uh uh, uh curriculum packet that they give you uh uh um over there. Nah, this ain't that. You get in here with me, you you dealing with a real real scholar. 
15 was passed in Parliament, Great Britain, it dissolved the, the Raw African Company and it created the African Company of Merchants. Okay, right. so so now when the wreck end up going out of uh they're gonna they're gonna bankrupt. See, they opened up their books. That's how we know that ain't no these slaves are not coming over because they're telling them what's bringing them. Even the commodities that they're bringing, uh, uh, the cargo that they bring it over, they're breaking down everything and they're breaking down the money and the profits that they they lost on it because Africa wasn't successful. It wasn't a successful mission when you're looking over in America and these people over here getting stupid rich. The profits are, are, are not looking the same. So they called in and said, hey, man, uh, cause you know, you had, uh, um, now the person who came with the maps was post the maps was fake. You had gum coast, diary coast go. That's where they get that from. There was no place called that. Then the tribe is called the gold coast tribe. Ain't nobody called y'all ain't running around talking about y'all no gold coast tribe or none of that. So they, they, the gum, you know, uh, they made, they made this up. So they had no idea about it. This 1750, that's why I asked him the question. But it's going to transfer over after they bankrupt, another company going to come. It's called the African Company of Merchants, okay, or Company of Merchants Trading to Africa. It was a British, because he said the Europeans had nothing to do with those. It was a British company operating from 1752 to 1821 in the Gold Coast area, modern-day Ghana. Now, let's walk. And they will be um, rocking out here on the Gold Coast. They will be rocking out on the Gold Coast. Now, these people know nothing about the interior parts of Africa, been there over 200 years. When 200 years is a long time, in that 200 years, they had built up a population there of people who didn't have interactions with the mainlands in Africa, okay? This coastal people. This new group of people who was birthed right there on this coast out of this 200 years of colonialism. In that area, man, you had two key players. You had the Shante tribe located in the central Ghana, the largest tribe in the region. The people of the tribe live in West uh, African rainforest, nearly 150 miles away from the West Coast. All right. Now they come from the indigenous tribes of the Akans. You had the Ashanti and you had the Fonti of Ghana, okay? You had the Ashanti and you had the Fonti of Ghana. In the late 17th century, the current people of modern Ghana started to transform their small chieftain empire, which they called the Ashanti. They expanded the territory by waging war on neighboring people and soon captured many prisoners of war. These captives were sold off in the European slave trade. Now, mind you, the Shanti is Europeans mixed with African. They're not an African tribe. That's why they're a sub-tribe. No different than the five civilized tribes here. That's why these. this is one of the main tribes you hear there as you hear Cherokee here in America. It's the same thing. Uh, they're federal recognized in America. Well, in Africa, they're government recognized. Same thing. Same system. Because these are Europeans that's mixing with them. Hold on. Let me come up a little bit. I want to show you all these people in this coast. All right. We'll skip the wars. But let's get here. We're out there fucking on them African. Experiences with the French and shit. Little situation with the French after this situation. That now, this passed. was Fort William and my boo. boo. This is Anna right. my boo. This is what it's going to become. There they go. Now here go the people. And here they'll create what you call Gold Coast Euro Africans, Black Europeans, and Africans. Check with Americans. You Gold Coast Euro Africans Massachusetts. were historical. No, no, no. See, now I got to say it. You Boston, Massachusetts, New Jersey, niggas, y'all was over there with them. Y'all ran to play with them. The British uh, didn't go nowhere without uh, a lot of y'all. Yeah, if they was going, y'all was going. Y'all, this y'all kinfolk. Bloodline ties. They went too. See, the American is out the story. They say that they, uh, you know, they all died off from sickness. But we see them over here colonizing. They were the ship makers. So what areas that they were building the ships at? Going, go up there to the upper in the northeast up there. That's where they was at building. That's why Paul Cuffy them was ship builders in Martha's Vineyard. He taught other Indians how to ship build things like this. This is where the wellers was coming from. So. These merchants are coming uh, over here to this 
coast of this coast area and they're living within the walls and they're and they're impregnating these women let's walk traffic based in the coastal urban settlements in colonial ghana that arose from unions between european men and What's up, women. Freedom? from the late 15th century to the decade between 1471 and 1482 until the mid-20th century 1957 when ghana attained its independence in a period different geographic areas of the gold coast were politically controlled in various times by the Portuguese, German, Swedes, Danes, Dutch, and British. Oh, and Peter there are also records of merchants of other European nationalities, such as Spaniards, French, Italians, and Irish, operating along the coast. Listen. In addition to the American settlers and the traders from New York, Massachusetts, Rhode Island. Tell them again. All right, they mm -hmm. all went out there fucking on them African women. Even niggas coming out them upper college. Huh? Who went out there? In addition, they had American sailors and traders from New York, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island who were influential, huh? Who were in influential in this. So these are the people that they're talking about. Mixed with these Africans coming off this coast, they're gonna create a whole new world of paradigm for themselves. Huh? Oh, he's good. He's real good. Let me tell you, man, you were you were trained, you were you were colonized to worship your colonizer. So when you look at them over there. And you look right here in the south, huh? Oh, y'all ain't know there was two. Yeah, that was Africa the over there, and this niggas in America right here. Huh? Exploration and black leadership. Phelps Stokes Fund. Phelps Stokes Fund was established in 1911 to connect the leaders in Africa and America. Okay. Let me get out of there. Let me get out of there. We got so much work. I got sidetracked because the boy brought it up, and I'm just saying we'll walk to him on that. We would have killed him on that conversation. We would have killed. Him. We would have walked and stood in his chest on that conversation. They're African. I, look, regardless of who is shout out to Sister Freedom in the building. Shout out to the homie Spody man, Polk County in the building, Central Florida man. Uh, appreciate that love in the cash out. It's controlling those spaces. First of all, we was a greatness. In a real way, infiltrated with by people that look like us, that's not us, that came from somewhere else. And these are the same people that have their stranglehold on the whole entire um, paradigm of education. When we go through these schools, I don't come through the school system. I come from a tribal tradition of learning. And so my my perspective is not driven by the educational department of any where on the planet i'm i'm coming to cult studies right i'm I, I i heard you say that but i mean i don't know how you think that you would be able to have information about what occurred on the continent of africa and how people were enslaved here through what you call tribal studies that's not that's not an adequate background for you to enter the well, conversation that's because hey, this is what i'm gonna say you know they'll try to get you to have you go down this not no Debate is just a conversation. So they'll tell you, get your guard down. But Jabari got a key suit the whole time. Yeah, that nigga got a makeshift key suit and he finna come at you with it. Because you Jabari looking at it like you're an Indian and I'm gonna get you. And you got a big name. I want that scout. I don't know the information that I have access to the tribes. Wait, wait, wait. What you would have to do is you and would have to home court advantage. Look at the archaeologists, the historians who are um, who are, the uh, are describing this history. history. I mean, that's just the reality. And the to, to assume, assume that Big everyone that disagrees historian. with you or has a position that's different than yours is someone who was an infiltrator, I think that's... that's, that's I didn't say that. Well, it sounds like that's what you said. That's um, what you thought you heard, but that's not what well, I see. You right. didn't say that. Right. I'm glad it's you definitely. didn't say it then. Back but I, but um, let me say to you that uh, it's really challenging for us to believe that that the, the the way that this works is that people have a quote unquote paradigm that they're that they're pushing. The reality is that people of European descent 
They are not trying to talk to us about enslavement. In fact, just the opposite. We are studying this history at great opposition. This is not something that European scholars want to talk about. And I'm talking to you about what happens at the elementary school level, the junior high school level, the high school level, the college level. Uh, this is not something that most people are familiar with. Can you name one book that you have read on the enslavement trade? One. Man, I wish I could have got him on this one, bro. Like, I, I, I bro, like, I would, I, I look like I do Kung Fu. Yeah, I know the books. I know the first book. I know the primary source to the transatlantic slave trade and literature. Either way you want to go, we, we go back to the, that's why I asked Jabari. See, he asked Unc this question, Uncle Rob this question, but see, I he pissed me off, so I stepped to him with this question. Jabari, uh, can you give us um, a primary source to someone who was writing at the time that this transatlantic slave trade was said to be happening. Can we get someone in colonial time in the 13 colonies uh, who wrote about the transatlantic slave trade? I asked him because see, I know the source. I know where the source come from. I know the first person that brought it up and everybody regurgitated them. Okay. I know where you getting yours from uh, Jabari D W Du Bois. Du Bois ain't do nothing but plagiarize. Check. And I can take you through the books that he plagiarized. The boys plagiarized the story. And it had something to do with Sierra Leone. See, it's the colonizer writing the story. And then he comes back. After he committed the crime, he come back. And he uh, 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 um, he's the detective. He's investigating his own crime scene. So he wasn't supposed to get caught. But nah, you can't run up with me on that. And that's why he don't want to talk to me. Yeah, I read plenty of them. Right then, if and so right there, Rob said he read plenty of them. But the narrative that's going to be they're going to try to paint is that he said he didn't read nothing. No, him and Jabari finna have a conversation about he read plenty of books, and then Jabari going to try to throw a jab. And uh, but now nah, the fact remains is like he said, I've read books, but they're going to try to paint a different narrative. If it's plenty, then name one. If it's plenty, you can name one, right? I could go pull one out of one of them crates over I'm there if you want me to. I, name I've, read, I've, read, I've read a few of them. Okay, so if it's first it was plenty, now it's a few. Just, just name one. Throw, yeah. um, I read one called Forbidden Cargo. It was on the slave trade of... Um, it's a, right now, like I don't, I don't have all of these books in in the forefront of my mind, but I've read plenty of books that talk about the slave trade, written by our people and written by other people. I've read it in several history of the world books. Georgetown History of the World have a section on the slave trade. Oxford History of the World also got a section on the slave trade. Uh, what, I, what I'm suggesting to you is, now, first of all, if that's what you're reading and you're reading Oxford History on the World, um, you're, you're looking just at a couple of references that pops up on short yeah. notice. That you asked me to name that's something fair. that I read that talked about the slave trade. What, I, what I'm saying is, uh, that's fair. It's fair that you said that. It's no, not, that's it's not answer, bad huh? that you said that. What that's I'm no, suggesting to you answer. is, now, Nick, there's been a lot written by people who are not actually trying to misrepresent or damage African people. In fact, I think if you read a proper analysis of the enslavement trade, you will not come from a position of victimhood and, and feeling bad about what happened to, to us. What you will, this is something I've done extensively in my book, <clears throat> Seven Little White Lies, A Conspiracy to uh Jabari chill before we go get Reggie to get on that book. <laughs> Jabari and Reggie been fighting Jabari book against Reggie article. But anyway, shout out to uh Rainstorm in the uh cash up. Shout out to the homie Wild Indian done in the cash up. Destroy the black self-image. Um, one of the things that you're hey, going hey, to you notice people, is a lot of in fact, I think that you really there are probably two chapters in the book on this but the one that deals with the with them with it the most is the um chapter abraham lincoln freed the slaves that's the lie 
that Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. I agree um, with you on that. And, and I think that one of the things that you might find is that Africans fought at every step of the way. They fought on the continent. They fought on the ships. They fought on, on the shores. And they destroyed their chains. It's Africans that destroyed the enslavement um, system. So I think that what we have to do is we have to begin to recognize. Name the war. Name the war. See, I love wars. I'm man, I would have been all on top of name the war, where, who, when, who. Boy, you can't miss me with America. Man, who? who? And that's that pressure. He don't like a nigga in his face because he be selling shit. Selling, he acting like he got it on him, but he ain't. Nah, you just talking good. I'm the nigga that's gonna hit him in the mouth and tell him, nigga, what's up? Because you can't miss me with no wars. I know who was there, who got down, what was the reasons. I know the dates, all my, I got all mine together, nigga. Yeah, all top freestyle, nigga, what's happening? That um, it is, this is not a situation where um, we should feel bad about being enslaved. We should be proud <laughs> about the fact that the people that were the most benighted on the planet destroyed the most powerful system on the planet and have remained the most influential people in the world. That's a feel good. I am in story. Harlem as we speak. Just a, a, a walking distance from the Bronx, New York, where hip hop started. Hip hop is all over the world. It is the most influential musical form in the world, created by form, the formerly enslaved. There's nothing for us to be ashamed of. I don't of. think they was formerly enslaved, though. I know you don't, <laughs> but my perspective is different. By the way, okay, so look at this. This is a died. <laughs> it was written by Kingsley Kofi Yeboa. By the way, that's an Akan name, if you don't know. Um, and and I want you to look at look at part of what he said. You talking about the slave trading the con? Con was slave traders. The con was slave traders. I'm stepping to everything. Yeah, I'm gonna step on your feet and everything. You ain't getting nothing. Not I'm not, not you ain't getting nothing. I'm in your face, I'm cutting the ring out, and we finna get in this blunder. And you don't want to be in here because I hit hard. Yeah, con, who you talking about? It's the slave traders. So he back on that Cape Coastal, y'all. He's not even talking even about what happened on the continent. He's even going into what happens in other parts of the world. He says, by 1750, abolitionists were devoting money and time to end the slave trade and slavery itself. Their efforts were backed to the, by the egalitarian ideas of the American War for Independence and the French Revolution, such as the bloody rebellions as slave revolt on the French island on Saint-Domingue in 1791. He's talking about Haiti. So it used to be called Saint-Domingue. The slave trade and slavery were opposed by individuals and groups of people at, at various times. He continues and continues and continues. I'm not going to read much more. Because um, he ain't talking about that. 1751, well, like I just showed y'all, hold on, y'all. I hate to do this, but we it's a teaching moment. Let me show you why you got to have your chronology together. What's chronology? Feet work. All right. So let me show you. 1751, what was going down? What happened in 1751? Well, nobody, no abolition is trying to end it. No, nigga, uh, Africa was bankrupting them. They was cutting their interest out from Africa, but they was going to keep it on America. So let's go here and prove it. All right. Okay. I'm gonna join it. Key players, you had the Shante tribe located in the central gun of the Lord. Look how you're looking at that white meat. <laughs> you got the Fante. What we at? What we at with it? What we at with, it? with the French come to a close and um hey, what my little source? I just had it up. Come on, fam. We just read it. Hold on, y'all. Let me get right. Bear with me. And okay, right. Uh, time out. At that time, you had what's called the African Company Act of 1750. Now, they brought up 1751. At this time, we spoke about the, the wreck was going bankrupt. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Uh, yo, it's your day. Two seconds.
Shout out to Lieutenant Drew Titan in the building, man. Bronx on dick, man. Shout out to my brother Drew Tight. Y'all go follow him, man, for some of that boxing news. Goddamn it. Push up channels. And women, that nigga is a man in uniform, and that nigga built like an action figure. So y'all might want, if you're in the New York area, uh, take my man's out on a date. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go take my bro out on a date. And he built like an action figure. He's a workout warrior. All right, so right here, 1750. That's when they passed the African Company Act. All right? And that was which dissolved the Royal African Company, okay, and created the Company of Merchants. So at that time, they were going through new management. But what Jabari just read, hold up, y'all. All right, so what Jabari just brought up was totally false. So in 1752 to 1781, we're going to see this being ran. So that Superman story Jabari just brought up, we listen, we got work, we got chronology, we got footwork over here, man. We got footwork over here. We crazy with the speed and the angles, bro. You not going to run that on us. So look at him in the little book. Check him out. Now let's run that back. What he just said. And slavery itself. There. I don't think they and, and I want you to look at, look at part of what he says. He's not even talking even about what happened on the continent. He's even going into what happens. In other parts of the world, he says, by 1750, abolitionists were devoting money and time to end the slave trade and slavery itself. Their efforts were backed the, by the egalitarian ideas of the American War for Independence and the French Revolution, such as the Bloody Rebellions as Slave Revolt on the French island Saint-Domingue in 1791. He's talking about Haiti. So it used to be called Saint-Domingue. So he just skipped from 1750s and went all the way to 1790s in two, three sentences, right? And he say that they wanted to abolish the slave trade because of the revolts and all of this going on in America and the independence. So they wanted to stand behind. No, bro, that's the colonizer telling the story. The people that he's speaking about are Quakers. Quaker, 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 Quaker. Y'all know we do. Y'all know we do with Quakers. Let walk. I mean, the slave trade and slavery were opposed by individuals and groups of people at, at various times. He can. You a slave because you're a prisoner of war. If we look at the 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 all of the shipping manifest from over there, that don't mean they came over here, because we know that the people that's behind this ship people from one part of their land to another part of their land and tell them they from somewhere else because they did it over here, right? Where do you see that? Where do you see that? All you got to do is look up the North American slave trade in North America. And you show you the, 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 the show you the maps and the diagrams. Is there someone that has met, misrepresented where the ship went? Do you have a source for that? I don't believe they came over here. But do you have a source that tells you that? I mean, it, it, belief is one thing. You right. Know, but go, okay. Yeah, so bro. we going off those manifests, right? But they trying to convince all of us over here that we came in on the slave trade. This is the paradigm I don't accept because I believe we was already here. Matter of fact, I know we was already here because my mama told me we ain't come from Africa. Brother. And her mama told it to her. We was already here. Brother. And uh, the slave narrative that they brought us all over here from Africa is in the secret societies. They teach it as a control measure and as a challenge to the inheritors of the land. And they the ones who's controlling the entirety of our education. 
they control what books go into mass print. If we're not printing our own books and they go through the mass print, they under the control of a secret society. This is my book. I self-printed it. Mm -hmm. there are yeah, a lot of people self-print, but I'm we we learning this now. We learning this now. We coming from our people having no education. So when you're talking about the books from the 1800s and before, from the early 1900s, we weren't privy to the majority of this information at that time. It was more of an internal communication between secret societies than it was for the masses of people to have an education. Remember, we had to fight to be for the right to be educated. Hold on, Unc, hold on one second, Unc. Uh, wait a minute. What, what homie is? Britton and Clay. Britton and Clay say, Jabari wanted no parts of your rhetoric last night. So, Britton with Clay, I want you to be honest with me, family. Hey, y'all, get the likes up, family. Let's get over like 400 likes. Let's get up to four, 500 likes or something. All right. Uh, yeah, man, we'll give away a book. We'll give away a hard copy autograph book. I'm not black, I'm Indian. Uh, come on, man. We need to hit uh man. We need come say, man, stop sleeping on me. Written it clay, check me out. So if you saw that last night, written it clay, do you feel like Jabari was scared? He said his son was yelling at the top of his lung just so you wouldn't speak. The fear was oozing through his poor. Okay, okay, okay. All right, yeah, that was my question. I was gonna ask, do you think he was scared? I, I want to ask all, everybody in the chat, do y'all think Jabari was scared last night? Those that seen it. Did that look like a man that didn't want no problem? Okay, Turtle say we at 315, man. Okay, man, we can get greater. 315 is 357 in the building. Let's get up, let's get up the four. Yeah, let's get up the four real quick. Come on, man. Move, 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 bro. We on man, we on a mission. Man, we getting in and getting out. Hey, say, 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 do y'all think the boy was scared last night, bro? Man, I ain't, man, I ain't never, bro. I, 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 I never seen nobody act like that, bro. And I showed y'all earlier that, that that wasn't the first time. The nigga want my hands checked. He think I got all oh, that, that, that shit from Wakanda in my hands. Yeah, he, said, he think I got that, 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 uh, that, that, uh, uh, vibranium in my hands, man. Said don't make no sense for you hitting that hard. Yeah. No, nobody over here wanted us to have education so that they can pass all of the information under our noses and we never know what it is. There's a there's a there's a, a problem with part of what you're saying, right? First of all, let me acknowledge that when you say that we were POWs, I think the analogy for us being POWs, um, there's some there's some validity to that. Right. There's some validity to the idea that Africans were fighting and some were taken. Right. But usually POWs are just soldiers. We're talking about um, enslavers that would round up everyone in an entire village if they could. So some of those people were women and children. Certainly they weren't soldiers. So that's the reason why the idea of us all being POWs um, is a little difficult. But the other thing I want to say to you is. When we actually look at the manifest, you are saying that those manifests were created to mislead us about where we came from. But at the same time, it was illegal for Africans to learn how to read. So why would they write something down to people who were not supposed to or not allowed to read? These manifests were not for us. The manifests were for, listen, when you are running a business and they saw this as business, evil business, but business nonetheless, mm -hmm. you're going to keep records. And the other thing that happens is you actually also have insurance companies that need to be able to um, justify where you came from, how many people you took, because they were insuring your journey. So, okay. So where, why don't y'all know which one of y'all family members came from Africa? Why don't y'all know the year that y'all got here from Africa? That's what we're asking you guys. See, but when y'all talk to us, y'all tell me, like, oh, it's impossible to find out. But right now you're talking with all this confidence. You got insurance companies. It was a business. See, you've been listening to us. 
because you weren't thinking like this before. Oh, it is a business. They why wouldn't you think they're gonna not gonna record it? Like Jabari said, I own several businesses, so I know. So 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 okay. So why can't y'all tell us the ancestors what year, what boat that they came over when the ship conversation come up? Y'all, Jabari made an analogy that he owned four cars, and today he don't own them. So you don't keep them forever. Or something you know. You you making these analogies and all of this here, but see, that means you're gonna have to have answers to these questions. That means you know the answer to these questions. So why haven't we received the answer to these questions? Every time a nigga run down on y'all, y'all get to complaining about you ain't got this, you ain't got that. It's impossible to know. Please don't lie because I got clips on all of you niggas. Yeah, I keep my bodies. Uh, sometimes I used, I like watching going back just to see the impact. Oh, uh, when the body drop, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm throwed off like that. Wow, Indian. Well, these manifests were not created to, um, and I can show you some manifests if you like. But the, sure. you don't. We're these manifests crazy. weren't created to convince Africans of anything. Uncle they Rob, don't never let Jabari is a pump faker. He be acting like he got something and he ain't got nothing. Those are, are, are intimidation tactics. Jab him and step to him on it. If you got it, go on, do it to me. What, what you waiting on? What you playing killer for? Now, nah, if you got it on, you go on, do it to me. I'm, we finna find out. The boy be selling it. He can't do this with me. Why come in there? He get to going crazy. We gonna see. Let walk. They weren't created for us. These are documents for them. And so some of these documents have actually come into our hands. And some of those insurance companies still exist. I'll never forget working at the Schomburg Library here in Harlem, um, one of the best institutions for the study of, of African-American or black history and culture. And one of those institutions offered the library a $5 million um, uh, uh, a deal for uh, uh, a, a junior scholars program that we were creating. It was like, what? Why do you wanna give us money? And I remember sitting at the table some folks said, mm, they must have done something bad, right? No one knew what it was, but of course, later it became clear that the New York life used to insure enslavement ships. They were trying to get ahead of the fact that they were involved in enslavement trade. There are records. No, no, Jabari, he, he, he right on that. He right on that one. Records for these businesses, for these institutions. I own several businesses. They're records. They're records for those businesses. They were we, we can't find y'all ancestors on the. We can find the European ancestors. We can find all of, even the ones that come through our bloodline. We can find them. The boats and all that, man. I got all it. So what we doing, family? Why y'all ain't got y'all? To, to, um, to confuse anyone. And you even, at one point, described um, people who were saying that a ship went one place and it didn't go there. The only time that I have seen that occur is after enslavement was illegal in certain countries and they still wanted to bring in Africans. So they would lie about some of what happened. But generally speaking, during the time that enslavement is legal in countries, let's say for the United States, you, you're not seeing a lot of slave owners, a lot of shippers try to describe um, going someplace and not going there. And there's not just the manifest. There's the manifest. There's the description of sales. You can follow some people who were sold and follow their lines exactly to people who are here now. There, there, this is a record that is replete. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so Odyssey, now that's real, so Odyssey. And you know, uh Unc said Unc sitting there smoking the blunt. Ryan got a fat uh 3.5 in the in the backwood right there, and Ryan just listening to him. He ain't, you know, uh two different worlds. And um and you know, Rod respectful. He he always humble, you know. And um and 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 he and he older than Jabari as well, you know. So 
Oh, uh, yeah, he looking at him like check this little nigga out. You know, cause Jabbar is a young man to 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 uh, might not not by that far, but he do have him in age. Now, uh, respect you know Jabbar's work that he put in. You know, his schooling is, you know, um, you know his education and you know, but it's two different worlds. Rod understand he speak to a different crowd. You know, his message is for different people. Um, so he's sitting there high and he listening to him and Jabari and uh feel like he didn't got in teacher mode. He in Hunter College, he working the flow. Uh Jabari uh do have uh good ring generalship. He a gladiator, he, he, he got out there and fight, he wear glasses and all this shit, high yellow nigga and all that. But uh, you know, with the rules and the clock on. You know, he 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 know his way around around the ring, and he trying to use ring generalship to show that he's the teacher. You know, uh, he's superior right now, and he's teaching. You know, he try to turn you to a student, and that's why he hate fight me because he always turned into the goddamn student. That's why he been stealing my my work, and we caught him on that last time. He stole my work from that debate we had. Cause he started the Pan African come. He said he we talking about uh Pan Africans. Why didn't you bring up the boys? Cause he's the first and all of this here. That was in our debate. And then when we talked about it again, he he uh he mistook the Pan African Conference from the Pan African Congress, which were two different things. September the twenty fourth, uh, eighteen ninety seven. He mistook that. For the 1919 Pan African Congress, but nigga, my chronology is a one, nigga, and I'm telling you, I'm I'm the I'm I'm the man. Say I'm Jason Bowen on these niggas. Let walk. It's not a record that most of us have studied, and the reason why most of us haven't studied it is because those Europeans who are in control of this nation would die rather than to tell you that they are culpable. That their society is culpable, and that there is something owed to the African, the likes of, not right, just for our right, enslavement, but right. also for us breaking our backs for the torture that we suffered here as we built this nation from the ground up. We are owed, and we're gonna have to take our reparations. <laughs> All right, let's hear from Rob. Let's hear from Rod. Rod, Rob. Rob, right. right. I, I could come in with another question, or you want to respond first? Nigga, um, I, I can't. Go ahead, you can come with the question. Yeah, because oh, right. right. another I'm question not, that I would like to have for y'all is that, um, and family, feel free to hit me with a question if y'all would like for them to elaborate on the question as well. Uh, let me ask you about because we say things like we were already here. So let me ask you: when you say that we were already here, uh, brother Rod, are you saying we were here as <laughs> Indians? or Africans, or do you believe that some of us did come over here on the ships? Or were, were we already here before I, the trade existed? Before the before there was anything considered the slave trade, we was here. Okay. Look, see, look, right. what yeah. up, We've up? been on this land for thousands of years. This is where my um, conflict with the slave trade narrative comes in because I'm coming from the perspective of somebody that was already here. I'm not coming from the perspective of somebody that was brought here from it, somewhere else it, 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 and it, it, given it, it, exponents. Most of our, even the language we speak is not our own. We speak in a foreign language, right? Then we got to know that a lot of these people is in the secrecy. Hey, can I say something, y'all? And I and I and I hope I ain't tripping. Now, no, it's something called King English. Um, uh, old English. But the type of English we speak, can't nobody speak it like us. We are only ones who done made up words with the England language. We done made up words with it. They call it Ebonics and all of that. Nigga, if you from down here where I'm from, your family know how to speak pig Latin. That's how we talk. 
Irigi, Irigi, Origi, Adigi, Urigi type of shit. <laughs> I don't know, bro. No, nobody speak English the way that we speak it. Now, if they put a different name on it, then that's something different. But I don't know, homie, this language that we speak it. Because one thing you got to understand, and I'm going to show in my making of a Native American video, is that those languages that those people are speaking and that they are saying is their language was those languages were created and given to them. I already showed that the Africans, the language that they speaking, were given to them through colonization. Well, um, the system was developed both systems both systems the system that, that 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 put the native american school in the system that put the africans in school the education in school how did when we went through west african bloodlines of west africa what we do we established religion and we established the uh, f- uh founders of the colonies we established the education and we followed it and that's where it came from. And through that, we've seen the languages and shit get developed. So when we get to the Native Americans, it's no different. But when you're talking about this English language, don't nobody, even when they, they it's going to it's gonna be broken. But that's what they start calling pidgin languages and shit. Because a lot of people in the Southeast, one of the things was, uh, when they talk about the, Gull- the Gullah people, uh, down there, Georgia, Alabama, these areas, it, it was a language that even they were all similar. All it meant the tongue, people of the tongue, meaning, meaning you can cross, you can go a uh, 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 thousand feet, and then these people over here coming from a whole different world, they can understand the same language. Now, they might speak it broken or in a different way. So, this is very important. That we keep that up. Uh when 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 uh what was that called? Uh when Ellis Island came and all these immigrants came, these Italians and, and all these different people, they didn't speak English, but they coming from Europe. But they'll tell you that niggas from Europe speak English and that's how they got it. No, these people came over here and got in programs through the church and philanthropists, and uh that's how they learned to speak this language. When they got over here, they couldn't dance. They didn't have no music and all that. All culture. That's why the Italians got the credit for spaghetti, ravioli, uh, 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 lasagna, and all of that. And y'all cook that shit at home. And they got all the credit for it. Uh, these people didn't speak these languages. The Irish and these people, the Germans, and the, uh, when they got here, they didn't speak that language. They didn't speak English. So how in the hell when the white boy got here, he was speaking, he didn't speak no damn English, nigga. So who spoke the English? Because can't nobody talk this shit like we talk it. Yeah, no, no, not at all, Jack. Society. And they will put something on the surface for us, but they tell themselves something different on the back channel using the same document. Right. So I'm coming from that paradigm. So when I say tribal studies, I'm talking the oral tradition of elders on the land that I've talked to describing to me when the settlers came versus what I read in the books. Right. Um, I read a whole lot of books, but I don't really I, I just look at that as seeing um, the information given from another person's perspective for me to accept or reject. I don't take that as the whole of the truth because we get other sources of information that give us details that we can't get through what we call traditional means. So a lot of what I'm talking about is not so much to say that we didn't intermarry Africans because we intermarried Africans long before it was ever anything considered in America. Catfish is beginning. We was marrying Africans all and up and down the eastern seaboard, right? So, and we was marrying Asians on the western seaboard trading with them. And a lot of what we are considering um, in a, as the slave trade was captives that was most likely skilled tradesmen.
because they was trying to build infrastructures in the places they conquered and they needed replacement um, executives to push that uh, that work crew. I don't think that they came over here from looking at it. It does. If this is a war effort, what I'm looking at, I'm seeing it from the perspective of a historian. And I'm also looking at. Hey, hold on time. I, um, somebody say I'm not ABC or NBC. Am an indigenous Yoruba. Yoruba is not ancient, brother. I, don't, I hate to hurt your feelings. I hate to break. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Yoruba is not ancient, sir. To tell me that you are Yoruba is to tell me that you had the blood of a colonizer. To tell me that you are Yoruba is to tell me that you live in London or Canada or yeah, yeah, you somewhere on the go. You're an expat. Let's talk about it. Tell me I'm lying. I go get you the father of Yoruba. You hear me? The black one and the white one. See, I ain't brought the white one out yet. I brought the black one out. I ain't brought that white boy out yet because I need a big fish. I need me a big old fish and, and watch me work. Yeah, but you ain't no Yoruba, nigga. What's up? What's up? You want me to drop the link and we can find out who Yoruba or who playing Yoruba? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can find out who playing Yoruba. Yeah, international scholarship. That boy got that international scholarship. That nigga got international scholarship. I wish you would come up here, Mr. Yoruba. I'll show you who's a Yoruba boy. Yeah. Hands and feet. Hands and feet. Get some hands and feet in the chat. Yoruba got him ran. Yeah, yeah, I got to. I got to pay an average on the run. And it, as a strategist, on a global conquest in a victories right history and they told us this is a common can tv say come get a hug and, and, and uh and, and and accidentally slide that hand down there and grab that ass graze that ass and uh play it out yeah tv say come get her a hug and uh she gonna come up high you gonna go low on the waist and then, yeah, nigga, uh, roll the ass on the way out and, you know, step back and say, how you been? Yeah, how you doing today? This is common knowledge. They say history is a, a lie agreed upon. And what we do is we go get a reference and then we use the reference to perpetuate what the person we referencing is teaching. Right? So I'm looking at multiple layers of information that most of us, we're not going to look past what's on the surface, right? So I'm not looking at it like my people got captured over to Africa and brought over here because we was already here. So when I rebuffed the slave trade is to bring the tension to bear upon the paradigm given for the people that was already here to know that that atrocity, because you can't call it anything less, like we know what King Leopold did. That's not even, that's even. Time out, time out. <laughs> Top Flight TV. Top Flight TV said Ride was winning a T store talking about spaceships. The boy and them got spanked last night. I ain't hear the spaceship part. See, I ain't catch it because I was driving too. I was listening and driving. You know what I'm saying? So, besides, I never letting them go. You should have let me go. Man. Common knowledge all over the world. You know, they get Just me. like we know what Genghis Khan did. Yeah, Just like know we know what Attila the Hun did. So, we know what certain terrorists did when they wreaked the terror up on the people. But when you're looking at the historical paradigm of a mainstream society like we live in, they call us African-Americans. They call us everything but who we is. So that's where my resistance to the slave trade narrative comes from. Stop right there.
Oh, the And then after what? this, Jabari could respond. Who are we, Brother Rod? Who are we? If they called us African Americans and we have always I been there, gonna have them quit. who I'm are we as a people? Ahead. So we are the organic people of the land. I can't say native because I got legal connotations that was uh, passed on through the Dawes Roll in the Five Dollar Indian Act. I can't say uh, Indian, right, for us to all use the term Indian because that was ascribed also to um, the paper genocide program, right? So most of what was known, like if we got caught teaching our children the history, they was killing the elders and re re-educating the children, right? So they was teaching us in the manner that they wanted us to perceive this reality. The victors is controlling the narrative. I'm just challenging the narrative as the pretender to the throne. As one of the chiefs of the land, they say enough is enough, the war is over, right? So when I push back, I'm not pushing back just to be resistant. It's more to it than that. I don't believe we are supposed to agree on everything all of the time or we would make progress. Okay, you can't make progress if everybody automatically agree on everything because you have nothing to push back on to facilitate the growth. Right? So this is where my perspective is coming from. And this is why it's difficult to even identify us by a name. We are Nishdab, the Anuwea, the people is what it translates into English. That's who we are. We was already here. Then they brought these narratives over here to keep us subjugated and to keep us divided amongst each other so we can't create a unified as if it didn't happen before but we found out it was a different kind of war all right thank you brother um wow this is a great conversation because we've been hearing this stuff a lot of times going back and forth and our people pick and choose what we want so you know that's why this is a great great conversation once again family this now, Styles made fights. This was a uh, good setup. Side did. Uh, that was a good setup. Um, hey, y'all, make sure we on that like button. Let's get over 400 likes. Let's get over 400 likes. We're looking real weak on the likes, man. We champions, man. We champions, homie. Defense, offense, special teams. We win. We, 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 we champions. Let's rock. This is not a debate. It's more of a discussion, a conversation. There's no winners. There's no losers. Nah, the only nah, one that nah, wins nah, is you Jabari. people out there. Jabari All right, family? Win. Brother Jabari. Jabari is a gladiator. Take nothing from him, bro. He a gladiator. Jabari want to win. You got a name. Jabari want that on this on this mantle. I'm sorry. Don't, don't let him take your guard down and think it ain't no Jabari. Is, it, listen. The boy want that scalp. Sorry, um, would you like to respond, please? Sure. Um, I, I I want us to ask a question, um, but I'm going to ask the question and then say what I'm going to say, and then hopefully I'll leave the question to the end. Um, I, I want us to recognize that describing how we found some of these ships is important, right? Once again, this is from the book Enslaved, um, and this is just right here. This is on page three, right, it, from the book Enslaved. It says, the transatlantic ensla uh, slave trade would never have happened if we did not, if it did not generate money, tons of money. Much of the world we live in today was built on the back of enslaved Africans. Or as the author of Come on, bro, the brother lying. Whoever wrote that book is, is, is not telling the truth. Hey, hold on, y'all. Uh, my African buddy say he want to come up. Come on, fam. Make it quick. Make it quick, fam. Make it quick. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Hey, y'all strap down, man. Give me two snipers up high. Get high. Give me two snipers. Y'all get high. Give me a uh, give me a fifty cal back there. Get some ammo. Make sure we strap down. Come on up, brother. Link in the chat. We ain't gonna be down there all day though. We ain't gonna be there all day. You interrupting our show. Come on with it, man. Let's go. Let's rock. Don't waste my time. Nigga back here in the dark. What's up, brother? Hey, how you doing, man? Talk cat. Say that again. Yeah, good. Yeah. Top, top cat. Top, 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 top cat. Yeah, talk cat. How you doing? Uh, I'm hanging in there, brother. I'm doing yeah, all right. Yeah, how, how about you yeah, I'm, re- I'm really, I'm really enjoying, I'm really enjoying this, you know. Yeah, I'm in Juniors actually. I'm in Juniors in Yoruba, you know. So I understand where you come well, from, you know. So you, you, know. you, you wear yeah, again? I, I'm not discriminating anything you're saying, you know. So yeah, no, where are you? Yeah. Where did they use it? And what you say? No, what did you? Where did you say you were at? Who me? Yoruba. I'm Yoruba. I'm in Juniors Yoruba. Yeah, but where you at right now? Oh, well, what, what am I geographically in the Americas? You're in I'm America. I'm from Yoruba. Yeah. So when did you come to America? No, no, no. My, my ancestors flew blood. They flew blood a year ago. You know, they landed that's in America. I'm quite you, different, quite that's, different not, that's not what yeah. I asked you. I asked you yeah. uh, how long you been in America. Well, how long I been? How long myself been in America? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yeah, more, more than five de- more, more than five decades. Yeah. More than five decades. Yeah. How old are you? Yeah. How old are you? No, nah, I, I don't. I don't want to. I don't really want to put that. Wow, I'm giving the age. Women do that, brother. I'm, I'm full bold. I'm, I'm full bold. Man, women, 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 you know, women the so only ones don't want to tell their age, yeah. bro. What is you? What is you doing? What are you talking about? You don't want to disclose that. Women. No, do no, that. I, I can't. I can't. I can't really put that out there now. now no, you now. were born in America. I'm, I'm full bold. You're bro. Yeah, you were born in America, though, right? I'm sorry. You was born in America. Yeah, yeah, bomb, 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 bread, yeah, bomb, bread, man. So you ain't gotta yeah. play African so with me. Yeah. So, okay, I, I see through that insecurity. I knew you was born in America. Mm-hmm. So, so, yeah, but so football, football, football to Europe, America. yeah. So, so it's quite, so it's quite America, different, you know. If, 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 if you feel blood, if you feel come to the land, it's quite different, you know. what I mean, because the Americans have are built. Americans always being weird. The last time have you been back to Africa? I'm sorry. When was the last time you've been back in Africa? I, I don't I don't I don't go I don't I don't I don't use that no, word. That, 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 that word is not an origin. I, I don't go by that word now. No, 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 I don't I don't play by that word. No. Mm-mm, no, that's that's derogatory. I, I don't I don't play by that word. There, so there's no such thing called Africa, there's no such called African language. No. Oh, there's no, no such no. thing as Africa. That's what you said. No, nah, no, such thing as African language. No, no, so no. That, that's fictitious. No, I, I don't I don't go by that. No. So uh-uh, no, no. I don't I don't do that kind of trap. No. What you go by? Yeah, I am I'm an indigenous person. I mean, this person, this person, language. That's what I identify myself with. You indigenous? Yeah, I, I don't go by that. Red weeks, African? No. Mm-mm, black, so what no, do you no. go by? I would rather go by indigenous person. I'm an indigenous person on the land. Indigenous. I'm, I'm Yoruba. You can call by different name. To what land, brother? To what land? Indigenous to Yoruba land. Yoruba land. Go to Jire. What is it? Go to Jire. Where is Yoruba land? It. Yoruba land. Yeah, it what is, is where it? it is. It, it is the land itself because I don't, I don't want to put no foreign connotation on that. You see, if I put a foreign connotation on that, then, then it is something at your name. Does Yoruba be a foreign that. connotation, brother? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't want to put no foreign connotation on your name. Okay, so you, why you don't want to put no foreign connotation on your name. You, you don't want to brand it or brand a foreign connotation name. Then you then you fall into the name Do you know that call it whatever it is. Do you know You want to be whatever the foreigner call you. Yes, sir. Do you know? If you're on the land, the Indian people had the way right, to call brother, I'm gonna go to somebody yeah. else because I don't know what the hell, nigga. You was just you said four or five words at one time, nigga. Got a switch, nigga. Got a switch on the uh on the goddamn me vocal cord. Uh, all right, let's go to the next brother, Dean. Hey, Top Cat, what's up, fam? How you doing, man? Um, hey, uh, I was on that live last night. Um, okay. I know this brother right there. You just pulled in the room. He was on the live last night too, and I I know he uh he was we were making some points, and I I feel like 
I'm a little long winded, so bear with me. Um, our points were being dismissed, right? What and I think I think one of the points of we were Rod Hayes was touching on the fact that we wanted just the perspective of when we're looking at the tin can sardine sh big old ship that they say all these slaves were packed in and we look at the time that it takes to travel from west africa over here and we know that narrative there's something fishy it doesn't make sense to us and everybody when you start looking at it it doesn't make sense to them and there's certain things where we have to look at these anomalies and I even saw when you were when you wanted to bring some of your receipts, it was rejected. And there's one thing that I notice: a lot of people are having cognitive dissonance. And you can show them the information, but they reject it because it's not coming from a Westerner or somebody that looks like them. And if even if you challenge them, I find they weren't even listening to the information. They were more challenging our behavior and the way we see things as opposed to, you know what, your evidence and your ideas or the way you look at it is giving me perspective to look at it from another angle. Um, we always have something to learn. I can look at Brother Jabari stuff and I should be able to look at it without critiquing him or his behavior behind it. But the fact that when people don't listen to the evidence or you're bringing forth evidence and they excuse your evidence, it means that they don't want to hear what you have to say. No, nah, let me I know. You what you mean, then. I, mm -hmm. It means that that you're you're a threat because if they sit there and let me kill their doctrine, which mm -hmm. they missed me, they I'm ready for you. Year, ATLK in 2020. Mm -hmm. So they know that. <laughs> I ain't, I'm not nothing to play with. I beat Jabari in the debate, in the real debate. It's on, you can look it up. Jabari mm -hmm. versus Topcat. I beat him in the debate. Uh, the polls, I beat him on the polls in his, in his own home. So they, mm -hmm. they're not going to be too open to let me talk because when I talk, the people out there, they hear me. Uh -huh. and, uh, yeah, that's a threat to what they have going on. So, yeah, uh, yeah, now nah, they're not going to let me talk. You know, the, the thing... My mom always says, don't let nobody tell you who you are. And when I go to any school I went to, I had to learn whatever they taught me and told me I had to learn. And even if I had to pass their exams, I had to pass it the way they want me to write it. Even though I know sometimes I had to lie because they're going to critique me a certain way. That's the academics. But when we get outside of the whole academics we have to look at they always control a certain narrative in the schools and professors and even professors can't say and teach what they want if it doesn't go with what the school's narrative exactly. or if it can we we know that but the problem is I, if i was right i would have tagged jabari on there when he started trying to get his credentials and tell my professor now that i would have tagged him with that well, don't you have to follow by uh, the curriculum that they give you? You have to. You have to. Environment message of uh, bringing no, no, taking no trips in anthropology and doing your own field research and easy been bringing it back and teaching it here. That ain't gonna fly. They don't. They ain't. Nah, well, you gonna read that curriculum. So you know, the other, the other thing that everybody keeps missing is that we keep looking at, and what I was trying to say is that. We, our families are telling us that we have been here for a long time. And our, we lost our, our native tongue. We lost our name. And a lot of us, we had to, they, they can tell us who we are. They called us black. They called us all these names. And when we go into their system, we have to go under their system of what they, how they classify us. And this is what everybody's missing is that we're taking classification based upon other people whether they were the moors whether they were white people after the, the 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 black people that were coming out of europe come on we know that and nobody's looking at that everybody thinks all europeans were all white and not all europeans are all white see not right? over here because i i created a genre called black european history and you so know, yeah we 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 strapped and down. They 
title. they don't look at that and they're missing the whole part of like there's a mix there's even white people went in and destroyed the history of europe because they didn't want to show black faces well it wasn't white people who did it it was niggas who did it you know so, what i mean and black and, and that's the thing black people did all this stuff and they're just putting white people as a front white oh, people yeah, can't yeah, do all this shit right. and we're giving them too much credit for this shit yeah, niggers right, are the right. smart and the most yeah, deceiving no, no. yeah he's you know fine. and i i you know what top cat i see the work that you're doing and i just you know i i admire anybody who's gonna go against the grain and you provide receipts. You and Rod Hayes provide receipts, book hey, references. Man, we got receipts and, and we got boots on the ground. Man, we didn't you know, we didn't had two pyramid tours, a mound tour, mm -hmm. uh, in Washington, Philadelphia. We went to the AME church. We went to all of these yep. things that we're teaching about. We're going to these places at the same time. We're going to Mexico when I was second pyramid tour coming mm -hmm. up in July, July 2024. We going to Mexico to the pyramid trip. That'll be our second one. We had mm -hmm. one last year. It went crazy. It was live. We rode in canoes. We went to Isla Morales. Uh, man, we went to Chichen Itza pyramid. And we running it back this year, 2024, man. Uh, mm -hmm. We need everybody to pull up. Let's start going outside. And we, we got to make it. We can't be on the internet talking. Just do it. Talking 20, 30 years. And we ain't got no further. Yeah. So, we got you know it's so many elders that passed on in them 20 30 right. years we could have been yeah. on it back then you know you know for leadership but one now thing that the last time so it's our last shot we got to do it now or it ain't gonna get done well a lot of things that they're missing too is that some of us like were moved around and some of us from jamaica were from parts of different parts of the islands we can, they just moved us around and shipped us and said we came from Africa, but we came from different parts of the Americas or the Caribbeans or South America. And this is known like, like there's, you know, there's there's this mixing around like I, I, like it, it's this is the other thing. Some of our last names. Oh, some of our, Have you done your yeah. genealogy, Brother Dean? Um, I did. Honestly. I didn't want to go into the Western Dean, way. Gotta give you genealogy, bro. It's genealogy. You not, can't, not you really. Can't some of you have genealogy, Dean. Yeah. Genealogy some is the highest form of spirituality. Yeah. Period. Genealogy yeah. is the highest yeah. form of spirituality. Why I yeah. say that? Because uh -huh. you're worshiping what you come from. Every mm -hmm. it has to have a source. You're worshiping mm -hmm. those that you come from. You mm -hmm. can only be the people that you came from. So you can yeah. only be who your mother and father are. So we yeah. have to trace our our lines back mm -hmm. as far as we can, so we can call on our ancestors. So this is where yeah. our protection gonna come from. This is where our mm -hmm. guidance gonna come from. Mm -hmm. We got to get in tune. If we yeah. not, then we open game because we're outside ourselves. That yeah. was the purpose of the doctrines to bring us outside bring ourselves. Mm -hmm. Now we worshiping a, a Yahweh. Now we worshiping uh, something that's outside of ourselves. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the people that we come from deserve uh that that worship and so we got to mm -hmm. go back inside they took the power from us when they took us outside ourselves mm -hmm. to gain knowledge itself we have to know who we are and what who we, we are come, who we yeah from. yeah hey, over and, the, oh, i seen hold on y'all seen been waiting for a while what's yeah up? sir thank you man things was good i was i was on i was on uh channel uh last night as well they i was the one that posted up the video of rick kennels and and they shut me down man quick <laughs> Yeah, I wanted you to fast forward because I knew they was gonna do that. As soon as I fast forward, I tried to play it, and that's when they canceled me out. And it was only it was like literally a couple seconds right after. They skip up to Rick. And you was like, Rick coming, but you let the white boy go. I'm like, no. the reason why I did the white boy, because both of them, I wanted I wanted two people to say it instead of just one. Yeah, you ain't got that, they ain't gonna give us that long. Especially it, when they know we finna kill a doctrine and they people gonna hear it. Nah, we ain't got that long, bro. We gotta get I know. As, yeah, as soon as I speed it up to Rick Kennels. As soon as I speed it up to Rick Kennels, when I had it directly on the thing, that's when they that, when I played. Yeah. Remember when I played it the second time, and he's like, "Yo, so I had to mute him." That's when they kicked me out. So and he yeah. said it right then and there. The source, they didn't want that point to get at. They yeah, and then and then you know, talk about. I talked to Rick Kennels yesterday. 
Your boy said, knew he was about to say it. That's why he said mute him, sir. Yeah, because yeah. after that, I was gonna show what's the other dude's name? Um that, that was on the uh ancestry thing when he was exposed to Rick Kennels, the one that said that Oprah made her a uh, Zulu nation thing up. Uh Henry Lewis Gates. That was the next video I was gonna pop up, but they ain't they ain't, mind you, I was sitting in the background for like over an hour. I watched mad people come on it, come on it after me. They let all of them go. I sat there patiently waiting. I got a chance to speak for like two seconds. Yeah, that's why there's one dude, the one dude that was up there for uh what's the brother name? The uh the black dude that was up there, uh that was talking about the spaceships and all of that. This dude was and, and no disrespect to him, but he was on there for dumb long, no shout, no sources. I had a source on deck to let that? it speak for me without without me having to say nothing. As soon as I played it, they kicked me out. Talking about he spoke to Rick Kennels yesterday. Rick Kennels yeah, been exposed to fraud. He's so, he's so low. He's so he be saying it, bro. He be yeah. I just got a phone with it right now. And the, and the crazy thing is, like, I wanted to post it because I see a lot of people go back and forth for them, and nobody posted that video to Sarnetta. So I'm like, dang, well, at least I let me try you know, to get I that in there real quick. Oh, he's seen it before. They familiar. That's why they knew where to cut you off at. Okay, okay. Yeah, man, yeah, they knew what they doing, man. They work clean. Yeah, because I like I see a lot of people debate them, but I ain't never seen nobody bring that video up. But I'm like, that right there could kill that DNA thing. Now, mind you, I took the DNA test. But I didn't take it to find out what race I was. I took it to find out, you know, my father's side of the family, they was my family or not. But when I did my genealogy as well, the oldest the oldest member I got on my family, as far as like the colored ones, goes back to 1700s. The um the uh my Louisiana side, I got I got a lot of French and all that. And that's like the 1500s. You know what I'm saying? I could show I could show you if y'all want. But so I did my genealogy, I did the DNA or whatever. And then, like I said, when 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 I um when I exposed the DNA thing, they cut me off. I was like, "Dang, yo!" I was like, <laughs> "That's why I wish like somebody like you, like, because I know you could go on Sarnetta, uh, and, and and do a a thing. If, if if next time they put you up there, post that video, make the make 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 it make the, make the um audience see it. They seen it already. Look, I even took it even deeper. I showed how Rick Kittles. He got a program in 1991. They found bonds. They were doing a government uh, build, building the government building. They found bonds there, so they stopped it, excavated it, and then they sent the they the government paid a multi million dollar deal to Howard University. Well, in Howard University, one of the geneticists that was on their team was Rick Kittle. So that's how he got introduced to it. This mm. this what brought out the Human Genome Project to niggas. So that's this was their way of bringing it to niggas. So Henry, I mean, uh, so so he ended up on that project. Well, later, a couple of years later, they came to him. That's why he always saying it's black owned and all that. No, it's government owned. They funded it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when they came out with the um with the with the DNA test, the African DNA test and all that, it was funded by the government. Um, New York Times uh wrote a piece on it. It was a guy that was working on that project with him named Michael. Well, he came out and exposed the program. You feel me? So, yeah. And then that was at William and Mary as well. Uh, he got one with William and Mary. He ended up working over there. And, but yeah, and another I, thing with that, another thing with that DNA. Uh, like, like you know, you know, um, when it shows you to match people that you share that you share DNA with, everybody that's alive from the DNA, I got people that's alive all over the Americas. I got people that's alive that took the DNA that I share DNA with in, in Europe and all that. I got people that I share DNA with in, in, in a Caribbean island that's alive right now that took the DNA test, but I, I don't match with not one person that's alive on my that, that shared my DNA from Africa. Like that's alive right now. Like I could actually message through the DNA. And I met family members through the DNA. I met my father's side of the family, my real father's side of the family through the DNA. So I don't have nobody. I see people from Europe. That I could talk to from Europe, that we share the DNA. I see people from all over, but I don't see not one person that's from Africa. That that. So if, if people from Africa took the DNA, shouldn't I have at least one cousin that's 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 people alive right now in Africa that took the DNA? People from Africa don't take it. They gonna tell you, I don't have to take it. I know who I am. We we know who you are. We ain't gotta take it. So, so, where, so uh, where did they get these uh African um DNA have, things? They don't have them. They have small samples. And they and they are not even um put um you know you have migration stories. All of these tribes have migration stories. Whether it's the Kun, the Shanti didn't come to the 1700s. Okay, they were a branch off of them, and they were Europeans mixed with these tribes down there. 
all right, the Fula tribe, the uh um out of South Africa, um uh, uh Zulu tribe, all of these uh European tribes. And the white boy tell you in a book called White America by Ernie Seville Cox. Okay. Uh he'll tell you what tribes they implanted there that they had a blood that are gonna lead over the Negro race there. Bars. So uh check this out. Hey, do y'all have my books? I don't know if y'all if y'all familiar with me or not, man. But I got some books that uh, no, I ain't got them yet, but I'm I'm gonna get them. How many man, books you got? Right here, I got five of them all. But these two that you uh this right here, the information I brought out on the Gullah Geechee last night, where Chris had to come back to my top cat was right. Yeah, I know I'm right. Uh all this in my book right here. I'm not black, I'm Indian. And uh we also got uh this right here, my bestseller. Uh this is my first book. Uh America, Bloodlines of the Guards and Civilization. Okay. I'm, I'm going to get them. It's selling right there, yeah. man. And, and the Gullah Geechee, I was talking to my cousins recently, before uh before last night, recently, because uh, a lot of my family, they know, they know like the elders, they know some of the history. So my family comes from South Carolina. Originally, I'm from New York. You know, they, they migrated from South Carolina to New York. And um, I found out recently that some of the elders spoke Gullah Geechee. I never knew that. You know what I'm saying? But my grandmother told me out of her mouth when I was a kid that her, her parents are Cherokee. Her father told my older cousin out of his own mouth, which is my great grandfather, that his his parents was Cherokee. So I don't know. But like I said, I, I I've been doing the research. I don't I don't know as much as y'all as far as when it comes to this. I'm still learning. I'm I'm still, you know what I'm saying, but um I know what my family told me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey you ever seen my debate with Jabari? Yeah, I I, I've been following you. I've been following you for a while oh, now. I've been yeah. following you. I follow, I follow. I pretty much follow everybody because I'm into learning. So mm -hmm. I've been following Sarnetta from way back. Like I still, you know, what I'm saying, and I don't yeah. agree with a lot of things that they do, but you know, I like to educate myself. So I watch. I watch all of you. I watch you, Phoenix Moon, Dane. I watch all of y'all because information. You know, what I'm saying information is powerful, and, and I'm trying to learn. You know, my history. So. I know what my grand. I know my family told me, but I'm not a historian like y'all. I'm, 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 I'm a lightweight at this. You so need to be a historian. You need to be a, a your story. You need. Oh to yeah, yeah, facts. But I'm, yeah, what I'm saying is, I'm, I'm a lightweight when it comes to like getting well, certain I'm evidence and stuff. I'm gonna show you how to get how to become a heavyweight. Don't fuck all these other books because these books are not talking about you. They're not mm -hmm. talking about your family. Your family name is not in these books. Do your genealogy and study the history of your family. Yeah, I did the genealogy. Now, there's certain things like you got to keep going, bro. Because when you find these family members, they're gonna be attached to land. You're gonna have or uh, bury your grounds or cemetery, family cemeteries. Y'all might have towns named after y'all. This is your story. Long as you know your story, you'll never lose to none of these doctors. And that's what I've been trying to tell everybody. Mm -hmm. Don't read no more of these books. I didn't read them all. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh at the end of the day, the most powerful weapon is to know your story. Because these people we going up against, they don't know their story. That's, that's a fact. Chris last night, he trying to jab at, at Ryan. Hey, but I'm stepping to him. And when he done asking that question, you tell us your tribe and your tribal language and all of this here. He ain't got it. So that's a fact. Do it? So now where I'm standing right here, because what the secret is, they do not know who they are. So within that, they don't qualify to be out here trying to teach the people. We had too many niggas come through here and fail in front of the people. People didn't put everything in, you know, killed their hope, and these niggas ain't even apologize for misteaching niggas. Mm -hmm. Dr. and John Clark, all of these niggas students, we find out today you niggas been lying and working side by side with the colonizer. I beat up Jabari on that topic. Said he ran. <laughs> Nigga uh, tried to smoke him out. He did a show about me. Nigga come fight. None of these niggas want to fight me. But let, let somebody else say something to them. They, yeah, they, they only rock with you if you agree with them. Shoes on. They want to scrap. But these niggas hoes when it come to me. You, they pussy. You know, they pussy. Let me, let me, can I ask you a question real quick? How, how do you, like, I, I found some history on some of the land on my, that, that my father's side of the, because uh, one of my uh, father's uh, family, they came from um, St. James Goose Creek. So I did the history on that, and I found out a little information that they came from Barbados, and they spoke the Barbados language. Yeah. So I was like, that's deep. Yeah. So I started doing the history of Barbados, and, and, and it aligned with what was saying on, um, about the migration towards uh, South Carolina. 
but I got I got grave sites and all that. I don't know how to do the history on on the land of of my mother's side. Like it's it's hard it's hard to get that history of that land. I don't know how. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in 1627, James Carlisle got a charter under Charles the First, and he came to Barbados. When they left Barbados, they ended up going to Jamaica. They met some Jews. They came out of Brazil. Them niggas was in the sugar and the rum hustling. Mm -hmm. uh, they went there. The Spanish was on the island. You had yep. two. You had vulnerable, and you had pen. Well, they uh, put together a play, and they was able to get the Spanish up out of there for that. They uh bloodline was uh rewarded Pennsylvania by Charles the second after he was put back on the throne. So that's how they're gonna make it there. Charles in South Carolina is Port Royal, <laughs> Jamaica is Port Royal. So that's under King Charles the second, the black boy king. That's mm -hmm. the connection that's gonna bring them to South Carolina, Jamaica, Barbados, and the South Carolina connection. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. You know. Now, Another later, thing. The Maroon Wars, mm -hmm. they're going to have a colony after the French and Indian War, 1754 to 1763. They're going to get uh, Halifax up in Canada. Mm -hmm. Now, they're going to move after the Maroon War, they're going to move the Arawak Indians over to Canada. And mm -hmm. from Canada in 1777, they created a colony called Sierra Leone off the west coast of Africa. And those migrations of those people coming out of uh uh Halifax with those Micmac Indians with those uh uh Maroons out of Jamaica Arawakan mm -hmm. out of Jamaica the South Carolina you're gonna have some uh um some people come out to some Algonquin that's gonna go out there with them but they these are the people that they're gonna take out known as the British loyalists all uh, right you're gonna mm -hmm. have some loyalist niggas out of Britain there too and the relief of poor blacks that's the uh they gonna go under but it was it was funded by the society of friends which was a quaker organization and mm -hmm. that's how they get to sierra leone too so now they try to make the gullah connection with sierra leone in south carolina because of the rice because of the sweet grass baskets uh uh th things of this <clears throat> nature but if we don't know what happened in our own home then niggas can take advantage of us and create a story so mm -hmm. be we dedicated ourselves to know our story, and when we know our story, they can't put their story on us. Boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I'm sorry, I never said you dropped the link. You said what? I right, link in the chat, so I never said I never finna pull up. Oh, yeah, finally. Well, we got the uh, Yoruba brother back there. He just talking, yep. talking, talking. He on mute like a mother. <laughs> <laughs> We can't hear you. You're on mute. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I definitely want to talk to Sarnetta because that was mad bias last night, man. Mm -hmm. You know, no, it was. He got to do what he got to do. You know, that's what, how he got to protect the golden goose. What I'm looking at, I try not to look at too much. And I, I read how behavior has a lot to do with how we receive information. And based upon, I learned one thing. If somebody is getting mad with me telling my story, and you could have facts about your story and your history. If you get mad with me telling my story more than me, like you get mad, I'm not even a defending myself. I'm not into debating people too much when I know what I know. And you have to allow, like, there's a certain resonance with how it resonates with you. The information and i've had cognitive dissonance because i've had to unlearn some stupid shit that i learned and i looked at the person giving me the information and i was more wow thank you for giving me this information even though i was seeing it totally wrong hey hold People, on one second. hey sarnetta if you can hear uh -huh. me the link pinned at the top link in the chat and it's pinned at the top of the chat i think a lot of people have cognitive dissonance and every time they look at somebody and because the information doesn't come from somebody maybe they perceive to see as knowledgeable or a, you know adequate to give them this information they dismiss it and they often dismiss it and they have cognitive dissonance with the information and i think they even have cognitive dissonance with the information that they're finding 
but their ego has developed around the information that they found and they defending their ego as opposed to defending the information. And you could see that this behavior started to change because people were being insulted in that room and they were yeah, but we talking have about a tough skin. this the big leagues though this gladiator well story. that's it and and, and i can yeah, see the receipts you know what I'm saying? If you're not allowing you people to show receipts it, it's because you, you you want to control the narrative and we got to see that uh, that there are some people that no matter what they're having cognitive dissonance with the information and om if you can't provide receipts or the receipts are provided and you can't accept it it's not that the, it's your personality that's rejecting or your cognitive dissonance that's that rejecting the information. And you can see in the behavior of how they attack your personality or the way you do things, or even us being insulted. I think one of the things we were called Indians, and we were even told that Indians didn't look like us when the invaders came here. Well, they the opposition, you know, that's why you got to have your counter attack. It's war, you know, right? and it's there's so attack. many, there's, there's even white boys that are finding this information. And white boys are like, when they came here, there were people already here. And this is the phenotype. This is how they looked. And you can go in and see that they're just not looking at the information that you're providing. Because they, they want to stay on their position and they won't accept that narrative because it's not from somebody they look like well, they don't have to accept as long as you accept it and you live in your truth that's it uh, yeah that's, that's it, it. Mm -hmm. so I what's up with it sir peace peace what's happening man what's happening to the panel everybody peace to the panel um peace, sir. that's what i want to say i want to say i apologize to the brother with the hat on my man that just said peace sir uh, you know jabari man I and I rock with you, sir. I used to be in 125th, right where you be posted yeah, I mean, at. I used to be over there. I remember there. you. I remember your face. Um, listen, man, I wanted you to get in so bad, Top Cat, but Jabari, man, he just kept. I was like, oh man, this is our show. So I said, all right, you know what? This is their show. You know, you know how me and you are, Top Cat. I always yeah, let you rock. Man, I only need it because they, you know, man, yeah. I want to take care of right then because Jabari is not coming on no show that I'm on. So, yeah, and so that's why I kept saying, you know what? I want to do the same thing because I I, want, I got to speak to um Rod, and so I want to do a show with just nothing but y'all on the show. No, I don't want Jabari. I want y'all to have y'all show. You know how I do? I did that before where I gave the show, the panel, to all the abos in the building. And so I would like for you to come on, and they, they said bias as saw. I'm not biased, man. It was... Whoever show it is, yeah, it looked that's who bad last show. night, though, sir. It looked bad last night, man. And you know why I look bad? Because Jabari was kicking that ass. <laughs> nah, he was he was he was running from that video. That's what he was running from. Hey, hey yeah, that vid but that video was out. Oh, it don't they said matter, sir. He said like out of his own mouth, they only could prove less than one percent of what a person is, and that and it, that part was coming up until they cut me off. The only reason why I showed the white dude because I wanted to have two people explain it instead of just one. I'll it is a what, whole 60 minutes uh, interview. Y'all come on tonight. You will be able to do all of that. Top Cat, I'm, I'm going to get Rod Hayes to come on. Y'all be able to do y'all thing on that one. What do you think? And see, see y'all kind of disarmed Rod Hayes that night. Told him this ain't no debate. And you no, 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 no. Rod Hayes? Listen, hold on, Top Cat. Gladiator, bro. Top Top Cat. Bro, try to come in there and, and, and get him, bro. No, I listen, Top worried. Cat. Rod Hayes is the one that didn't want to do the debate. So that's why I kept saying this is the discussion. He's the one. Jabari wanted to debate, but Rod I know, Hayes. Right? That's but, what no, I'm saying. but I'm going to tell you something. You lucky that Rod Hayes didn't want to do the debate. He brought no sources. You got to bring but sources, like he said, man. Though, he wasn't prepared. You know, I ain't. I don't need to be prepared. You know, I'm, I, my shit all on top of the dome. I'm ready. I'm strapped down. So, um, are you ready for tonight discussion with I'm all ready Abbas? Ready to do it tonight. I'm okay. Tonight, but okay, but, uh, I'm down with it though. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some brothers to come on tonight, the Abbas, and let y'all go ahead and swing the bat. That's all. Swing yeah, man. Where the Abbas at, man? Y'all pull up, Abbas. Turn up. Look, look at um, look at the your other mm. brother. What's his name? Um, uh, uh, one of the Abo brothers, Who Aboriginal is? Power. He ran from Jabari. We had the bait set up. He ran, bro. Uh, okay. I'm well, I'm I'm set it up again. It's just a conversation. 
Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why I, I called it like that. But yeah, just make it a conversation. It's uh, I got yeah. a question. Go ahead. So if 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 no, I can no, show you somebody, two somebody videos that debunk that DNA thing, are we gonna cancel that out? Are we gonna yeah, cancel that out? Do it like forever? this uh, tonight. Jabari gonna be ready tonight. No, I don't want Jabari to come on. I want all abos to drop their information and go in. That's what I'm saying. I want all of y'all to go in on it. Nah, nah, look, family. I'm gonna be honest, though. We can't be playing them type of videos on on the shows, though, because you can get the channel flag. So you really gonna have to come with your own information. You feel me? I just wanted to debunk that DNA thing because uh, they keep on bringing the DNA thing up. Get get the channel flag. Yeah, they took that video offline. That video not even online. That's why I, so. I, I pre-recorded that video. I got that video on my phone. I got all them videos on my phone. You still can find yeah, them online. There's other ways to, to skin the cat, though. We're going to have to find another way, though, without the channel being covered. But that's that's why I posted the link in, in the back chat for, for anybody who was disagreeing. They could, they could have saw the video themselves. You know what I'm saying? Because they keep on bringing up the DNA thing. And that's already and, and the people said it out their own mouth. They can't prove what you are through hey, DNA. Hey, 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 they say the chat say don't know elbows live over here. You got to go to the brothers. You want to go <laughs> Hey, your mic messed up, uh, family. You in the major. Hey, y'all jump on that like button out there. Jump on that like button out there. Yeah, uh, I got to make a few moves today, man. Uh, I'll probably be home later, depending on what time y'all jump on. I'll jump on. But, uh, you know, I want to see a fight. I just want to clear that DNA so we ain't got to talk about that no uh, more. I don't know how interesting it's going to be without them there because there's a lot of those people over there. I, I feel like it's going to end up being the same conversation. That's why I wanted to catch him last night. Caught Chris. Chris stepped on the IED, <laughs> blew himself <laughs> up. I want to. Uh, I want to apologize to Top Cat. Uh, I misspoke it. No, you did. You you screenshotted my source. You rewind the video and then you Google my source and then tried to come out and and, and and act like you knew what was going on. And it's the second time we didn't caught you doing that with my work. That's why he kept saying, "Let him do it." I'm his teacher. <laughs> Yeah, I'm teaching these niggas. Teaching these niggas, man. That was that, that it was nothing to say after that. But um, yeah, side man, if uh I make it back home in time tonight, if y'all still on, I'll hop up there. Uh but uh yeah, I'll let some other people get a shot to go up there and put all right, it yeah, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, set set that up for me and then we're gonna go over there and get get it in. All right, bet. What time hey, you yeah, going to like son? what you said? Yeah, you can't time? play that. You can't what play time? that part on the video. Hey, they say what time, sir? Uh, I would say eight o'clock, prime time. All right. Everybody so what I'm gonna do on. is, because I want you, I want you to see the video. I post, I post both of the links so you can see it, and then you can tell them. No, that way, what you can do is you can play the audio without showing. Okay, the okay. And now all I can do is speed the audio up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Matter of fact, I, I might bet. I might get Rick Kittles on my show. I'm gonna call him up. Yeah, bring yeah, because he he be he was on Clubhouse with us and all of this. So he yeah, but I'm and I'm gonna tell you something. Out. If you ain't take the DNA test, y'all don't have a right to call yourself. I took the DNA on. test, sir. And what it say? But again, when when Rick Kittles as long as well as other no, people, no, no, on, no, no. What do your DNA say, brother? Okay. At one time, it said I was uh twenty one percent Nigerian. Now I'm down to thirteen percent. They keep on getting lower and lower. But that's what they do. They they keep checking. So am I, So 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 what if it say that I'm zero Nigerian and that does that mean I'm not Nigerian no well, more? Guess what mine say. You used to mine, be Nigerian. Mine, mine say that um I'm an Aboriginal. Yeah, they gave me like three percent or something like that. Well, side, si, you know we got American. exclusive yeah. over here, side. We know See? you can't. Cherokee, and you got Arawak in there. You so we got. Well, we that's because my father's Puerto Rican, and so that's, yeah, but on the, mama's that's the side, side that though. I come from. But on mama, on mama's side though, uh, sis, big sis told us Cherokee, South Carolina. 
That was an exclusive on here on this channel. But at the same time, you got to understand, I I still consider myself and is African American mix. But if you vote, then you I'm, vote. I'm yeah, mix, yeah, vote. man. Y'all got to stop got running from that. Y'all got to stop but running no, that's, from that's that, story, man. Though, si. Everybody have an individual, but we can respect you for being half and half, though. Somebody said, "Let's out loud. Take it again and see if it say that again." It's gonna say that again because I keep telling you where my father is. My father's from from the Puerto Rico, from Puerto Rico, so it's gonna say it again on that side, and it might give me more, more, um, you know, more numbers this time. They say don't that hide your boy. They say you hide your boy from Top Cat. <laughs> Top cat, you and Jabari been begging so much. That's why Jabari like, yo, stop. I don't no, want you. <laughs> your boy can't help you, but you know what's Jabari's greatest weapon? He will take your source from you, and he will yeah. put your own source. That's right. That's and right. He, yeah. he never done me like this, and he hated. He, that's why he he can't you he can't get his offense off on me, and so it's like, no, no, I don't want him to show nothing. Because he can't do it. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, top cat. Minimum. Yeah. Would you take on uh, Chris Harris, top cat? Nah, Chris Harris ain't on my level. Did you see what he did last night? He came, I pulled a sword. Jabari went after him. I went after both of them and killed both of them. All hey, yo, who's that elder that was on, man? Who was that uh, elder? He from you got his information? Um, I can get I can, I can, I know some people that can get in touch with him. Yeah, you know, I would like I would like him to come get, on, man. I would like I, him to come on too. Yeah, yeah, I get him. I uh, I, I get get in touch with some people to uh let him know. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. Oh, actually, he he Indian. He down in Oklahoma. He square business. He know he know his 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 Creek Seminole history. He know the history down there. Yeah, he, he ain't dead. Yeah, so that that'll be a good one. Uh, I get in touch with some people to let him know. Okay. All right. Yo, so peace to y'all, man. I'll talk to you. All right. Peace that's everybody. a bit. All right. Peace, everybody. Peace, peace. Peace. D to the O to the C. What up, though? Rich Bay, what up, though? Talk to us. Hey, hey, I just wanted to come in and just salute you, bro. You can only speak for 30 seconds last night. Well, at first you couldn't speak at all. And peace to the chat. Peace to BCU. Man, what, what, what's up with that? Why you couldn't speak, bro? What's going on? Hey, man. I'm a threat. <laughs> I'm a threat, man, to the kingdom. No, matter. He cannot speak. So I say, give him 30 seconds, man. Give the brother 30 seconds. Let the brother show. See, that lets you know that Sai knows that he needs to put this information out there. Don't sleep on him. And then he come and tell y'all again today. Look, man, I got Aboriginal in my bloodline. He know, but he's yeah. got to market. He's got to market them. A certain way. He came on this show. His sister was at his house that day. And his sister, I we said, actually, do y'all got in? He said, Yeah, what we'll try Cherokee? Because she grew up in South Carolina with her grandma. So I grew up in New York. You know, she grew up down there on the land, and they was raised Cherokee. He know, he know. Nah, he found out that day when we found out. He oh, just, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, so we got that. His people, his chat don't know that, but we know we got the exclusive. Yeah. So, uh, but last night, you know, they killed. They that's thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Your thirty seconds is up. Top cat. Your thirty seconds. He said, "No, no, no." But I'm gonna be wrong. That was thirty seconds yet. Like it was. He 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 can't. He he know he can't beat me. I got his number, so it just, I mean, see, get that nigga out of here, man, like a dog off the chain, man, somebody hey, get the dog, man. Hey, he hey, but see, hey Top Cat, but you got to see it in a, in, in a whole nother light, too. You know, that's how our enemies, the other ones, the pale ones, they don't want us to shine this truth out here, bro. So anybody who putting it out here, you got to become crazy. You got to be retarded. Something of evil to make the people stay away from you. So keep shining your shine, bro. You know what I'm saying? Pop your collar. Man, that will say peace. Step on them, man. Uh, when they see me, they go across the street. You better. You well, I'm going to definitely have that 1% lined up. Right. Up. I'm not even going to waste no time on that tonight. 
Yeah, tonight you gotta go in, bro. And, and I'm gonna have the other video, the other dude, Henry. I got I got that video too. Yeah, have them right there, click right to the I actually recorded that. I I recorded that on my phone. I made sure I kept that because I knew they was gonna hide it. Yeah, so don't show the screen like you did last night. Just play yeah, yeah, just play the audio. Yeah. Yeah, and then you'll be good on that one. Yeah, because I'm tired of them talking about the DNA. I'm like, that's their source, the DNA, the DNA, but the, the DNA already been exposed nationally on TV. The other problem with the DNA is that the DNA also kind of supports the narrative because the other thing is the paper genocide part is that they're writing that they wiped out all the indigenous. He froze up on us. I know right. what he's going <laughs> to say though. There's certain, there's certain like that paper genocide. They can write exactly what they saw when they came here, and they could say, "Oh, we killed off all these indigenous people," and yeah, it might going out again. Hey, that's um, cool. Look, I'm gonna finish playing the video anyway. Uh, yeah, and then I'm I've got some of it is entertainment purposes. Go ahead on the close, close on um, uh, land. What you were saying? Cause you're going in and out, you're freezing on us. Right, I'm about to get off. I just wanted to get that off. All right, yeah, for sure. Appreciate right. you. Now, I'll just say you're ready. That narrative, that narrative that we're taking, and some of this stuff. And my mom did the genealogy, and it didn't all. Hey, you freezing up, Dean? Crazy man, I'm getting freezing. Stuck here. I think it's my internet. And we dropped out. He says his internet tripping. All right, let's go on back into this 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 lashing. For Robertson Crusoe, Daniel Defoe put it so crudely in 1713: No African trade, no Negroes, no. The the part about the sugar cane is when he's actually on the plantation. But yeah, he oh, was chained. Okay, he was chained. Look, in other words, they were there it's to that, work in fields, it's that diagram that you showed is the diagram that we're supposed to believe. It's easier for us to believe that they killed all of the original people of this land off with disease in the open air than it is to believe that that with all that piss and shit and vomit and menses is not a gas chamber and they didn't die. In that closed environment, the hull of the ship is a closed environment. And we supposed to believe that all that pissing and shitting and vomiting is not putrefying, suffocating everybody with this gas. Let him finish, Jabari. No, wait, Sonetta. No, you're, I'm, I'm helping you now, brother. Try to use words that aren't that can't be considered. Cursing. Oh yeah, no, no profanity, brother. My bad. We don't want you to. Oh, my bad, my bad, my, my bad, my bad, my bad, sir. Yeah, that, that's not that is going to bang, huh? So let's not do that. Hey, y'all, yeah. get the likes up. Get that the likes is up. a gas chamber. Hey, with, get the likes up. Get the likes up. Share the video. Those people that were there, the firearms and music, no Jabra, for many places in. the um, by the way, Dulcinea says no new sources. I showed you a bunch of new sources. What Dulcinea? <laughs> Dulcinea, what well, yeah, Dulcinea? Boy, Dulcinea, the boy almost lost his religion. He almost called you everything but the child of God. What Dulcinea? Man, you know you can't press his button with that one right there. Boy, showing them same old sources, talking about slave revolts. We freed ourselves. Dosi, let's not go there tonight. I showed you a bunch of new sources. No, you didn't. Maybe you're not paying attention. No, we're paying Dosenea, attention. Dosenea, please don't do that. Don't do that. When we showed you this coming <laughs> from this book, have I showed you this? Well, I feel like laughing, bro. I feel like laughing. Now, check this out. He going to bring up Thomas Clarkson. So this guy that he's talking about, Thomas Clarkson is going to create this story. If y'all seen... Book of Colonizers Part Three, man. I need to start running these back, bro. I ain't running back, bro. We put tickets back up, man. 
uh, Thomas Clarkson is going to be one of the founders of Sierra Leone, right? So he's going to create this story because they needed a slave that actually been through the experience of the Mustafa. So they created these created characters who did not come from Igbo, but actually from North Carolina and South Carolina. This book before? No. You better not no. pull it out on me. I'm telling you, bro. I'm going to break you down. No, I showed, and uh, there are lots of new sources. No. There's some sources that are not new that you may have seen before. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> No, see, it's a few in here you might see me, but don't get shit twisted. Get your slow means in the building, man. 3051 chief in the building, man. Dosey, don't get shit twisted, okay? Because you ain't never seen this one page right here. You might see this, but I got a few more pages in here. Don't do that, Dulcinea. Don't do please, me. Please don't do that. Don't please Let's don't continue. do me. Do uh, not do changing me. seas in the episode. Changing seas more than four hundred African American. Changing seas in the episode. Stunk it, sunken stories. Do not so this do is one me, of the shits, right? By, um. By the way, Dulcinea says no new sources. I showed you a bunch of new sources. I showed you a bunch of new sources. Maybe you're not paying attention, Dulcinea. Please don't do that. Don't do me. When we showed you this coming from this book, have I showed you this this book before? No. Put that up, no, I showed, and uh, there are lots of new sources. There's some sources that are not new oh. that you may have seen before. Don't do that, Dulcinea. Do please, me. please don't do that. Please, boo boo, not, not today. You got the right one today, Dosey. <laughs> let's continue. Um, wait, let's play. Display objects from a slave. Uh, do we play that? Let me let it go. Another two. Um, many of the people that were on that ship actually their ancestors still in the area what did they call the place where they ended up residing they call it africa town wow. those people that were africa there the firearms and music like, no jabari the clotilda has been debunked no you saying it doesn't make it so debunked. the clotilda has not been debunked if you're going you to say that debunked, i would dude. love for you to come with a source because I can show you sources all day. Jabari all day. The Nigga, that's a pump fake. That's a pump fake. You want some sources? You know, I ain't got nothing but sources. Guess where we at? Welcome to Africa Town. Check. Let's go to Africa Town. So. Here go Africa Town. Story of the Clotilda. Well, guess what? This story of the Clotilda is no different than Roots. Alex Haley came out and said that he was from this village and he was kin to a nigga named Kunda Kente. And um in April 1977, the Sunday published an article, Tangled Roots, by Mark Ottaway. It challenged the book account of Kunta Kente and Alex Haley, African ancestry. So just how we call them right here, right? Here go Haley. Haley say, to the best of my knowledge and effort, my lineage statement within Roots is either from either my African or American families. Carefully preserved oral history, much of much of which I have been able conventionally to co uh, coordinate with the documents. Th those documents, along with uh, textual details of what the contemporary indigenous lifestyle, culture, history, such as give roots, bless, have come from. Come to find out, the boy didn't stole it. Okay. The boy, however, historians and genealogists suggest Haley did not rely on factual evidence. Check. Claiming there are serious errors with the Haley family history and historical description in the period preceding the Civil War. Conta Kente. Haley had told his story so many people that the version of his family's story had been assimilated into the oral traditions of Gambia. Haley had created a case of circular reporting in which the people repeat his words back to him. 
Okay. So just like that. And they keep it in there. Roots Reborn, the saga. This was a 2020, uh, uh, 16. But, uh, let's go up here because, uh, in 1914, a lady named Emma Landon Roach in, in, um, this place called Africa Town, she wrote a book called Historical Sketches of the South about a nigga named Cujo. Well, you had, uh, George Neil Hurston. What's she gonna do? She's going to, she's going to, uh, plagiarize the book. She was this person, Emma, was the first writer to publish a book interviews on Cujo. Okay, the first, meaning she's just the primary. So let's go to the book. In the book, it clearly says, This is the tradition which is given in connection with the Clotilde voyage. I want y'all to listen and I want some flames after this. It may have been true. Check. It may have been true or or it may have been invented to give color and palliation to what was proved to be the last cargo of slaves brought in the United States. This is a fiction. Let me get out of there. We ain't going we ain't giving up all of the work. But that's what we do. We work. So they can't pull this type of shit on me. Tilda has not they been bring that up in front of me. I mean, he's now nah, we get not there on this. Why do Come people on, say man. things like this? I mean, I don't understand it. I don't, I well, really I don't get it. Why they but the that. descendants of those folks, right? Actually, right, right. here goes the descendants of Kudjo Lewis and Abache. They heard they heard stories from their ancestors about coming from Africa. So you're discounting their stories, but you want us to listen to yours? I didn't say everybody, I didn't say everybody over here didn't come from Africa. I already said that, yeah, some people did come from Africa, but yeah, we're but not all from, we're not all from Africa. <clears throat> See, the, the understanding of, you're questioning of perspective... Whether the ship, you're questioning whether... Brother, I'm, I'm, you I'm looking at a different the paradigm than the African-American paradigm. I'm looking at from the perspective of somebody whose family has always been over here. I'm looking at it from, we didn't all come from Africa. I didn't say there was no Africans here because they still coming over here. Brother, you are questioning whether the enslavement trade occurred. To you the scale that they told us, I, did, I disagree with it could survive in those ships. You those ships, that don't make sense. That, that, that doesn't sit with sound logic. Brother, you, maybe your logic is off because when you actually get information, you have to question what you understand. Look, it's, it's, it's basic common sense. If you got all of this putrefying decay, dead bodies decaying, Putting off fumes the were thrown overboard. Dead bodies were thrown overboard. They had to be down there for some period of time. How often do they service the dead bodies? Brother, you're talking about literally thousands of ships. There's no they, right. I mean, so that's we, like you saying to me today, when exactly do they give out the peanuts? You know how many airplanes there nah, are? Look, like this that. is what I'm saying. The story to the magnitude that they tell it to us to give us the impression that all of the people that look like us came from Africa is a false and misleading narrative. But brother, you are saying that without just, any sources. It's just just looking at it on the surface. All right. So what they call in law prima facie. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I have heard you say that you don't deal with religion. But when you actually just say you believe something because you believe it, that's another sort of religion. You it's, have to get data. I'm showing you the sources. I'm I just, I just didn't, I just didn't come with, I just didn't come bring sources because I just came to have a general conversation. I didn't come to drive any particular point. I came I here because the brother elder asked me to come and have a conversation with you. And I'm not even disagreeing with that. I'm saying if you have an opinion, so, you have right. to say why you have the opinion. You can't so, just say, no matter where you catch me at, I got to automatically, like if I'm having a conversation with somebody, I need to have my reference in my pocket. I don't walk around like that. 
Uh, well, right. I wanna, so I, if, I wanna... I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a bigger perspective. Oh. You looking at a subset of a community of the people, larger set of people that was already here. All right. Let me ask you, um, Brother Rod. Who were the people that were already here and where did they come from? We organic to the land. Just like the people from Africa is originally from the land. We evolve on the land. We spring forth from the land like trees. Here's what I'm going to ask you. All right. Yeah, I'm, let me ask you this way. What? Who are these people today? <laughs> That's what I would say. Who would you call these people today? That I mean, we, here? we sprang forth from the land. Hold you on, mean like there were seeds? I told y'all Jabari is not, not going it's to a metaphor. Out of debate. Jabari want to try to go in there and get you. What? What's up? What did he say? That's why I kept saying y'all ain't tell uh, Dr. Kaba and y'all ain't tell Infidicia that. Infidicia, a comedic priest, he said it. Dr. Kaba was saying it. So so y'all gonna try to get on ride when he said That's why I kept jumping in on it. We ain't doing that. Historical perspective, you can look at it like that. Yeah, I'm metaphor. We ask you for history, brother. Jabari, I'm asking the brother, who would these people be today that was already here? You saying the majority of us that's been reclassified by the system and given exonyms to identify who we are and to give us a historical perspective that breaks the paradigm of us understanding what the elders was telling us. And a lot of the uh, educational systems is all controlled by secret societies. And they push the narrative in order to control the perspective of how we see the information. I'm not saying that nobody come from Africa. I'm saying that the majority of us was already here. And that the African paradigm that they gave us is not to the magnitude they told us because the majority of us was already here. They, when we started tribing up, they classified us as gangs, we tribes. We all over the land. We already was here. The spiritual battle just turns into a physical um, development of a paradigm. We're looking at perspectives and flow of information. And I'm looking at how the information is flowing. And what I see everybody don't see the same thing I see. So it's difficult for me to try to break down how I get information from a higher perspective and then go back to the references that I had drawn up for when I try to explain it to somebody later, I will have a reference, right? So we were already here is the anthem for what was classified as belligerent tribes, outlaw tribes, non-treaty tribes, right? So I'm just talking from the perspective of the people that was already here. And I'm saying that the mass amount of people that they say they brought over here, they didn't bring all of us from nowhere else. We was already here. Right. I'm familiar with all of the education arguments. I'm familiar with all of the books that talk about it. But right now, I'm, well, my mind is preoccupied with some other stuff that's going on mm -hmm. that I told you about earlier. Right. And so I'm not really focused to the point where I can really give him like yeah. um, the references to what I'm speaking on. All right, hold on, brother Jabari. We so we don't be up here too long. Um, is it all right if I open the panel, or would you like to respond first before uh, I open up the you panel? You know, 
my my um my feeling is always that I'm going to give you as many sources as I possibly can, right? Um, and that's partially because folks that are watching also are in a situation where they should actually um, uh, uh, be able to do their own research, right? So uh, I'm at the point where I'm not even exactly <laughs> sure what next to do. Because man, I'm not man. suggesting that that our brother needs hey, to have the all up, of man. these sources of full show, presentation. The up, I'm just saying, if you have an opinion, you have to explain how you got your opinion. And just saying it's common sense doesn't help, right? Uh, you should be able to tell us how you came to your opinion. It's, math, heard, it's mathematics. What we've heard, it's not mathematics, brother. It is it's, not mathematics. It's, it's not if mathematics. You, look, if you can believe that they killed all of the natives off on the land in the open air with disease, and you believe that them people endured that gas chamber, no one that's, argues. That's, that's a whole argue. different. That's a whole different perception. No one argues that every Native American was killed with disease. No one argues that. The thing you just said. The only person saying that is Rod Hayes. No one said that. Okay. Okay. So now here we go. Um, I'm going to let you in for the first question. Remember, ask your question. I'm going to ask Rod Hayes and and Brother Jabari. Please. Um, don't be too long-winded on the answer. Answer your question. Always respect the guests in the building. Sister Freedom, you are up first. Do you have a question for both brothers? One question. One question now. You can ask each of them a question because we okay. got a lot of people in the back. Okay. Okay. So, I'm asking Jabari a question. Hey, Jabari. How are you, sis? Okay. I got to ask you this question what happened to all the people that was on these lands that were of color that now we are status and called African Americans, black, whatever? What happened to all those people? What wait, ask your question again. What happened to all what people? Okay. When they started classifying us all the same, because we the same color, because we probably the same color. What happened to the people prior? Because you what happened to the people that was on these lands prior to the slave trade that was of this hue, of this color? What, what happened to them? Where they where they go at? Well, because no, you know, well, one time they you. at first we were separate. Then they started classifying us all together because we all look the same color. What happened to the people that was on these lands prior to the slave trade? Where they go? There were certainly native people that were here. All right, Jabari will be back. Something happened. He okay. got cut off. Let's hold up for a minute, Rod. You can speak while we're waiting. You can go okay. ahead and go in, Rod. <laughs> Rod? <laughs> what happened? So we, we're looking at two different things. We're looking at a traditionally studied scholar and um, somebody who talked to degrees of the land that told us two different paradigms. So he went through the traditional schools of learning and he's taught a specific doctrine. Mm -hmm. All education is doctrinal, just like religion. This is why when I tell him that I got the slave trade narrative from our school books, I did. That's where I got it from. Because my mama told me that I, that wasn't us. So we automatically look in at two different events differently. And this is why we're not all supposed to see things the same. Because his fight and my fight might be going in the same direction, but we're looking for a different result. I'm looking to restore the tribes back to the land. He's looking for reparations. <laughs> we're not looking for the same thing. <laughs> Our now, paradigms is different. Question I want to ask Rod. Go ahead, sweetie. No, no, hold on, hold on, Sister Freedom. Jabari, you there? I'm coming back in now. How yeah, you get I kicked out? I, it, uh, you know, I'm doing too much. I have too many windows. All right, all right, come on, come on. I'm coming back. 
All right, he's coming back in. He got so much stuff open. That's all it is. <laughs> Brother <laughs> Jamari. The answer is, is, you know, because people say uh, that their so sources. Yep. Get your question ready again so you can be okay. clear and ask him when he come in. Okay. All right, y'all. We waiting on a powerful, great show, man. And during this time, y'all can show some love and, and drop a cash app or something like that. During this time, show your brother some love. We got Phil Valentine coming on next week who's going to give us some powerful, deep, deep metaphysics. That is on Tuesday. Phil Valentine will be in the building Tuesday on the at 9 p.m. sharp. So, you know, we're going to cover some um the esoteric of the Bible. He's going to go in on a lot of things. We're going to deal with Haiti. We're going to go in on a lot of things, man. So y'all would want to be in the building, man. All right? So, all right, Jabari is here. We're waiting on his connection device to connect. It says devices not connected. We're waiting on Brother Jabari. Osiris. Can I continue talking with Fried? Say what? Can I continue talking to Rod then about it? Yes, get about okay. what? About, about the same question. No, no, Wait. I want Jabari to be here. So, so you ain't got to ask it again. I want Jabari to be right here in the well, building. In the chat. I don't care. Though. I pay my own bills. Yeah, so you know that way he can hear it. Come on, Jabari, man, you must be working on a. It's wrong. Okay, and so you're then be him. What but it's his story. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Don't, wait a minute. Don't, do the, don't do this! Don't do selective hearing. I didn't say that the slave trade didn't happen. I didn't say nobody from Africa came over here. Let's just make that clear. I don't want nobody to have selective hearing. For some reason, it seems like y'all have selective hearing. You hear what you want to hear. I said that the slave trade took place, but not exactly the way that they said it happened. Simple as that. Who's they? Some of the stuff is impossible to have happened. Jabari, you, Jabari, most, listen. Most Who of the time, they? bathroom. Most of you, I'm just going to say you, <laughs> I don't believe I'm talking to you, Sa, and anybody else that don't agree. I'm <laughs> saying that I don't believe it happened the way that they say that you can't even go in the bathroom. If you, if somebody defecates, you ain't going in the bathroom passing. Sister Freedom. Unless they spray or something. Sister Freedom. You know I mean? Let's just keep So the, the thing, Dean, let's get it. Shalom. 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 Shalom, shalom. Give a shout out to Professor Jabbar. My uh, my family. Uh, 1788. Very long period ago, but we well, there's no to um to listen to um different sources. I'm getting a degree from the UK. I'm not getting. I'm I'm I'm. I don't know if you've ever heard the University of Chichester. I'm completing my thesis right now. So <laughs> I, I think that you have to study from a number of different places. I have a degree from Cornell. In Africana studies, I have a lot of different. I've been studying this for over thirty years, and you have to look at everything. I'm not suggesting that you you're reading Western sources. I'm saying that you can even look at the uh, the story from our ancestors. And if you are saying that no one could survive that trip, that trip, and and these people are saying that they did, then you are saying that they are liars. That is what you are saying. There's no other way to look at it. By the way, really quickly, let me say these things quickly. Um, our brother mentioned um, 40 days a slave. If you look for that, you're not going to find it. It's called 50 days aboard a slave vessel by Pascal G. Hill. Okay, so that's the book he's referencing. I also heard our brother earlier say that there's an, an older pyramid, he calls it, in the, um, in the Americas. And I want to say to you that is not true. Boy, stop it. He's talking about the Pyramid of Corral. I've, I've studied extensively. That is not true. I'm prepared to show you the sources. Man, show it, dude. Um, So that is not true. And by the oh, way, bro, to say... I'm faking it. Boy, you always act like you got to show it, but you never show it. Only thing we see is the same old recycled, washed up ass sources. Yesterday, paper sources. Stop acting like you got new sources, your boy. Why you ain't showed them? See that the Olmecs were in um, Guyana or or Jamaica. We have no record whatsoever of that. We have, there are no artifacts that that um, support that that thinking. There were people who lived there 
um, a very long period of, ago, but we well, there's nothing that says Olmec or 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 Aztec. There's nothing there that says that. So there there's some things that we need to clarify as well. All right, let me bring in the legendary Big Chief Top Cat in the building. What up, Top Cat? Peace, peace. What's up, Bunga Sai? Peace, brother. Turn up. What's up, Bunga Rob? Big Mama. Peace, Rick. Top Cat. <laughs> peace to you, Jabari. Peace, brother. <laughs> um, I had a question uh, for you, Jabari. Uh, Let's get that word. Um, concerning this transatlantic slave trade, uh, and since you are a professor in this, uh, what year did the exploration of Africa begin? What's the date? <laughs> I, I'm not sure if you can give a date, but I would say. Well, you 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 don't qualify to have this conversation with me. I asked the question like I asked it because I I got the answer. I got it on me, and I'm trying to see what's happening. Cause you around here talking like you a teacher and you know everything, and niggas need to listen to you. So since you're a professor, what is the date on the expiration of Africa, homie? And it's in my book. I'm not black. I'm Indian. Miseducation, Black America. Yeah, yeah, it's in my book. So I stepped to him. He told me, "I'm sure. I'm not sure you can give a date." <laughs> You got for them. You know I'm finna get you there, right? Starting off, and he know he's not on my level. That there well, I, were I can give a Europeans. Day. I believe that there you could argue that there are Europeans, according to the sources, no. that journeyed into Africa and described um their journeys into Africa no. as early as about I'd say the fifth century before the common era. Boy, you just you just pull something out of your head. So this is going to go in the fifth century. That's wrong because Haino, you talking about expedition to Africa? They came out of Haino and that was in the sixth century. Fuck, are you talking about, your boy? You ain't got no footwork, no chronology, nigga. That went into the sixth century, nigga. That's Haino. What are you talking about, son? <laughs> nigga. <laughs> He's nigga. Okay, let me ask you this: Are you familiar with the exploration of Africa? I just gave you an answer that says yes. Okay, okay well, uh, are you, uh, uh, June the 9th, 1788 is the correct answer to that, Professor. Uh, <laughs> this is the exploration of Africa. A company was created, which was called the African Association, which was to discover the interior parts of Africa, because at that time, they knew nothing about Africa. So this right here, you brought up a source, 1778. Um, so 1778, you were speaking about these people. Now, this is going to come out of the 1777 Sierra Leone Company when they went to go build their co colony. The African institution followed because they failed. Now, what's important about this is 1808, the Trade Embargo Act comes, which ends the slave trade. So if the expiration of the slave trade didn't start in 1788 and 1808, the Trade Embargo Act, and then um, also we get... Um, uh the de um proclamation of 63 so uh, we don't see a slave trade what we see is literature it's created through literature so i ask you this here what is the primary source in the time in colonial time of the transatlantic slave trade actually happening at this time who's writing about this and if man that was a listen i jammed him up i already see quietly listening like a student yeah he tried to make uncle rob a student like a nigga in this class. Well, guess what, nigga? You in my class now. And when I talk, he shut the fuck up and he listen. And he's like, I, I ain't never seen nothing like this young nigga, man. And, and, and they accused me of being hostile last night. Me looking back at it today, I'm, I'm, I'm very memorable, man. I'm not yelling, raising my voice or nothing, man. You know, they made me like I was in there going crazy. Finna shoot the place up. Now, nigga, this a finesse ass whooping. Bam, 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 bam. I done put you on the back feet. The first question was so hard. When it, what's the date to the expiration of Africa? And you ain't, he said, I don't think it's a date. Well, I got a date. Then I put it on him and he couldn't even say nothing. And then I started walking, put him on his back feet. You got to keep the boy on his back feet. Now check him out. Then I finished off. I finished off with now give me a primary to a person that was writing about the transatlantic slave trade in the colonial time. 
at the time that this trade is said to be happening, give me an author who was writing about it at that time. He ain't got nothing on it. Man, I would body slam. Man, they can't fuck this day. And this the king. He was in here teaching class earlier. Nigga, you can hear rat piss on cotton. If you need yeah. help on that, I can answer. You're yeah, actually. Yeah, hold on, hold on. And I told the nigga if he need help, I'll help him out. I'd say the fifth century before the common era. Okay, let me ask you this. Are you familiar with the expiration of Africa? I just gave you an answer that says yes. Okay, okay so well, uh, are you, uh, uh, June the 9th, 1788 is the sure. It's created through literature, so I asked you this year. What is the primary source in the time, in colonial time, of the transatlantic slave trade actually happening at this time? Who's writing about this? And if you need there, help on that, I can answer. There are actually, first of all, what you said is completely incorrect. We can pull the up first everything. You know what I mean? The first Westerner that we have that describes his journeys to Africa would be Herodotus. Herodotus describes journeying into the continent of Africa. We're talking about we Africa have, to America. Oh, wait a minute. I listened to you speak, even though you, okay. what you said was all incorrect. I listened to you. So um, to say that that happened in 1788 is is um is is i mean it's it's really wrong i mean well, pull it up. I, so let me also <laughs> ask you ha, are you familiar with the term mutapa what does mutapa refer to i don't know it sounds like an okay. english word mutapa, uh, it's not an english word mutapa it's, it's, is actually the kingdom yeah, that um english actually word. is located in southern africa around mozambique and further into the interior um, it actually uh, 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 is uh, a, a nation that we should understand had extensive dealings with the Portuguese. Man, um, and so do with, I, I'm going to say to you, they have to do with the say, say, <laughs> North America. Yeah, now nah, I know Sarnetta, nigga. What the fuck is you, nigga? You didn't reared all the way out of track. Fuck is we talking about South Africans and Portuguese, but nigga. And when I ask you what the hell they got to do with the top, you took Sinetta. Sinetta, I think it's about time to come get me out of here, nigga. Nigga, I didn't, nigga, I'm all in South Africa. Sinetta, I lost my foot. Come get this nigga for my arm out of place. Sinetta, come get this nigga because he's finna try to dive on me. Damn, nigga. Nigga, when I went to Mozambique and, and brought in the French and the Portuguese, that nigga, that's cute, nigga. Come get this nigga before he dive on me, nigga. You see I'm out here, nigga. I'm just saying some shit now. Come get this young nigga before he dive on me. Hold on. Hey, I, can't, you can't cut nobody off. Let look, y'all, I threw my hands up because I already I see I knew the lives was coming. Oh, immediately I threw my hands up. I said, damn, nigga, you tripping off. <laughs> I threw my hands up. Hold on, so I know you gotta get him. Nigga, you took me to Mozambique. Hey, man, we sitting there talking about the motherfucking transatlantic slave trade. What's your source? Who wrote about it in the in the at the time that it was happening in America? I'm in motherfucking South Africa, trying to knock a bitch. You got, you got to stop him. You got to stop him. You got to stop this guy. So so um, you got what, what I'm saying. Yeah, I said I apologize. Right? It's the lies on me. I already. it. Thing to you is, is if you study African history, what you're going to do is you're going to understand that there were Westerners who attempted to um, actually study the, um, the the continent much earlier than the date that you are citing. And I want you to understand that those African nations even were as far flung. They had dealings with the Chinese, the Indians, um, but certainly, and I'm talking about Indians from. <laughs> Nigga, we talking we talk about the translator. <laughs> Girl, we talking about the translator slave trade. Right? This nigga talking about Asia. <laughs> Bro, I ain't know I dazed that nigga, man. I, man, I dazed the shit out of that nigga. Five, five on cousins. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga got a nigga in the Middle East. Sir, can you bring your motherfucking ass back over here to America so we can finish fighting? I just spun this nigga around in a certain so nigga don't know where he is. He gonna end up at Diddy House on the couch. India. <laughs> so, and, and so I want to be really clear that 
those that story is earlier. Oh, so um, sometimes it's called like Monomota. <laughs> um, and so we see that Portuguese are on the coast of Africa man, um, doing those hell, sorts man, of things. But we don't see the Portuguese in, in North America, though. In, in terms, you don't see the Portuguese in North America? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. We do not see the Portuguese in North America, so I do not know why they, they are relevant in this conversation. We were talking about, about the 13 <laughs> colonies, bro. I don't okay. see the Portuguese in North America okay. either. Okay. Okay. Because see, um, if you're familiar with the I, treaty I want, you to, I want you to understand that's not the question you asked me. Yes, you sir. Had... Why in the hell is we talking about this? Because I didn't bring it up. I hope you understand that any question you asked me. So what in the fuck is you going with this, nigga? We done been around the world, nigga. We out in Russia. We in, man, listen, man. I'm waiting. I'm over here in North America waiting on you to get off this boat. And you didn't took a world tour on my mother. Listen, brother, man, come on and just fight me, man. Come on, let me knock you out. All this old running, then the nigga gonna try to turn around like it was my fault. He talking about it, and then we see the Portuguese. I say, well, we don't see no Portuguese in North America because I'm still in North America waiting on you to come back. All this running ain't gonna help you. So he don't. Well, I have you know that ain't the question you asked me. I know, nigga. So why in the hell is you we talking about this? Why are you bringing up? Asia, India, the Middle East. Where are you? Where are you going, boy? Come on, to North America and fight. You went off topic. You asked me, talking about North you asked me. Yeah, you went off topic. Sanetta. Sanetta, get this. You nigga. asked. <laughs> so uh, all I said was, "Nigga, you went off topic." Um. What what I'm saying to you is, is if you study African history, what you're going to do is you're going to understand that there were Westerners who attempted to um, actually study the, um, the, the continent much earlier than the date that you are citing. And I want you to understand that those African nations even were as far flung. They had dealings with the Chinese, the Indians, mm -hmm. um, but certainly, and I'm talking about Indians from India. <laughs> so, and, and so I want to be really clear that those that story is earlier. Um, sometimes it's called Manamotapa. Um, and so we see that Portuguese are on the coast of Africa um, doing those I sorts of things. No well, we don't see the Portuguese in, in North America, though. In, in terms, you don't see the Portuguese in North America? No, sir. We don't okay. see the Portuguese in North America okay. either. Okay. okay. Can see, um, if you're familiar with the I, I treaty want of to, I want you to understand that's not the question you asked me. Yes, you sir. Asked, you went off topic. You asked me, you about asked me Sonetta. Ain't no South you, Atlanta, nigga. You went off topic. We was talking about North America, like I motherfucking said, nigga. How the fuck you call a foul on that? I ain't foul you, nigga. I'm saying you need to bring your ass on over here to North America so we can finish scratching. I'm not finna chase you through no China and, and Iran and all that. I, nigga, bring your ass back over here. If you, and, and then you gonna turn around to somebody, well, I want you have, you know, that ain't the question you asked. I know, but you went off topic because we talking about North America. Sign Put him in cuffs. Sinetta, cuff this nigga up. Asked me, when did the exploration of Africa occur? Correct. Um, and so I want to be clear that Europeans actually have been present on the continent of Africa earlier than you've said. Um, and so you're you're saying this the 18th century. Um, and certainly we, we have many records of Europeans being present on the continent of Africa before that. Look for the story. Yeah, uh, this okay. is a, a topic that most people are not familiar with. Look to the story of Mutapa and, and their role with the Portuguese. You're going to see a um, uh, uh, Western presence there as well. Can I ask the Portuguese in the 13 colonies? I'm sorry? Can I ask you what? Okay, you're breaking up a little bit, brother. You're breaking up, Top Cat. Uh, you're breaking up. Uh, Jabari, I, I want to ask you, where what location was the Portuguese in the 13 colonies? You keep referencing where the, the Portuguese. Where was the location of the Portuguese in the 13 yeah, you heard what the fuck I asked you, nigga. You started talking to this Portuguese. You thought I was going to let that shit ride? You going to tell me so the Portuguese went in North America? Oh, no, I'm going to let you finish your spiel. And then after he got done, I beef for him. What's up, huh? We still ain't done with that. Nigga, where the Portuguese said in 13 colonies? Nigga, I ain't one of these other niggas around here. <laughs> What's happening? In colonies? Yes, sir, because you're referencing the Portuguese. In when the you were referring, now. you didn't ask me about the Americas. You asked me about Africa. So, yes, um, sir, but Africa's coming to America. Translated, I said my topic, my question was based on... Another. 
You gotta get control. <laughs> bro, I, you know, I remember last night, but I don't remember last night, bro. I didn't know it was looking this bad. Say, man, that nigga say, fuck that. Shanetta, get this nigga, man. Get your boy. <laughs> get your boy. Your boy tripping, man. Still now. Nah, fuck that. What? A, what? A, say, homie, what did Portuguese say to the $13,000 Portuguese talk? You didn't ask me about that. So why you start talking about it? So what you thought I forgot? You pump fake talking about so the Portuguese were in North America? No, sir, they were not. And then you were done, and I and I and come on, what's up on this Portuguese center? So I never, you you have to. I can't work in these conditions. Grab his legs or something. Somebody jump on his back. I cannot work uh, in these conditions. You gotta I'm, get control. I'm explaining. I'm edifying. He cannot. He, just, he asked me a question, and I and he can't just continue to. Okay, improve. how about we move on, Jabari? How you about we move that. on from there? <laughs> okay, you now that. now you brought up you Coach Hill. Can I ask you? Have you ever heard of Julia Perkins? Now, now, let me say to you. Let I'm me sorry, say, du Julia Purdy. Let me um, say to you. Hold on, hold on. Let me say to you. Yes, let me say to you. Yeah, they that, said I was wild and all that. I'm yes, sir, and no, sir, and and they and, and so I never turned right. You know, top cat just wild, bro. Look, look what's going on. This nigga calling files on shit. I ain't touched him. Um, if we're talking about the Western presence in the Americas. Um, you're actually going to see the Spanish here before the British. Um, and you're also going to see when the British come, they come in the 17th century. That's what you're referring to when you're talking about the 13 colonies. But they, your, your question, but your question, but your question, did you have coffee tonight? Is that what's happening? What's going on? <laughs> I'm being very patient, but That's you know how this works. I'm your kryptonite, so you brother, brother, you're not even a Samsonite. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know what you think this is. Well, Jabari, you're the you professor. You don't know the date to, you Asia, Asia, to Africa. Uh, brother, Asia, you have never heard of Mutapa. I just I never just heard of Mutapa. You, you said that the first time the doing. Europeans are in Africa is in the 1800s. No, you sir, I said June the 9th, 1788. Not bad. You are always wrong. I've spoken to you many times. Look I've spoken to you many times. You are always wrong. Look at him. Look at him. Okay, <laughs> so are, I'm going to say to you, Sonnetta, it's 1152. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. Now he's watching the clock. I'm going to tell y'all right now. 1152 on my watch. <laughs> I been. I got to get up early. <laughs> y'all got a big day ahead of me tomorrow. Nigga do not want no smoke with me, cuz. <laughs> no nigga, that nigga do not want no type of smoke with me, man. You right. on from this brother you look like you ran from me. more reading than talking and, and go on. Because it's, it's going to look like you ran from me. Let's move. I, my one last question. I've had, had two full conversations with you. There's oh, no oh, you had two conversations with me. That's enough? Bro, I mean, you be running around talking about you that had two, three hours worth of coming. Like, when? What was I? Now, today, you talking about you already talked to me two times and you don't talk to people after two times. Come on, the boy, bro. All them rerun ass debates y'all having over there, nigga. Y'all fighting the same niggas on, on different topics. Come on, man, stop it. But I'm only, I can only get two conversations in life with you. You done with me, bro. Okay, all right. Let's right, so what I'm saying to you is, is that you continue. He continues to just interject. You lie to the people about Can we do and, this? And this is this is tiring. This is all tiring. right. All right, we got to move on, Top Cat. Right, no problem. Um, uh, Chris Harris, you on the you on the call, brother? You got the floor. Now this nigga here to rush to jump up there, sit in the back that whole time just to come up here to to blow himself up. <laughs> Talk about a crash dummy ass nigga, boy. Talk about a, a, a nigga who want to be something that he ain't so bad. Yeah, um, peace, peace, every peace, Andre Barry. How you doing, man? Peace, peace brother. Peace, peace, 
let me come up here and swing the sword a little bit and help you out a little bit. <sighs> he thought he came to help out. Brother came with good intentions to help out his elder, his master teacher, and he winded up blowing himself up. <laughs> Bit here. Not that you really need it. Oh, you know, yeah, he needed it. Nigga. He needs you, Sidella, and some more security. So one of the tactics that I notice a lot of our Aboriginal brothers do is they come on these panels and they beg the question about African American history over here in this country. Sad. They make statements like, yeah, it, it happened, but not the way that it did happen. And what that ends up leaving us doing is always explaining to them African history. And what we went African through history. as a people, know what this is about, fallacious. Man. It's called begging the question. It makes us do all the answering. You know, talking about fallacio. This is fallacio. There ain't never men on this damn panel and sister freedom. Cut it out. Don't come in here trying to freak with the panel, nigga. Then they come here uh, uh, advertising for the panelists. Very for for, 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 for fallacio ish. It is very fallacio ish. No diddy. Why they conflate a lot of their anecdotal talking points. Like I heard Rod Hayes, he made a statement. He said, how were they able Drink to sit up there and use the bathroom? <laughs> well, that's a fallacious statement because you said that you don't read books. You don't believe anything written in books. Say that. And if you simply read a book about the design of slave ships, you would have known that they built Ooh. canals. Excuse me, I'm talking. That they built canals at the bottom of the ship where the feces and the menses and the urine were one out at. You ask, how did they clean themselves? It was easy. That slave masters actually, or the uh, captains of the deck, they would throw salt water down there at the slaves. Oh, what's up? The yeah, I told that nigga, so what's up? What are you talking about, nigga? You ain't finna stand here and preach in front of the motherfucking congregation, nigga. So what's up? Nigga, big chief in this bitch. So what's up, nigga? What fuck is you talking about? Come on, nigga, throwing Salt water down there for a nigga to shit on. Nigga, source up. Nigga rubbing his ass with salt. Hey, see, but you know, I'm, your, I'm your crip. The people my able to sit up there and use the bathroom. Excuse me. Come on, this is how they, excuse me, I'm talking. That they built canals at the bottom of the ship where the feces and the menses and the urine were one out back. You ask, how did they clean themselves? It was easy. That slave masters. Actually, or the uh, captains of the deck, they would throw salt water down there at the slaves. Oh, what's up? What's them up up? And, excuse me, I'm talking. Oh, sure. Be a good, be a good Indian now, okay? Yes, With that sir. garbage what's book up? you got up there. Oh, Thank sir. you. Be a good scholar. What's salt up? water down there. Excuse come on, me. Come on, this is how they you're it, talking about. Be a good Indian and be quiet, nigga. Be a good scholar and source up. What the fuck, are you talking about, nigga? This is how they begin to act when you answer some of their fallacious questions. They act like this Why and get like it ain't another word you can use, bro. That three, four times with number men in here, and you directly talking to a man while you steady throwing this fillet, you selling it, advertising. They would throw salt water on them. So Rod Hayes, you didn't prove anything. Um, what you did is you begged a question. So I have a question for you. You said that you spoke to a lot of tribal leaders. My question to you was simply this: which tribe did you speak to? Did they tell you that the name of your tribe or the people that were over here were called the organic people? What was the names of the people that looked like yourself, me, and everybody else up here on here? Did you ask them those questions? What was the language? What religion did they study? What foods did they eat? Where can we vet Look at me, I'm shaking my head, right? Because I know this nigga ain't no African and he don't know what type of African he is. But you asking all these questions, nigga, that you don't have the answer to, and you asking with ego, nigga, uh, nigga, you, 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 come, you don't qualify to ask those questions if you can't answer the same question, if you can't take that same list of questions and answer. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm gonna step to you, so I'm gonna jab his ass again. Any of this information, because when it comes to our history, our history is written on the books. Our history is on the law. Our history is vetted across over in Africa, over here, in the United Kingdom, in the Caribbean, and these are oral traditions that exist. Two, another thing that you guys love to do is you question the transatlantic slave trade, but yet, how did white people get here? You say there were no slave boats, but yet, 
we make up less than what 13 percent of the united states population and they make up almost 80 percent of the population and the native american makes up another five percent of the population and you guys can go check this out on the u.s census uh, 2022 census, and you can see the population distribution in no, the United you States. No scholarship. You say there were no slave ships, but yet there were European boats when they were over here to get, they got over here, conquered you all. Your your questions, questions are lecture. Excuse me, I'm talking. Your questions are a bit fallacious. No. And now I'm I asking know. Rod Hayes, can he tell us what people did he talk to? What was the name of the tribe that was over here? How do we vet that information? Show us the religion. Show us yeah, the teeth. I'm from the found. Show us the language. As a matter of fact, you spoke a native tongue that was over here. I would like to know what was the name of that tongue that you spoke. And this is how we vet our information over here. Let's how y'all vet our information over there. We'll take this at home, boy. Source up or shut up. So I would like to you know. Damn. And Chris, we want to know your African tribe when he's right, done. Come on, now. come on, let Rod. Nah, ain't no come on. Y'all ain't all this whole holding a nigga back, and we want to know your shit, nigga, when he's done. Fuck y'all, think y'all talking to nigga? It's Indian, nigga. We pay no politicking on no Indian, nigga. Nigga, we running the yard. Yeah, nigga. Okay, if he gonna have to get out there, nigga, you better be ready to get out there next too, nigga. I ain't standing here for nothing. I'm fading everything. I'll get in here, man. Now, the toughest environment to be in, goddamn. Okay, Go yeah, and when he yeah, they keep misrepresenting did. my position. Oh, speak. Go ahead, bro. My position has always been that that triple stack slave ship couldn't house as many slaves to meet the volume that they said was brought over here. I didn't ever say that they didn't bring nobody over here. I'm saying that that narrative that we all come from Africa is not true. That many of us was always here. And this was the only contention was when the ship that I had him pull up, I had him pull that up for a reason because that ship is a layover for Notre Dame University as the blueprint. This is the educational dogma development of how they would slant the narrative to conquer a people. Right. So I, I didn't ever say didn't nobody come from Africa. I said they didn't come in the volume that they saying that makes it up for all of us that's over here. Right. The ships, the traditional trade ships could hold a uh, hundred people, but it can't hold 500 people. Because of the construction of the ship. And that's why I was disputing that layout and that narrative that they gave us. It, it's not saying didn't nobody come from Africa. It's not saying that there were no ships that came, but they didn't come in the volume that they told us they came is the point that I've been trying to make. Here. Most yeah, of them look like, quick, look like us. That, that's completely wrong. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's completely wrong. I sat here and listened to y'all talk about nothing for the last hour. You spoke me. Not Nigga Jabari, top cat, silence, silence. You spoke already. Everybody else get the get on the mic freely. Top cat, no, 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 no. You, you spoke, Nigga Jabari. Everybody can't jump in. All right, no. let me move no. on, man, real quick, because yeah. um, that was right. powerful. Wild though, wild though. Yeah, he was brother, brother Rod Hayes. You said that we are come from the stardust. Oh, not not we, but you know your people come from the stardust. Where do African people come from? From a similar, it depends on which tribe you asking about because now winning the wars, but then I, they don't want to let you speak. The Gullah Geechee people, Liz, they tell you out of their own mouth that they are African. Cymetic, can I share this source right now? About the witness about I'll them. share it with everybody in the chat if they want it, and I'll place in the back chat. Do it can quick, I, this how I do. This how I do, nigga. This why I'm the baddest motherfucker in the game. Man, y'all gotta stop sleeping on me. Who else y'all gonna go get? 
Who y'all gonna go get when it's time to fight? Who y'all gonna go get, bro? Nigga, how many times I have consecutively, nigga, showed you, niggas, I do this shit. Chris, I'm about to, I'm about to blow him and Jabari up at the same time. So they ready. They want to get out there. Let me get that girl to get this shit. Let me jump on that. Jabari, shit, I'm a back door you. And I said, shit, I'm a back door both of y'all. <laughs> yeah, watch me work. Okay. This is from, um, this is not the Iroquois I pulled up. Let's see. Let me share the entire no, screen. No, nothing to find no Iroquois. All right. Boom. We're going to go full, full auto. Okay, boom. Can we see this right here? Can we see this? No, I don't see nothing yet. You ain't sharing nothing. I'm not sharing anything? Not yet. I hate it. Okay, boom. Oh, I'm sorry. Here it is right here. Now I'm going to be sharing it right now. There you it should go. come up right now. Okay, can you see it? Yes, we see it. Now, this is done by Joseph A. Opala, who is a Gullah himself. Now, this goes into an entire history. I heard him, huh? He said, like, this, this, this dude that's writing it is a Gullah himself. Yeah, I heard him say that, right? History of the Seminole War, since I can't give a number, one, two, three, or four, the Seminole Wars. And it tells you how the Gullah Geechee people taught the Seminole people how to go cultivate rice and how to grow their food in swampland because it was actually the Gullah that was fighting against the colonizers in this country. And they also allied themselves, Andrew Jackson speaks about this, they also allied themselves with the Seminoles. These Gullah, Gullah Geechee people, as you can see, this is a brother by the name of Abraham, a black Seminole leader in the Second Seminole War. Oh, the Indians called him um, Suanante uh, Tusanuke, a title indicating membership in the highest of the three races. Listen to the confidence. He's wearing a typical Seminole dress and holding a rifle. Now, we have to understand that the Gullahs, as they were establishing their own free settlements in Florida, because it was not under um, certain colonizing control, it was still under Spanish control in the 1700s. They went know what there and going into about. the swamplands of Florida, actually winning the wars. But then you had Seminoles that allied with them, uh -huh. and they didn't even know how to grow food in the swamp. Uh -huh. Why did the Gullah people know how to do it? Because they're familiar with that type of terrain and growth. Um, so they are, in fact, African. This is by Joseph Opala. And um, he tells you, it tells you right here. Um, I want to read this right quick if I can. So I ain't get out of right time. here. Uh, it says, today there are still well, small black it. Seminole communities scattered by war across North America and the West Indies. The black Indians live on Andros Island in the Bahamas where their ancestors escaped from Florida after the first Seminole War. The Seminole freedmen, the largest group, live in, in rural Seminole County. So the Seminole freedmen were actually the Africans that allied with the Seminole people. So um, I think you've got a lot of misinformation on who the Gullah people were because they themselves don't say that they are First Nation peoples. They if say I could jump in too. Go ahead, Jabari. I've over let me jump in here really quickly. Yeah, now Jabari say shit. Let me get some of that tag team. Now they tag team and I'm some Gullah Geechee shit, right? And I'm just sitting back like both of you niggas weak. Um, yeah. By the way, I'm telling you, when you get Chris and Jabari together, <laughs> you need to understand that the rest of you should have just logged out. No, if, when you get Chris and Jabari together, the top can't right there. The rest of you need to get out the way. Step back, because y'all don't want to get hit. with Yeah, because I'm finna send something nigga away. Both of them finna blow up, so y'all might want to get back. These niggas talking about uh, tag team duo. Oh, uh, superstars, watch this. So anyway, let me show you a, a source really uh, here. Yeah. Um, really quickly. Let me show you a source really quickly. I'm going to do this as fast as Before possible. I got a source? So I if you could share this. First of all, our elder, respect to the elder, but respectfully, he's incorrect. When he said that there were 2.5 to 5.5 million native people that were enslaved, he's talking about in all of the Americas, not in the United States. That's the challenge here. This is from Brown University, colonial enslavement of native Can I get 30 captive Africans to the 50, 566 ton pan, um, pan, par, I'm sorry, which carried a crew of 100. <laughs> As a Ghanaian chief, yeah. I'm gonna tell you, she's wearing Ghanaian kente. Let me just say that. Let's look. Let's look. I spoke most of the time. Culture. 
It is the tap root of African American history. I spoke most of trips to the Gullah Islands. I speak to the Gullah people regularly. I've spoken to this sister. Nigga, For us to misrepresent okay. the Gullah Geechee people, come on, folks. Let's be it. Y'all, y'all should be ashamed. Y'all should be ashamed, right? Well, I'm gonna embarrass you, motherfuckers. Give me the microphone and everybody get out of my motherfucking way. Be ashamed. Hey, Uncle I, Sock, can I get I, you to take it? Wait a no. minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, OG, OG. Please, oh, please, please, OG. Let me let me do 60 seconds. Sonetter, Sonetter, the answer is no. There are other Jabari, people. Like, come on, Jabari. Why you act like that with me? No. I have done you play with them. every you I but you will let somebody else show they source. No, Jabari, Jabari, Jabari. Let yeah, Top Cat let, listen, Jabari, let Top Cats talk. So no. no. Yeah, yeah. Let him talk so I can steal his sources. Look at Chris. <laughs> that motherfucker. Let him talk. No, let him share his screen so I can steal his sources like I always do and get caught. <laughs> Nigga get caught every time he steal my shit. Jabari is gonna go crazy. He's going nuts. He's he threatening to walk off the show. He is threatening to walk off the show, man. <laughs> oh, he's no, not. He's, he's no, killing he's me. Right here in Top Cats. You ain't fan of two. Your master teacher's killing me. Shinetta, um, can I please get 60 seconds? I'll take 30. Please go to your scene and rob Noxus. It is 1230 in the morning. Man, well, nigga, I'm you been here. It was 11 last time you said that. Nigga, obviously you not worried about the time as long as you talking. Yeah, let me. Yeah, why is y'all so scared of me? Only need thirty seconds. I can't, I'm not gonna say anything that makes sense in three hours. But Stop Jabari, it. you just presented information. Please, can, please I put, can I put? Why are you no. so afraid for me to show? So you, you don't do nobody already. else like that. You spoke already. You Brother, spoke. Already. Everybody spoke multiple times. You spoke already. Everyone spoke multiple times. I want to go. Can I show now. my screen for thirty seconds? No, Jabari is intimidated of my scholarship. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come back to you, Tal. Okay, appreciate you, it. Appreciate it. Sin, let's go. Peace. What's good? Confused. They're not gonna be convinced. I know that. Most of them get benefit from the. I need that long to kill pain. I need it. Let him. Let him. Let You ain't doing. Is a lot of people watching you. My brother, come on, Jabari. Why? Why you? Go outside to look to see if it's gonna rain. This is, we're in a very dangerous place, <laughs> and uh, it's very concerning. That's the reason why I keep coming on here because I know that the brothers on this panel, most of them, they're not gonna be confused. They're not gonna be convinced. I know that most of them get benefit from the confusion. And I, I'm gonna say to you also, if you have been saying things that are ridiculous in public for a long time, and people have been seeing you. You have an impetus to actually not change your ideas, right? I've been doing this for a long time. I there were points where I said things that didn't make any sense. Okay. No one was looking at me. I wasn't on YouTube. I wasn't on social media. Man, I could actually do more research and make some sense. But we see people here. Man, they look at all the sources, and without face. any sources, they will tell you that it's wrong. Man, we have a big face. problem. I think it's scary and I think it's dangerous and I think it's uh, scared, I would misleading people for your own personal gain is dangerous. And I just, I, I always follow you guys and always hop on when it's the admiral conversation, because I just think it's just, it's just totally disrespectful to everybody involved from all sides. These people are just making up stuff as they go. Now we're, now we come from uh, angel dust from the sky. Come on, man. What's next? Stardust, stardust, stardust. Well, Infidisi said it, Dr. Collins oh, said it. Y'all didn't say nothing to them. Top cat, you said your you, you said your grandma was from hey, Africa. Hey, Top hey, cats. I don't talk to white folks. Chill out. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, you don't <laughs> like to beat that one. My, yeah, nigga, I ain't no motherfucking aboriginal, nigga. You go play with the aboriginals like this, nigga. They made you, nigga. I don't play with white folks. The fuck away from me, nigga. You already know what it is, bitch ass nigga. Don't play with me, cuz. Uh, white uh, so I, cat, why are you talking? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Danny. I'm Danny. I'm Why are you talking? <laughs> yeah, hell, this shit out there, white boy. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, don't fucking play with me, nigga. I'm not here to play with none of you, nigga. Oh, uh, Jabari, why are you talking, <laughs> nigga? You got me fucked up. You think I'm gonna sit here? You go try to 
uh, play nigga, police body going, nigga, I burn this whole motherfucker down, nigga. You got me fucked up. Wait, hold up for one minute. Hold up. I got to let Top Cat respond, brother. Come on, Jabari. Why? Why you scared? That's the question. Why? Why are you scared of me? Why not her? Annetta. 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 Yes. Annetta put a close up on that boy. <laughs> Why? So Annetta put a close up on that boy, man. He let you see the fear in his eyes. I ain't even got to say but that. You to to chill out. Yeah, I know. I know. Because yeah, you don't want to get beat by one. Five. Weiss, uh, okay, why are you talking? <laughs> yeah, I'm Benny. I'm Benny. I'm waiting on my turn. I'm I'm better. Better. Hold I'm up. No, Jabari, hold up for one minute. Hold up. I got to let Top Cat respond, brother. Come on, Jabari. Why? Why are you I scared? Got... That's the question. Why, why are you scared of me? I'm better. I'm better. I'm better. I'm better. Yes. <laughs> We have been on for three and a half hours. <laughs> I, have had, I have had two extensive, I'm talking about three or four hour long conversations with Top Cat. What Top Cat does is he puts together a bunch of facts that don't fit together. And he says, look, you don't answer the facts. None of the facts he says put together. He is the red herring. That's the red herring. Boy, a lot of people watching you. They don't think you're scared of me, I want to be really clear that Rod Hayes is Several classes above Top Cats. Rod Hayes is my uncle. Several bro. classes so, above. Yeah, I'm Top here, Cats. so y'all ain't don't think about. So I really want you to understand that I am not going to spend more <laughs> well, hours with this foolishness. It ain't gonna take an hour. Yeah, I killed foolishness. I don't need to see. I don't things. know why you feel that you need to let him but respond. You let everybody get the mic and tell me. Why are you so intimidated in my Everybody. You have to hold some decorum here. Yeah, and see, that's the only thing it is, though, Top Cat. You don't no, have to. fuck this. Uh, nigga, I've been respectful the whole time. Nigga, I'm sitting here playing the role. Nigga, I'm, I didn't watch it back last night. I ain't looking at it. I'm looking at it, bro. I'm, nigga, I ain't did nothing wrong, man. How the hell a nigga going to give me a case? Y'all, no, nah, y'all tripping now, my nigga. I'm I'm cool. I ain't even flip out last night, nigga. You, I would have took it as a nigga trying to handle me like a hoe and flip that. But last night I was chilling. But now nah, my nigga, we ain't finna do this. If your boy don't want, if your boy scared, nigga, if that nigga out there pussy, then nigga, nigga don't act tough around me, nigga. Don't act. You ain't like you taking off on Ride Hayes or something. Well, nigga, I'm gonna take out. Then what you talking about then, nigga? And now you ain't talking about you running around chairs and shit. Yeah, you running around tables and throwing chairs in the way and all this type of shit now. Trying to get away out the emergency though. Nigga, but you want to act like, you know, you Debo and you the teacher in here, nigga. And when I come in this whole nigga, now nah, it's nigga. Why are you talking? Somebody get him. You know, nah, fuck it, nigga. Get, run my fade. The at all, I've been here. Shit. I ain't even got to say when you allow him, him to do that. When you allow him to do that, you cheapen the platform. Look at <laughs> this nigga. Look at him. That's what you do, bar When he allow you to do what you're doing right now, I want the title of this, this, of this show, Top Cat. I understand that, but I you made the title some, of this show. You made some but incorrect statements tonight speak. about the Gullah Geechee, and I just want to it's clear it up. Your show, you can speak. Come on, but the reality man. is, nobody else like that. Hours. I have not heard 15 seconds of sex. Rod Hayes, where you at, man? Damn, it's half your show, too. Rod, I needed your backup. Let me kill him. I just need you. Hey, now, nah. hey, this is my show, too. Uh, we're gonna be fair. Everyone else had their time to present. We're gonna be fair and let the young brother get a 60 seconds. And I could have blew the whole set up and I would be gone. That's for you in like six hours. You, are, you ain't do nobody else like that. You're only intimidated by my scholarship. I know. Well, you're you're just, you're just, you're just, you just want the clout. You ain't got no clout. Cop Cat yeah. wants to be the center of attention. Man, all get out of here. Yeah, I would be. Let's see what he got to say. Wait a minute. Let's see what he got to say. Yeah, let's see what I got to say, nigga. Let him speak. It cannot be for more than 30 seconds. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. And I need a timer. They dig them long. Bro, come on, man. Now, nah, listen. Nigga, I ain't the one. I ain't the one. 
ain't the one. How ain't the one, homie? They said, man, get a time out here on this nigga, man. We ain't fucking with it. Why they got to, yeah, man, they got to find all these other ways, man, to stop the kid. Put a time on this smoke ass nigga and, and set it up 15 seconds early. Watch how fast he jump out there talking about nigga my 30 seconds. Put the time on. I don't need that long to kill Pan. I need a timer. All right, go ahead, Let Top Cat. Let me know when y'all ready. Y'all got y'all time ready? Go ahead, Top Cat. All right, yeah. man. Still talking shit. All right, so uh, right here they spoke about the Gullah. They talking all this African talk. Well, here's the father of the word Gullah, John Burnett. Okay, John Burnett. He he wrote uh stories based on black folks, especially drawn from the Gullah culture. He is considered to be the leading figure of the Charleston uh, Renaissance. This is where you're gonna get it from. Okay, who else? This lady named Julia Peterkin. Okay, Julia Peterkin wrote several novels about a, a plantation south. The Gullah people in the Low Country. Okay, she was one of the few white authors that wrote about this here. My work is going to be. Come on. Look, y'all, that nigga already said time. <laughs> Cause they time. <laughs> Say, fam, fam. That nigga said time, 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 my time, 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 my time. Oh, it cut it off. Say boy, that nigga know that nigga got that work. That young nigga got that work. <laughs> when he say he fit his source up, that young nigga fit his source up. He finna get the source it up around this whole nigga, and I'm not finna be nigga time. Time, nigga. Eight, eight point nine seconds, nigga. Fuck that. Shit, this nigga good. This nigga jumped out on the nigga. This nigga that got off, nigga, quick. No, you's gonna get off like that, nigga. Don't get off on me like that, nigga. God damn. Shit. Man, time, time. Get him. Sinead, I cannot work in these conditions. I'm sorry. I cannot work in these conditions. Uh, this is, this is, no, I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. Why? Why are we letting him speak? You know what I'm saying? Say, say. Boy, I think I ain't know you going to get off on me like that, man. Don't do me like that. Watch out now, man. God damn, nigga, bam, bam, too lean, me, nigga. Ooh, look at Chris, a student. Look at this student. Look at this student right here, admired, sitting here, nigga. Look at him. Look at this student. Y'all know the nigga think I'm cute already. Look at him. Hand on his, on his neck. Neck popped, and he's sitting there watching, watching a master at work. He was sitting there, look at Javori face. This nigga he is bad. Look at him. Look at them students in that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Them nigga looking real studious. Come on, brother. Shit, 30 seconds. Don't get mad because I'm, I'm on your road. I'm on your heels. I'm on your heels. So she wrote this book and it plagiarized. That ain't 30 seconds. It was plagiarized by Zora Neale Hergerson, right? Oh, she God. also plagiarized Emma Rose's uh, book. Right, they use the same characters. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna go to an African source right here. Where it, says that it is easier to the, the name the Gullah Geechee came from apparently the Ogeechee River. River. I never like Jabari chill for a minute. Why are you said he's screaming, bro? So the people won't hear me, Jabari. That's a weak ass whole ass shit, my nigga. You acting like a little bitch. Yeah, nigga. What they told that nigga on minutes to say you acting like a little bitch right now, nigga. Come on, cut. Let me get my shots off, man. We dirtying up the game, bro. We all this old nigga need advantage shit and all this type of shit. Man, let me do my thing, homie. I didn't I didn't let y'all reduce me down to 30 seconds. But I am who I am, nigga. So it, uh, nigga, I can get in and out before 30 seconds. But now nah, give me a foul, one, man. Let me talk to these people. What you got to hide, nigga? What you hide from these people that you ain't it? That shit y'all got going on, ain't it? Nigga, let me work. So I never like, damn, Jabari, let him chill for a minute. Let him, you know, you didn't fuck my little spill out. I right didn't say the Gullah Geechee came from the go oh, Geechee. It's going to be a long time until you have kill, to Let me kill Chris real it's quick. Gonna... Hold on, oh, let me get oh, Chris oh, out of there real quick. Now, y'all see my source was up on the screen, right? Look at Chris. Watch this here, y'all. Look at Chris. Okay, who else? This lady named Julia Peterkin. Okay, Julia well, Peterkin wrote several novels about a, a plantation south, the Gullah people in the Low Country. 
Okay, she was one of the few white authors that wrote about this here. Her right. work is going to be, come on, brother, she had 30 seconds. Don't get mad because I'm, I'm on your row. I'm on your heels. I'm on your heels. So she what wrote this book right. and plagiarized. That ain't 30 seconds. It was plagiarized by Zora Neale Perkinson, right? Oh, she God. also plagiarized Emma Rose's uh, book, right? So the same characters. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to go to an African source right here. It is easy to the, the name the Gullah Geechee oh, came from apparently the Ogeechee oh, River. Right here and say the Gullah Geechee came from the Ogeechee River. It's going to be a long time to get back. Let me kill Chris real quick. Look at Chris, y'all. Let me tell you that real quick. Watch this. Look, 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 Soon as he's seen it. Wait a minute, yeah, Sonnetta. 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 Yeah. If you let him speak, it cannot plagiarized by Zora Neale Hergerson, right? Oh, she also God. plagiarized Emma Rose's uh book, right? They the same characters. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna go to an African source right here. It is easy to the, the, the name the Gullah Geechee oh, came oh, from apparently oh, the Ogeechee oh, River. Oh, right here and say the Gullah Geechee came from the go oh, Geechee it's River. It's gonna be a long time to get back. Let me brother. kill Chris it's real quick. Hold on, let me get Chris. Look at Chris, y'all. Watch this. Look at Chris. Look, 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 he got to Google it. Hold on, let me bring it back. Show the source up there. All right, y'all see the source up there? He got the name and everything down there, right? And now look at him. Now look at Chris. Hold on, oh, let me get Chris out of there real quick. Watch this. Look, 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 look. Stop, stop. Googling. Caught him googling, got him out there. Say, man, stop sleeping on the kids, man. Look at this student. Look at this student ass nigga, man. These niggas be popping that shit. These niggas can't fuck with me, man. Jason Bowen on these niggas, man. Mr. T Y in the uh in the super chat. Drea, indigenous Drea. These niggas can't man. Look, look at this student ass nigga. Take a picture of this student, y'all. Check him out. The nigga got the Googles. And now he finna come back and apologize. Tell me he misspoke. You ain't misspoke. Bitch, you just got taught. You just got taught. Yeah, you and Jabbar just got beat up off one little source. And y'all, and, and I've done it less than 30 seconds with him handicapped with Jabbar screaming in the mic at the same time. And this whole, and this whole got the Googles. This hoe got the nerd to Google right in front of me like I ain't looking at her. Bitch, I see you over there stealing my shit. This hoe Googling like I'm not looking at her funky ass. Funky pussy, bitch. Bitch pussy. Yeah, I'm looking at this hoe. Keep my motherfucking name out your mouth, nigga. You's a motherfucking student. This the second, third time I done caught you with my shit in your hand, nigga. You weak ass nigga. This nigga reduced down to fighting dolphin. That nigga had a, de a, a, a debate with a dolphin on live TV where the dolphin was smelling, uh, sniffing glue or some shit. I don't know. He's smelling his drugs. The nigga doing drugs on there. That nigga there reduced down the crack house debates. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Say untelevised, <laughs> untelevised debate matches. Is that never going to ask me? Uh, will I debate this nigga? Look at this nigga. This nigga's a fucking student. This nigga last debate was with a dope fiend in the crack house. Nigga, nigga, what? Why, nigga, these people can't talk to me. Nigga, bet I bet not catch him looking at me. Nigga, because I'm tripping. Don't look at me because I'm taking off on shit. Fuck you talking about? Nigga, I don't play with you, nigga. I know I'm you, nigga. Teacher, look at this student-ass nigga. Stop. That's you were it. You're something and you didn't keep your word. Look, y'all, he's still down there. Look at him. He's still down there. Right. 
You about to lose me, brother. Seriously, I'm serious. Look at All right, come on. Let's go on over to uh, Dulcinea. You got a question? And then we're going to close this thing out. I'm going to let Jabari. Said, look, when you find out, uh, and, and uh, Rod Hayes close this thing out. And I'm going to let hey, Chris go off. Now, man, give me 10 seconds. Man, don't do me like that. I'm your nephew. God damn. So I know I always kill No, you. I know, brother, but this ain't your 10 story. seconds, bro. I just need I 10 minutes. What about Rod and Roy? No, no, no. Nah, just 10 seconds. look, Chris got his answer. He over there shaking his head and all that. He got his, he, 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 look, 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 look. That's Hold on, let me get Chris out of there real quick. Watch this. You agreed to that. something Hold and on, you did the board. word. Stop, stop, stop. That's you it. You agreed to something and you did it. talking about you agreed to something. You agreed to 30 seconds and now you're not trying to keep your word. Why you got to try to handicap me to, and you still lose? I told you I ain't need, I didn't need the whole 30 seconds. And then. And the audience is watching you, nigga. Look like a hoe right now, nigga. You looking like a straight up hoe. Didn't Square keep your word, nigga. All right. You about I'm, to lose me, brother? Seriously, I'm serious. All right, come on, let's go on I'm over. To, uh, I'm not I'm not you got a question? Guys, and then we're gonna close this thing out. I'm gonna let Jabari. Oh, let go how they was feeding us here? Nations and colonial after the European and all, and we know the. Let's go to, to study in order to be able to better understand it. I'm probably going to be leading a tour, a group tour to Mexico next year for us to look at the, the African presence. Some of you might have actually also known that one of the first look enslaved it. African revolts in the New World occurred in Mexico. How many of you are aware of the name of the... Man, get out of here with that weak ass shit, nigga. We better not catch out in Mexico. Rebellion leader... <laughs> who led the revolt in Mexico. Most of you are unaware of his name. He would have said that he was an African. He clearly did say he was an African. What's his name? Ooh, there we go. Jay Reed says Gaspar Yanga, Mr. Mescro, Grand Kush. Correct. We're talking about Gaspar um, American, African American. Who led the revolt in Veracruz. I will be taking trips there as well. All right. All right. Um, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Yes, you're thank welcome. You. Thank you, All right. sir. Um, Chris, you want to add something? Look, yeah, I do want to um yeah, correct homie. myself because sometimes I begin to speak a little bit too fast. No, <laughs> that old say he be talking too fast. He said, I do want to <clears throat> he said that that whole time, nigga, in shame. I didn't hit both of them niggas ass. Who led the revolt in I do Mexico? Want to correct myself. Um, American, African American. I do want to. Who led the revolt in Mexico? I do Most of you are on our cruise. I will be taking trips no, there. As no well. problem, Jabari. Thank you. All right. All right. Um, thank, you, thank you. He got to. Yes, he got to start you. off with thank you. Right. Um, you got Chris, you want to add something? Yeah, I do want to um, correct myself because sometimes I begin to speak a little bit too fast um, when I'm talking because of all the interruptions. Joseph Opala is a white um, American, African American anthropologist, so I probably misspoke on that. So I don't want to take that away from Top Cats. I guess that. Was no, nigga, get out of my dick, ho ass nigga, and nigga, put my information down, nigga. When you came in here, you talking about nigga Joseph Opala was a Geechee. This is coming from the Gullah Geechee saying it they sells. Nah, nigga, that ain't no misspeaking. You ain't misspoke, nigga. Y'all been running around here with that sword. You ain't the weak ass niggas you hang with. And I just be sitting back like, nigga, don't, don't look at me because you niggas is the lame niggas, the weak ass niggas. Nigga, don't come over here and get niggas trying to learn from me talking about I don't want out nigga shout out the top cat. Nigga, ain't no nigga. I cut I right, get off on you. Nigga, put my shit down, nigga. And you, you stay over there with that pseudo ass shit, nigga. Y'all putting together. That's how you do it, nigga. Get some flames in this hoe if that hoe ain't out here looking crazy now. Got that bitch on the avenue. Now this hoe want to get down. Got this bitch out here in high heels in the red dress. This hoe talking about it. First off, I want to give thanks to my Lord and Savior and apologize to my master teacher, Top Cat. Yeah, I was out of pocket. I'm going to break myself for you, though. Yeah, nigga, I'm going to peel my purse back. Look at this hoe out here, nigga. Got caught out there, nigga. I told you I'm finna get you in, your boy, nigga. I told you, and, I, and then they ain't even give me 30 seconds. I did that in less than 30 seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got that hoe uh, working. Um, I want to give thanks to my Lord and Savior, legendary top catch. 
to study in order to be able be to better to understand it. I'm probably going to be leading a tour, a group why tour lie? to Mexico. You? Well, usually means why run why I, I will be taking trips there as well. Why lie, my thing? All right, all right. Um, thank you, thank you. Yes, you're thank welcome. You. Thank all you, sir. Right. Um, Chris, you want to add something? <laughs> Yeah, I do want to um, correct myself because sometimes I begin to speak a little bit too fast um, when I'm talking because of all the interruptions. Joseph Opala is a white um, American, African American anthropologist, so I probably misspoke on that. So I, I don't probably misspoke because that's not what you said. You said this is written by a Gullah Geechee himself. Why the Gullah? Why the Geechee not saying what they saying? The Geechee people are saying this. Here's a Geechee man, Joseph. And then you went into your little spiel about that fake ass Afrocentric story, nigga, and found out, nigga, it was a your white daddy, nigga. Yeah, nigga. And now you want to try to come jump over here, nigga. We saw you Google. We watched you, nigga, get to Googling. And now you said that the whole time, like, God damn. And you had to come out there, nigga. That's why you said let him play it, because you all you do is steal my sources. That's all you do, nigga. Fake ass nigga. I want to take that away from top cats i guess that was his best dagger but many so you admitting you got daggered i dropped your motherfucking ass yeah nigga, get the medic out <laughs> call the bird to come get this hoe off the ground i dropped him with a dagger god damn right that's what i do nigga. and we getting up out of here on it that's what i do nigga. smack your weak ass niggas around stop fucking playing and jabari got that pussy and he ran in front of everybody and he ran in front of everybody. That part. Chris closing statement. He wanted to give me some motherfucking props. Nigga, I know y'all. I'm your teacher, nigga. Nigga, screenshot the shit out there. Sure, nigga, Googled it up, nigga, and found out he don't know what the fuck he talking about. Yeah, that boy, good, good. Beat you and your master teacher up. Jabari talking about when me and Chris get together, they, they should have just logged out, and both of them niggas end up in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, both of them ended up in the hospital. <laughs> them niggas say, say, them niggas sold that shit. Them niggas say, boy, could when me and Chris get together, uh, these other people shouldn't even show up. And both of them ended up in the hospital. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, I'm all right. My shit, they got me on this morphine. Hey, man, I love y'all. That's my time. As long as we got each other, we don't need nobody else. I'm gone. I apologize. Cool. Enjoy the rest of y'all day.
And uh hey, hey your your book and everything came out. I don't know about the shirts. I ain't see you order no shirts. It ain't it ain't charging for no shirts, but as far as your book and shit, uh you ought to be good on that. I double check, but your books went out. Oh. 